I was kissed by the school beauty while playing truth or dare. I thought she was just doing it to complete the punishment, but it wasn't until she put her tongue in my mouth that I realized something was wrong. Little did I know, I was the man she wanted to possess again in this lifetime, in her lowest point in her previous life. I was the one who helped her through that ordeal. After that, we lived carefree days. However, the good times didn't last long, as I died in a car accident just before our wedding. And on the day of the wedding, she jumped from the top floor in her wedding dress. Unexpectedly, she returned to the age of 20 like a dream. Seeing the young and naive me again, she decided to join my happy life as soon as possible. And now, Lou Ruyan is playing truth or dare, which is the perfect opportunity. So she excitedly chose dare. As soon as she said that, the boys started to get excited. Some even had plans on how to handle the goddess. However, the same thought also appeared in Lu Ruyan's mind. She, with her figure that made people drool, walked straight up to me and bent her soft waist. Then, with a sweet voice like music, she asked, Shen Shen, can I kiss you? Her words stunned everyone. I was so stunned by her that I couldn't even speak for a moment. But Lu Ruyan just blushed slightly, raised her hand to tuck a strand of hair behind her ear, and asked pitifully, Don't you want to help me complete the task? In fact, for her, this big adventure is not a punishment, but a reward. Not only can it allow her to approach me properly, but it also allows her to tease her young husband. She would be willing to receive this punishment 100 times a day. After all, in her 20-year-old body, there is a 30-year-old soul. At this point, I finally came back to my senses. I'm not unwilling, it's just that I scratched my head and said with a blush. She covered her mouth and chuckled. She loved how shy I became with just a little teasing. And thinking about the many opportunities like this in the future, she actually felt a kind of joy in training her husband, and looked forward to the future life even more. Seeing the unusual enthusiasm of the goddess, those boys couldn't help but widen their eyes and exclaim. But Lu Ruyan didn't care. Even if a deity came today, it couldn't stop her from taking my first kiss. She bent down again, pouted in front of me, and didn't give me the slightest chance to refuse. As that pretty little mouth kept getting closer to me, I was worried about becoming the enemy of the whole school. I picked up a piece of paper to cover my mouth and said, I think it would be better to kiss through the paper. This way, no one else would bury me. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan's lips curled into a faintly imperceptible smirk. Was my husband really this naive before? Thinking this, she readily agreed. Then she closed her eyes, placed her hands behind her back, naturally puckered her red lips, and slowly leaned towards me. Looking at the charming face so close by, I could clearly feel my heart pounding fiercely. However, just as everyone was grinding their teeth in frustration, Lu Ruyan had an even more thrilling move. Suddenly, she lost her balance, leaned forward, and skillfully snatched the paper from in front of my mouth. Before I could react, her red lips accurately stuck to mine. Instantly, I felt the peach-flavored lipstick and its elastic touch, and for a moment, I felt like a volcano erupted in my heart. Lu Ruyan, on the other hand, had a face full of enjoyment. To the onlooking boys, this scene seemed like I was her long-lost lover, and in fact, that was the case. She even unintentionally wanted to pry open. My teeth felt this soft thing, which was completely unexpected. Although reluctant, I blushed and pushed her away, with traces of her saliva and lipstick on my lips. Lu Ruyan, evidently feeling unsatisfied, furrowed her brow and asked, What's wrong, Shen Shen? I swallowed and said, I think the task is completed now, right? If we don't stop now, there will be trouble. And if there's trouble, countless murderous eyes around us will definitely cut off Chin Chen. Why is your face so red? Are you running a fever, or is this your first kiss? Lu Ruyan said with a triumphant curve at the corner of her mouth. By now, my face was red to the roots of my ears. This is indeed my first kiss. Although I had fantasized about it countless times, it was just a thought. I never thought it would actually come true. And it can be said that it was forcefully taken by her. At this, Lu Ruyan chuckled, that's quite a coincidence. This is also my first kiss. Her smile was enough to make one's heart flutter. This also made the second half of the evening party a direct showcase for Lu Ruyan and me, and she was the one leading the show. This also caused everyone to leave in displeasure, and the gathering ended early. Walking on the playground, the occasional hostile glances around made me very uncomfortable. As I touched my lips, reminiscing about the peachy sensation, a man appeared next to Lu Ruyan. A caring voice came over. Yen Yen, I've been waiting for you for a long time. Let me take you home. I turned my head and saw that it was Li Tao, the captain of the neighboring basketball team. Then I looked at Lu Ruyan again. She looked indifferent, looking around, and completely ignoring Li Tao as if he were invisible. But just then, she spotted me in the crowd. Her cold little face immediately lit up. Chen Shen, wait for me. Saying this, she ran towards me. 
Seeing this, I quickly turned and headed towards the door. Chen Chen, why are you walking so fast? Lu Ruyan said, then quickened her pace and stopped in front of me. She frowned and said, you're not avoiding me again, are you? Feeling exposed, I could only smile awkwardly and quickly said I didn't hear her just now. As soon as the words fell, Li Tao also followed from behind, Yen Yen, who is this? Why are you so enthusiastic towards him? But Lu Ruyan once again ignored him. Instead, she skillfully took my hand, Shen Shen, it's late, will you take me home? As soon as these words were spoken, Li Tao and the people around all took a sharp breath. Is the goddess with that ordinary person? Little did they know, this was exactly what Lu Ruyan wanted. She didn't want anyone to disturb her and her husband's happy life. And my mind was also a blank. Looking at Lu Ruyan, who was holding onto my arm tightly and about to pull my hand back from her embrace, I suddenly realized she was holding on even tighter. We probably aren't going in the same direction, right? But Lu Ruyan smiled faintly, with you, anywhere is on the way. Now I've completely become the public enemy of the whole school. And Li Tao, who used to be unattainable, is now licking someone else. Unable to contain her anger, she asked, Lu Ruyan, what do you mean by this? However, she was once again ignored by Lu Ruyan. She looked at me pitifully and said, Can Shen Shen bear to let me go home alone? What if something happens? I furrowed my brows and said, Not really, I just think it's better if we're okay. Let's go home, Shen Shen. After speaking, she grabbed me and headed towards the school gate. But at that moment, Li Tao suddenly grabbed my shoulder, his handsome face filled with ferocity. Yen Yen, what did I do wrong to make you find such a toad to provoke me? Upon hearing this, I instantly furrowed my brows, clenched my fists, but before I could react, Lu Ruyan immediately spoke first, let him go, and there was even a hint of killing intent in her beautiful eyes. This frightened Li Tao actually retracted his hand. With an incredulous expression, he said, this can't be true. I don't believe it, and I also doubted my own ears. The school flower actually stood up for me. What have I done to deserve this? Believe it or not, it's up to you, but don't bother me and Chen Chen again in the future, Lu Ruyan said mercilessly. And from now on, it's the same, I can never like you. Upon hearing this, Li Tao's face turned terrifyingly dark, he turned to me and gritted his teeth, saying, Kid, if you're a real man, come join our sports academy and your basketball game. Let's settle this once and for all. The loser will stay away from Yen Yen. Do you dare to agree? As the captain of the sports academy's basketball team, Li Tao is quite confident in his abilities. All right, it's a deal. At this moment, Yen Yen promptly agreed without hesitation. I looked at her with a surprised expression on my face. But she looked at me with great determination and confidence, Chen Chen, I believe you can win. I'll also cheer you on at that time. As she spoke, she even blinked her big eyes at me. Then she pulled me towards the school gate. At this point, I felt like crying. I'm from the design department, what am I doing competing with the sports academy? Isn't this asking for trouble? Seeing this, Yen Yen smiled sweetly. Chen Chen, you don't want me to be bothered by such annoying people, right? So, please train with me tomorrow. The next morning, a rare and beautiful figure appeared on the college basketball court. The slender white legs under the short shorts were very eye-catching, and the tight sports bra proudly displayed the perfect figure. Lu Ruyan was sweating profusely on the court, and every swing of her ponytail behind her head looked heroic. Before long, the news of the goddess practicing on the court spread throughout the entire college. The male students of the college were sitting under the trees, by the iron fence, and even on the running track, all with a fascinated look watching the sexy figure on the court. A precise three-pointer, and Lu Ruyan immediately smiled sweetly. Those boys instantly boiled over, their eyes filled with infatuation, as if that three-pointer was an arrow shot by Lu Ruyan at them, and the basket she hit was their restless hearts. But the only downside was that there was a guy ruining the scene next to the goddess. I, I'll take a break first. Chen Chen, wearing an old basketball jersey, panted as he supported his knees. Since being pulled out of the classroom by Lu Ruyan at the beginning of the first class, he had been practicing for most of the morning. Now Chun Shen felt exhausted, with large patches of sweat soaking his clothes. He couldn't understand why a rich girl like Lu Ruyan not only played basketball well but also had better stamina than him, a boy. At this moment, Lu Ruyan picked up the basketball and smiled slightly. It seems that Chun Shen, you still need to work harder, otherwise you won't be able to beat that guy in the basketball game. Although it was a bit distressing, her husband indeed needed more exercise. Normally, he only went to school or worked, and had no time to exercise. It was good to have such an occasional experience. Otherwise, there would be no strong and healthy body in the future. I know, I will work harder. Chen Chen smiled bitterly. Of course, he also wanted to work hard. But with so many hostile gazes outside the court, 
Chen Chen felt that he couldn't perform well. A glance could reveal that those boys seemed to want to devour him alive. It was terrifying. Looking at Lu Ruyan, she seemed to have long been accustomed to being watched by others. Look at you, you're sweating so much. At this moment, Lu Ruyan suddenly raised her hand. The soft back of her hand gently wiped the sweat from Chen Chen's forehead. Just this small gesture made the boys outside the court explode. Damn, that kid is so lucky, I'm so jealous. What's his relationship with the goddess? The whole school knows about the goddess and him. Could it be that the goddess really fell for a nobody? Oh no. My goddess. Chen Chen's face turned slightly red, whether from the heat or shyness. Thank you, Ruyan. It's nothing. Let's continue practicing. You need to work hard. Okay. Just as Chen Chen took the ball and was about to start extra practice, a large hand suddenly reached out and snatched the ball from him. Lu Ruyan and Chen Chen looked over, only to see a tall boy in a basketball uniform suddenly appear behind them, dribbling the stolen basketball. Behind the tall boy, there were several others also wearing basketball uniforms. Hey, goddess, I didn't expect you to like playing basketball. If you want to learn, just tell me and I'll teach you. As the sports committee member, I'm happy to help my classmates. The tall boy sneered, and the others behind him laughed along. Upon hearing this, Lu Ruyan's beautiful eyes turned cold. What are you doing? Seeing this tall boy, Chen Chen couldn't help but frown. This person was Yang Qi, the sports committee member of their class. Not only did he look like a ruffian, but he also acted like one. He was notorious in the class as a little bully, and the people behind him were his lackeys. What are we doing? We saw you were bored alone, so we wanted to play with you. Yang Qi smirked. It seemed like he was pretending that Chen Chen next to Lu Ruyan didn't exist. Yang Qi continued, What, not welcoming us? Didn't you see us practicing here? Lu Ruyan's tone was icy, If you wanna play basketball, go to another court. It's not like you can only play here. Give the ball back. Practicing? With Chen Chen? Yang Qi and his lackeys burst into laughter. Stop laughing. What's the point of practicing with this loser? Upon hearing this, Chen Chen clenched his fists and his cheeks puffed up. Be careful what you say. Chen Chen is not as bad as you make him out to be, Lu Ruyan said earnestly and firmly. He's going to participate in the basketball game and beat the sports institute next door. Yiling. Chen Chen looked at Lu Ruyan, feeling touched. Him? Don't be ridiculous. Yang Qi walked up to Chen Chen, towering over him and speaking condescendingly. I'm the sports committee member of our class. How come I didn't know about this? Even if this kid wants to join the basketball game, does he have the ability? Don't embarrass our school of arts. That's right, a guy with zero athletic ability wants to play a game. Chen Chen would be better off being a cheerleader, not playing basketball. Yang Qi and the others humiliated Chen Chen, angering Lu Ruyan, who clenched her small hand. Chen Chen was also angry, but with his current strength, he had no grounds to argue. Just wait and see, Chen Chen will definitely succeed, Lu Ruyan said through gritted teeth. And I'll say it again. Give the ball back and don't disturb our training. Want the ball? Sure, as long as you, the goddess, can get it from me, Yang Qi sneered, holding the ball and reaching it out to Lu Ruyan. Lu Ruyan hesitantly reached out her hand, but in the next moment, she grabbed nothing. You, is it fun to bully a girl? Since you want to play, then let me accompany you. Chen Chen's eyes became unusually sharp. The hand holding the basketball was veined. Lu Ruyan looked at Chen Chen in astonishment, her beautiful eyes filled with admiration. Husband, he's so manly. No wonder I've liked him for two lifetimes. At this moment, Yang Qi smiled in surprise and said, All right, you've got guts. Let's have a 1v1, and I'll see what you're really capable of, instead of just snatching the ball. Then Chen Chen will embarrass himself in front of so many people. Chen Chen swallowed hard, but his eyes remained firm. All right, but I have one condition. If I win, you have to let me participate in the basketball game. Lu Ruyan believed in him so much. How could he disappoint that expectation? Even if it was just for this bet, Chen Chen had to win. Whether it was against Yang Qi now or the basketball team Captain Li Tao. Chen Chen was also well aware that if he didn't show some strength to Yang Qi, the registration for the basketball game would probably not happen. It would be like losing the bet on Sunday and being humiliated. And now was a good opportunity to test Yang Qi. After all, only through actual combat could he find his shortcomings. Ha, huh, you're so funny. You, a noob, want to beat me? Yang Qi laughed heartily, thinking Chen Chen was dreaming. But he didn't mind using this opportunity to show off his skills to Lu Ruyan by stepping on Chen Chen. So Yang Qi sneered, but since you're so naive, I'll be generous and show you the difference between us. Three shots, whoever finishes first wins. How about it? Chen Chen frowned and considered, alright, three shots. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan felt a bit worried for some reason. 
She knew that Chen Shen did this for her, otherwise, with his temperament, he would not have taken the initiative to provoke someone like Yang Qi. But now her husband's training had just begun, and agreeing rashly would probably only make Yang Qi more pleased. Chen Shen did not consider these. He only knew that he had to do this. As the 1v1 match began, the male students of the academy all gathered to watch, filling half of the basketball court. Yang Qi became more excited as more people gathered around him. This meant that if Chen Shen embarrassed himself, the whole school would know. Hey, isn't that our main force, Yang Qi from our school? Yeah, it looks like this ignorant kid is going to challenge him one-on-one. -on -one. I guess he's going to lose miserably. Yang Qi's skills are not inferior to those guys from the sports institute. Those students who were watching were looking forward to the show. Listening to these words against him, Yang Qi held the ball in his hands and looked at Chen Shen, sneering, in front of so many people, don't say I'm bullying you. I'll let you have the first ball, let's see what you're capable of. Then, Yang Qi dribbled the ball and passed it to Chen Shen. Chen Shen's eyes were determined, but his face was sweating, and his arms were even trembling slightly. He had been looking for an opportunity to break through. As long as he could find a way to break through Yang Qi, he could avoid the physical collision. If he used his body to play, he would definitely not be Yang Qi's opponent. Lu Ruyan clenched her hands tightly, her brows furrowed with tension. Yang Qi sneered, What, are you afraid to move? Chen Shen did not respond to the provocation. The next moment, he dribbled the ball forward from the right side. Yang Qi, being experienced, directly blocked Chen Shen in front of him, using his physical advantage to prevent Chen Shen from breaking through. At the same time, Yang Qi's hands aggressively attacked, harassing Chen Shen's dribbling. Snap! Just as Chen Shen was about to forcefully break through, Yang Qi made a sharp interception, directly stealing the ball from Chen Shen. Yang Qi looked disdainfully at Chen Shen and gestured with his middle finger, is that all? Chen Shen's eyes dimmed, and he clenched his fists tightly. Lu Ruyan also furrowed her brows. According to the rules of 1v1, when the attack is intercepted, the round starts again. This time, it was Chen Shen's turn to defend. Yang Qi stood outside the three-point line, dribbling with one hand. He looked at Chen Shen and said, let me show you what basketball is really about. With your skills, you still want to play? You're far from it. Chen Shen bent down, earnestly defending. But before Yang Qi could come in from the three-point line, he threw the ball under Chen Shen's crotch and then made a breakthrough, brushing past Chen Shen's body to receive his own pass. A standard layup. Yang Qi directly scored the first point. Noob. Yang Qi sneered and returned to the three-point line. The onlookers outside the court laughed at the scene. How dare this kid challenge Yang Qi? That's right, there are not many players from our school who can compete with him. Hey, it's like bullying a newbie, it's not interesting at all. Chen Chen picked up the basketball from the ground, gritting his teeth. He couldn't believe he was so useless. Was he really going to end up like this? Lu Ruyan watched the tense atmosphere, feeling anxious. Especially seeing Yang Qi's arrogant look, she wished she could go on the court and teach him a lesson for her husband. Once again, the ball was in play, and this time, Chen Shen tightened his nerves, determined not to make the same mistake again. However, it seemed that Yang Qi saw through Chen Shen's thoughts. After raising a disdainful smile, he suddenly made a breakthrough. Yang Qi, who had been on the court for years, had already reached behind Chen Shen with just one breakthrough. Chen Shen could only hurriedly catch up and at the same time, reach out to intercept the ball in Yang Qi's hand. But at this moment, Yang Qi took a step back, leaving Chen Shen empty-handed. The next moment, Yang Qi made a fadeaway jump shot, and the basketball he released directly hit the basket with a bang. But at this moment, the basketball spun around the round iron hoop for a few rounds, but finally spun directly out. TSK. Yang Qi was a little displeased. Lu Ruyan, on the other hand, breathed a sigh of relief, finally changing defense. Otherwise, if Yang Qi scored another goal, this 1v1 would be in jeopardy. At least there's still a chance now. Thinking of this, Lu Ruyan looked at Chen Shen with a serious expression. Chen Shen took a deep breath and stood outside the three-point line. His previous breakthrough against Yang Qi was ineffective, as Yang Qi's body, reaction, and speed were much stronger than his own. He couldn't continue like this. Chen Shen, not even one point, are you planning to shave your head for me? Yang Qi stood in the circle, looking disdainful. I won't let you win so easily, Chen Shen dribbled the ball, took a deep breath, and I won't lose to you like this. Just as Chen Shen hesitated about what to do next, a voice sounded beside him. Chen Shen, don't do something you're not good at. Just like we practiced this morning, you can do it. Lu Ruyan encouraged Chen Shen on the side. This blatant favoritism immediately stunned the surrounding boys. What kind of means did Chen Shen use to make the school flower cheer for him? Not doing things you're not good at. Chen Shen murmured. Suddenly, he seemed to remember something. Yes. 
he should believe in himself, just like he did in training with Lu Ruyan earlier. Just as Yang Qi felt jealous of Lu Ruyan's attitude towards Chen Shen, Chen Shen, outside the three-point line, gave up his breakthrough posture and actually held the ball with both hands. Seeing this, everyone wanted to laugh. Was he giving up resistance? Seeing this, Yang Qi also sneered, you still want to shoot a three-pointer? Even if I let you shoot, so what? I don't believe you can make it. This is what you said. Chen Shen's eyes were sharp as he aimed at the basket with the ball. In the next moment, Chen Shen's Adam's apple moved up and down, he tiptoed, and shot a smooth arc directly into the air. Finally, under everyone's gaze, the basketball pierced the heart with an extremely precise angle. Yang Qi looked at the bouncing basketball on the ground, his eyes widened. For a moment, the atmosphere froze for two seconds. Lu Ruyan's beautiful eyes also turned from shock to great joy. It went in. It went in. Chen Chen's confident shot stunned everyone on the court. How? How is this possible? Yang Qi's face was full of surprised question marks at this moment. This kid couldn't even dribble properly, but his shot just now was so decisive and accurate. Whether it was the shooting posture or the angle of the shot, it was almost perfect. Looking at his own hand, Chen Chen was also surprised. He didn't expect that he really did it. Chen Chen looked happily at Lu Ruyan, who was smiling at him. However, in fact, Lu Ruyan had already been quite confident about this result. From the situation of practicing basketball this morning, she knew that Chen Chen's dribbling skills were a bit average, and it was definitely too late to practice the basics in such a tight time to play in the game. But luckily, Lu Ruyan found that Chen Chen's shooting touch was very good. So she had a temporary strategy, focusing on Chen Chen's shooting practice, from initially making 6 out of 10 shots to later making 9 out of 10, the progress was already quite rapid. It was expected that this three-pointer would go in. Wow, that heart-piercing shot was so cool. Yang Qi was actually shot in the face, it's really surprising. What kind of luck did this guy have, to be so accurate? Now it seems that it's not certain who will win or lose. The current score is tied at 1 to 1. Although Chen Shen hasn't gained the advantage yet, at least the current situation has eased his mind a little. But Yang Qi was really unhappy with this result. Especially when I heard people around me praising Chen Shen's three-pointer, I was so angry that I gritted my teeth. Don't be so smug, that last shot was just your luck, kid. But this time, I don't believe you can make it again. Yang Qi glared at Chen Shen with a fierce look. Although he said so, Yang Qi was still worried. He couldn't let this kid make another shot. If he really let him score again, it would be unacceptable. As Chen Shen scored, this time it was Yang Qi's turn to serve as the defensive side. When Chen Shen got the ball, Lu Ruyan was still encouraging him from the sidelines. Chen Shen, continue your attacking style, don't let that big fool affect you. Big fool. Yang Qi looked puzzled. Was Lu Ruyan talking about him? Okay. Chen Shen nodded at Lu Ruyan, showing a bit more confidence on his face. In the next moment, Chen Shen's eyes on the basket became serious. Seeing this, Yang Qi knew that Chen Shen was going to shoot from the three-point line again. In order to prevent Chen Shen from succeeding, Yang Qi decisively stepped forward to intercept. Let's see if you can make it this time. Just as Chen Shen was about to shoot, Yang Qi suddenly rushed towards him and they collided. The basketball slipped from Chen Shen's hand. But Yang Qi's initial intention was not to block the shot, but to knock down Chen Shen. With a thud, Chen Shen fell heavily to the ground. Honey, Lu Ruyan immediately covered her mouth. Wow, the goddess just called that kid honey? Oh my, it seems so. No way, did you miss here? How is that possible? Lu Ruyan hurried to Chen Shen's side to check on him. The pain in her beautiful eyes was visible. Chen Shen, are you, are you okay? Wait a minute. Chen Shen frowned but his gaze fell on the basket. Yang Qi was the same, although Chen Shen's three-pointer was disturbed, it still left his hand and hit the basket. At this moment, the basketball was spinning rapidly in the basket. Chen Shen's Adam's apple moved up and down. Following his line of sight, Lu Ruyan also held her breath. After spinning several times in the basket, the ball slowly turned to the top of the basket. Just as it was about to fall out of the basket, it suddenly fell back into the basket, causing an uproar among the crowd on the court. Seeing this, Yang Qi clenched his fists, damn, great, Lu Ruyan happily hugged Chen Chen. There was one more shot, and if Chen Chen made it, he would win. Suddenly being tightly hugged by the school flower Lu Ruyan, Chen Chen's mind went blank for a moment, you, especially feeling the softness in front of his chest, his body stiffened and he dared not move. The boys next to him widened their eyes, gritting their teeth, feeling so lucky to be able to play with the school flower, and even getting her concern when injured, and now being openly hugged. Seeing this scene, Yang Qi's face turned black. Not only did Chen Chen make two consecutive three-pointers, but also the schoolflower he liked was in Chen Chen's arms. 
If he lost this game, he would really lose face in the academy. Hey, have you shown off enough? Hurry up and start the next round if you're not dead. Yang Qi was full of anger at this lovey-dovey display. Chen Shen smiled awkwardly, while Lu Ruyan was still hugging him as if she didn't mind others watching them. But, you should know that there are dozens of sharp eyes watching them on the court. Ruyan, let's finish the game first. Chen Chen reminded her. Okay. Lu Ruyan reluctantly let go of Chen Chen, looking at the wound on his knee, just be careful, okay? After speaking, she turned to look at Yang Qi again. The tenderness in her beautiful eyes instantly turned sharp, and a sense of killing intent enveloped her, frightening Yang Qi into widening his eyes. What kind of look is this woman giving? Just now, that look seemed to say, if you dare to touch him again, I will kill you. The next round continued. This time, Chen Chen was still on the offensive, but compared to the previous two rounds, he was clearly worse off. Even a normal shot might be affected, let alone a confrontation. Let's see how you can shoot this time. After throwing the ball, Yang Qi snorted. Seeing Chen Chen's arms and knees covered in blood, this injury would definitely affect his accuracy. With a little more interception, he wouldn't be able to. What is this kid doing? My goodness, is he trying to shoot from the center? How is that possible? He's too arrogant. Chen Chen's actions interrupted the thoughts of Yang Qi and the others. Chen Chen suddenly dribbled back, creating some distance from Yang Qi inside the three-point line, almost reaching the center court. Chen Chen looked at this distance, then at the basket. It should be about right. Even Lu Ruyan hadn't expected this. Could it be that her husband was challenging himself? But for Chen Chen, who had just been injured, this was too risky. Chen Chen ignored those doubts and only wanted to believe in himself. Because he knew that if he couldn't make any breakthroughs, it would be impossible to defeat Li Tao from the Sports Institute. He had to try. Yang Qi sneered at this moment, you really are a coward. Because you're afraid of my defense, you've retreated to this position to shoot. But do you really think it's useful? You're just digging your own grave. Just injured, Chen Chen would probably struggle to hit the backboard with a three-pointer, and he still wants to shoot from the center? Will it work? You won't know until you try. Chen Chen's eyes were determined as he held the ball up and aimed at the basket. The next moment, Chen Chen closed his eyes. As he jumped with force on his toes, he pushed the ball with his right hand. A very high arc cut through, reflecting in the pupils of everyone on the court. Impossible. Heads were raised, eyes widened. Swish. A beautiful swish through the net. The third ball went in. Wow. A surprised exclamation suddenly erupted from the crowd. The people on the court all expressed disbelief. 3 to 1, this kid actually won. Yang Qi actually lost to a guy who can't even make a breakthrough. It looks like the title of the number one person on the Nani court is going to change. Lu Ruyan was also extremely surprised, not expecting Chen Chen to be able to do this. Her husband was really so cool. In this situation, it seemed that there was actually hope of defeating Li Tao. However, at this moment, Yang Qi's jaw was almost dropping to the ground. He couldn't even do a long-distance shot like that himself. But Chen Chen not only did it, but it was also a beautiful swish, which couldn't have been just luck. The ball in Chen Chen's hands seemed to be a sure shot every time, it was too exaggerated. This is impossible. How could it be possible to do this? Yang Qi simply couldn't believe the result. He actually lost, and he lost to a newcomer like Chen Chen on the court. This was simply a disgrace for Yang Qi. Whether it's possible or not, losing is losing. Admit defeat. Add Chen Chen's name to the class team. At this moment, Lu Ruyan walked up to Yang Qi and spoke coldly. Yang Qi glanced at Lu Ruyan, his face turning dark. Fine, add it. It's just adding a name. But it's too late to sign up now. Even if you can get in, it's at most a substitute position. You. Lu Ruyan frowned. At this moment, a hand suddenly rested on Lu Ruyan's shoulder. It's okay, just be a substitute. Maybe there will be a chance for you to play, Chen Chen advised. Lu Ruyan felt a bit aggrieved, but she had no choice. After all, Yang Qi was the sports committee member of the class, and he was solely responsible for organizing the basketball game. Forcing Yang Qi wouldn't lead to any good results. Since that was the case, they could only wait and see. Don't blame me for not warning you, Chen Chen. Don't think that scoring one or two goals can replace South Arts in dealing with the neighboring sports institute. Those guys are much better than me. If you go on the court, it will just be a joke. Just be content being a substitute. After Yang Qi finished speaking, he left angrily. Lu Ruyan raised her fist in anger. What did you say? Do you have the guts to say it again? Chen Chen awkwardly smiled. Don't. Don't be angry. I really didn't have the qualifications to enter this competition. If it weren't for you training with me, I wouldn't even have the chance to be a substitute. Since I've joined the team, I think I can still play for a while. 
Really? Lu Ruyan looked at Chun Chen with a furrowed brow, Yang Qi is deliberately bullying you. It was clear to discerning eyes that Yang Qi was deliberately making things difficult for Chen Chen, and a big reason for this was because of Lu Ruyan. Thinking of this, Lu Ruyan gritted her teeth, determined to help her husband become stronger. I almost forgot, you still have an injury. We need to hurry to the medical room to disinfect it. Seeing the blood on Chen Chen's knee, Lu Ruyan immediately nervously pulled him towards the medical room. The people who hadn't left the court were stunned to see this scene. What's the situation with these two people? Could it be that they, the school's beauties, were being ignored like this? In the medical room. Huh, why isn't anyone here? Lu Ruyan led Chen Chen into the medical room and asked curiously. Blushing, Chen Chen scratched his head, I guess the teacher must have gone off for something. Since that's the case, let's forget it. It's just a minor injury, no need to be too nervous. No, the game is about to start soon, and your injury won't heal that quickly if it's left untreated. And we still need to continue training. Lu Ruyan furrowed her brows, thinking, and suddenly thought of something. Well, since the teacher isn't here, I'll help you apply the medicine. Ha, huh? don't resist, come and sit down. Chen Chen was pressed into a chair, and Lu Ruyan's pretty face was close. Today, I'm your Dr. Chen Chen, classmate. Suddenly, Chen Chen's ears felt hot. Lu Ruyan found iodine, cotton swabs, and gauze on the shelf. Holding these, she came to Chen Chen and, in the next moment, she knelt in front of him and applied medicine to the wound on his knee. Chen Chen hurriedly tried to stop her. Wait. Wait a minute. Isn't this posture a bit inappropriate? It's too easy to misunderstand. Why? Lu Ruyan furrowed her brows, puzzled. It's just applying medicine. What's the big deal? No need to be shy. Well then. Since Lu Ruyan was so insistent, Chen Chen didn't want to stop her. But as he watched her bury her head under him, Chen Chen's heart was about to jump out of his chest. He never would have thought that the school beauty would help him with this kind of thing. Hiss. Chen Chen suddenly bit his lip lightly, his cheeks turning red. Lu Ruyan raised her head. It's almost done. Just bear with it. Okay. I got it. I didn't hurt you, did I? Just a little. Okay. I'll be gentle. Done. Lu Ruyan let out a heavy sigh and brushed her hair aside. After finishing the bandaging, she looked at the bow she had tied and couldn't help but smile with satisfaction. Chen Chen was left speechless by Lu Ruyan's girlish behavior. However, the fact that Lu Ruyan did these things for him still made him feel warm inside. He and her were not very familiar, but inexplicably, the two of them had been training together since last night. However, in Lu Ruyan, Chen Chen saw a very lovely side of her. Compared to the past Lu Ruyan, this might be the real her. What's wrong? Chen Chen. Lu Ruyan noticed that Chen Chen had been looking at her. Ah, uh, nothing. Chen Chen awkwardly scratched his head. But, thank you, Ruyan. In the past, no one had been so kind to him, let alone someone like Lu Ruyan. Lu Ruyan smiled brightly and said, It's nothing, just a small matter. And if it weren't for me, maybe he wouldn't have bothered you, but now it seems that Yang Qi doesn't dare to trouble us anymore. I hope so, Chen Chen said with a wry smile. Don't worry, I'm here, Lu Ruyan said with a slight smile, preparing to stand up. But the next moment, due to kneeling for too long, her legs suddenly gave way, and she fell into Chen Chen's arms. Sitting on the chair, Chen Chen saw this scene and instinctively reached out to support her. Lu Ruyan fell into Chen Chen's arms, and Chen Chen's hand happened to press against her chest. So soft. Chen Chen's mind went blank for a moment, then he quickly let go of his hand. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Chen Chen hurriedly explained. At this moment, Lu Ruyan covered her chest, her pretty face blushing slightly. Chen Chen. If you touched it, you have to take responsibility. What? Chen Chen was taken aback. The school flower said. He had to take responsibility? Chen Chen was momentarily speechless. But I didn't mean to, I was just afraid you would get hurt. But you've already touched it. If you don't take responsibility, then I'll be defiled. Lu Ruyan furrowed her brows, looking so pitiful that it seemed like Chen Chen had done something outrageous. I. Chen Chen looked embarrassed. Put. Lu Ruyan couldn't help but laugh. Okay, I was just teasing you. Seeing her husband's adorable look, Lu Ruyan found it really amusing. Ah, Chen Chen let out a sigh of relief. Fortunately, it was just a joke. But then he looked at Lu Ruyan and frowned. But are you really not angry? In a normal situation, shouldn't Lu Ruyan have slapped him and scolded him as a pervert? But seeing that Lu Ruyan was not only not angry, but also smiling, it was hard to believe. After all, she had been taken advantage of. I don't mind, as long as it's you, Chen Chen, I won't mind anything. Lu Ruyan stuck out her tongue. After all, Chen Chen was her husband. If she had to mind, she wouldn't know how many times she should have minded in her past life. 
For Lu Ruyan, apart from feeling shy, she didn't have any resistance. On the contrary, some intimate contact could remind her of past happiness. Chen Chen looked at Lu Ruyan and couldn't help but furrow his brows. Something's not right. This woman is not right. I'm a little hungry, Chen Chen, let's go eat together. Lu Ruyan touched her flat stomach. With her reminder, Chen Chen also felt a little hungry. It was just about lunchtime, so it was time to eat something. Chen Chen said, then let's go to the cafeteria. Cafeteria? Hmm, how about we eat outside? Eat outside? Why, isn't the cafeteria fine? I'm not used to eating in the cafeteria. Lu Ruyan smiled meaningfully. And, Chen Chen, you probably don't want to attract attention again, right? Chen Chen scratched his head, realizing that she was right. After all, with so many people in the cafeteria, having a meal with the attention-grabbing figure like Lu Ruyan might attract a crowd. Just thinking about it, Chen Chen felt terrified. So it's settled, let's go. Just walking on the street, Chen Chen and Lu Ruyan had already attracted a lot of attention. Of course, all these gazes were directed at Lu Ruyan. Although Chen Chen felt a bit uncomfortable, he had to accept the current situation. As soon as they left the school gate, Lu Ruyan naturally linked arms with Chen Chen and pointed in a direction, saying, Let's go there, I remember there's a very nice restaurant over there, you'll definitely like it. Hey, all right. Chen Chen looked at Lu Ruyan linking arms with him, and even stuttered in his speech. Does she really not worry about being misunderstood? There are so many people around. Obviously, Lu Ruyan didn't care about other people's gazes, happily leading Chen Chen towards the direction of the restaurant. Little did they know that at that moment, there were several pairs of eyes staring at them in the crowd. Chen Xiao, are you talking about that kid? A thug with dyed hair asked Li Tao beside him. At that moment, Li Tao was glaring at Lu Ruyan linking arms with Chen Chen, feeling furious. He was so devoted to this woman, and yet she was acting so affectionately with this foolish kid. In any case, he had to snatch Lu Ruyan back from Chen Chen. It's him, you guys make sure to teach that kid a lesson, even if it means breaking his legs. Li Tao's face turned dark, his fists clenched. But remember, don't hurt my woman. Otherwise, you won't get a single penny. As long as they broke one of Chen Chen's legs, he wouldn't be able to play in the basketball game on Sunday, and naturally, Li Tao would win the bet. And he could also teach a lesson to the guy who stole his goddess. For safety's sake, this was the perfect plan. If they were going to do it, they had to be ruthless. Heh <laughs> heh, don't worry, Chen Xiao, as long as there's money, we'll definitely do as you say. The thug with dyed hair smirked. Li Tao snorted, you'll definitely get your money, as long as you do as I say and expose that kid for who he really is, let her see clearly what kind of man she really likes. When the time comes, I'll come out to stop you, and you guys better act convincingly. Got it? Got it. We brothers have better acting skills than any Oscar winning actor, you don't need to worry about that. Boss, it's, it's Oscar. Shut up. Do I need you to remind me, boss, of course I know it's okay Oscar, boss, boss, no chicken, you're the one who's chicken, what kind of talk is that? Watching these low-class thugs, Li Tao impatiently said, stop arguing, that's it, hurry up and follow me, or you'll be responsible if anything goes wrong, go, yes, Chen Xiao. Walking in the crowd, Lu Ruyan leaned happily on Chen Chen's shoulder. Throughout the journey, Chen Chen's body was stiff, not daring to move. He even had the illusion that the campus bell had become his girlfriend. No, no, no. This was impossible. How could he be with such a prominent figure? Even though they were not in school at the moment, Lu Ruyan's figure and look still attracted a lot of attention on the street, first with admiring gazes, then turning to disdain when they fell on Chen Chen. It was truly a pitiful situation. He didn't want this. Let's go this way, this road will be faster. Lu Ruyan pointed to a secluded alley on the left. Just as the two of them walked towards the alley, several thugs suddenly emerged from a side street. These thugs were holding clubs and carelessly blocked the path of Lu Ruyan and Chen Chen. Chen Chen immediately felt that something was wrong when he saw them, and his brows furrowed, it seems like we've gotten into trouble. Lu Ruyan also sensed that something was amiss. These people were obviously waiting for them, and there was no one else around, which was just what they wanted. What do you want? Lu Ruyan asked coldly, taking the lead. How dare they interrupt her and her husband's affection at this time. These guys are asking for trouble. What do we want? Can't you tell? The leader with yellow hair walked up to Lu Ruyan and deliberately showed off the baton in his hand. The short and fat thug beside him spoke up. I, I, our boss, want to flirt with you. If you can't speak, then shut your mouth. The yellow-haired guy scolded, then looked at Lu Ruyan lecherously and said, Hey girl, you look pretty good. Want to have some fun with us brothers? I think your little pretty boy here wouldn't mind, right? The yellow-haired thug looked fiercely at Chun Chen. 
Hearing the thug being so brazen, Chen Shen's face turned serious, and he quietly clenched his fists. With so many people here, if a fight broke out, he would definitely not be a match. He had to find a way to take Lu Ruyan and escape from here. Seeing this scene from the sidelines, Li Tao couldn't help but smirk. Lu Ruyan, oh Lu Ruyan, you will soon see the true face of this coward. The only one who can truly protect you is me, Li Tao. Cliché lines. Coming out to flirt with women, not even changing a word. Do you really think you're handsome? At this moment, Lu Ruyan's eyes were sharp and she said, What did you say? Boss, she. She seems to be saying that you're ugly. Shut up. The yellow-haired guy coldly snorted and looked at Lu Ruyan with gritted teeth. If it weren't for Li Tao's orders, he would have wanted to take this woman down. He didn't care if she was pretty or not, how dare she insult his looks. Hey girl, you're quite hot. I'm going to take you with me today. With that, the yellow-haired guy reached out to grab Lu Ruyan. But just as he was about to touch her, a hand suddenly reached out and firmly grabbed him. The yellow-haired guy looked down in surprise and then looked at the owner of the hand. He saw Chen Shen gritting his teeth and speaking coldly, you have no right to touch her. Chen Chen, my classmate. Hearing Chen Chen's heroic words, Lu Ruyan was pleasantly surprised. Her husband's manly demeanor was simply amazing. And on Chen Chen's youthful face, a hint of maturity had already appeared. Especially those unwavering eyes, it was hard not to love him. You little brat, do you still want to play the hero? Didn't you see the few of us? The yellow-haired guy sneered, not expecting this kid to have such courage. Chen Chen frowned, his Adam's apple moving up and down. So what? I won't let you do anything to her. This was the first time Chen Shen had encountered such a situation, and naturally he was afraid. After all, they were outnumbered, not to mention they were armed. If the situation hadn't been urgent just now, he wouldn't have taken the risk, all for Lu Ruyan's safety. Boss, this kid. This kid is playing us. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Okay. Okay, boss. Suppressing his anger, the yellow-haired guy looked at Chen Shen and said, Kid, don't say I didn't give you a chance. If you leave her now, I can pretend you didn't say what you just said, otherwise, you will die a miserable death. With that, the yellow-haired guy smirked and stuck out his tongue, licking the baton. Damn it. Why does it smell so bad? Boss. Boss, I've been a bit constipated lately, so I used it. F asterisk CK. Can't you use your own? Chen Shen and Lu Ruyan looked at each other, their expressions indescribable. These thugs didn't seem very bright, but Lu Ruyan quickly felt that something was wrong. Playing us? Could there be a hidden agenda in this matter? Lu Ruyan lightly furrowed her brows and looked at Chen Chen. Chen Chen, why don't you leave here and call the police? These hooligans are after her, and she can't let them harm her husband. It's best for someone to go and call the police, anyway she can protect herself. No, I can't leave. Chen Chen suddenly held Lu Ruyan's hand. In the next moment, he looked at Lu Ruyan seriously and said, I won't leave a girl like you here, nor can I do such a thing. If I really just left like that, then I would be too cowardly. Thump. Hearing Chen Chen's simple and sincere words, Lu Ruyan even heard her own heartbeat for a moment. It's no wonder he was her husband in her previous life. She really didn't misjudge him at all. Hey, have you made up your mind? If you don't run, your legs won't be safe later. Huang Mao threatened, tapping his palm with a baton. Just as Chen Chen was about to speak, Lu Ruyan suddenly pulled her hand out, surprising Chen Chen. Ruyan? Chen Chen, leave this to me. Lu Ruyan turned to look at Chen Shen, smiling slightly. Chen Shen couldn't believe it, what did you say? Before Lu Ruyan could reply, she suddenly seemed to change her demeanor, looking at Huang Ma with cold eyes, do you want to fight? You don't need Chen Shen to help, I alone am enough. Hearing this, Chen Shen widened his eyes. Hey, did you learn Sichuan opera face changing? Huang Ma laughed in surprise, his tone disdainful. The short and fat thug added, B-boss, she wants to fight us alone. Alone? Don't be ridiculous. Huang Mao came up to Lu Ruyan, lifting her chin with the baton, a female college student like you, how much strength could you possibly have, and you want to fight alone? Hiss. Ah. Huang Mao suddenly shouted in pain. Lu Ruyan had kicked him without hesitation, aiming for his vital spot, causing Huang Mao to bend over in agony, clutching his lower body. Chen Chen couldn't help but cover his own groin, feeling. Even a man could understand. Boss. Several thugs exclaimed in surprise. It's. It's over, the boss is really done for. Lu Ruyan sneered, hands on her hips, you few little thugs, maybe you can intimidate other girls, but if you want to intimidate me, then you've got the wrong person. You. You. You're asking for it. Huang Mao, in pain and weakened, had already forgotten Li Tao's instructions. He felt ashamed for not giving this girl a beating, after all the years he had spent with his little brothers. Grab this girl for me. 
At this moment, several thugs with batons rushed forward, wanting to grab Lu Ruyan. Such a beautiful woman, even if they couldn't have her, they could at least touch her. Disgust and a hint of murderous intent appeared in Lu Ruyan's beautiful eyes. In the next moment, she lifted a leg high and brought it down on the face of the thug charging towards her, with a loud thud. The thug's eyes rolled back, and blood gushed from his nose. Chen Chen watched in astonishment at Lu Ruyan's handsome and smooth movements. For a moment, that scene seemed to freeze in Chen Chen's eyes. He never knew that Lu Ruyan was so skilled. Damn! Li Tao, who was hiding in the distance, couldn't help but exclaim in amazement. Damn, I forgot that Lu Ruyan is the president of the Taekwondo club at their school. I didn't expect her to be so powerful. Li Tao really didn't expect that the situation would not develop according to his planned direction. It was a miscalculation. Thud. Lu Ruyan kicked twice in the air, knocking down two thugs. The sound of wailing filled the air, leaving Chen Chen in awe. He never thought that he would be protected by a girl, and she was the school's beauty queen. I'll kill you. Just then, Huang Mao suddenly attacked from behind Lu Ruyan. Ruyan, be careful. As Lu Ruyan turned around, she saw the yellow-haired thug swinging a club at her head. Suddenly, a dark figure appeared in front of her. Upon closer inspection, it turned out to be Chen Chen. Bang! A solid thud rang out as the club struck Chen Chen's left arm. Husband! Lu Ruyan exclaimed in fear. Chen Chen winced in pain and took a deep breath. Why are you so foolish? If that had hit your head. I'm fine. Chen Chen gritted his teeth and looked at Lu Ruyan. Are you hurt? Lu Ruyan was suddenly stunned, feeling a warmth in her heart. Daring to protect her, you must be tired of living. The yellow-haired thug shouted fiercely, swinging the club again. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan's eyes sharpened. She swiftly kicked the thug in the face, causing his nose to break and blood to spray. With a few thuds, the thug rolled on the ground before collapsing. Daring to harm Chen Shen, you're the one tired of living. Lu Ruyan's eyes were filled with killing intent. Anyone who dared to lay a hand on Chen Shen would not be spared by her. Li Tao, who witnessed the scene from a distance, punched the wall in anger. Useless. All of you are useless. To be beaten like this by a woman. It seemed that the remaining plan could not be carried out. Those thugs were unreliable, and staying would likely lead to discovery. Although Li Tao was unwilling, he had to leave first and settle the score during Sunday's basketball game. Let me see your hand. Lu Ruyan nervously took Chen Chen's arm. Chen Chen had suffered quite a few injuries that day, which pained her deeply. It's nothing serious, just some bruises, Chen Chen frowned. Lu Ruyan couldn't help but grit her teeth. These bastards. Be boss, Chen Xiao didn't say she knew Kung Fu. The short, fat thug had lost a few teeth from the beating. Yellow hair covered his face, feeling a hot flow between his fingers. Damn, it was blood. If he had known she was so formidable, he would have paid Li Tao more. At that moment, Lu Ruyan walked towards Yellow Hair. Terrified, Yellow Hair shuffled back on the cement, his buttocks almost worn out. Am miss, spare me. Lu Ruyan stood in front of Yellow Hair, her sharp eyes asking, Who is this Chin Xiao that the fat guy mentioned? Who ordered you to come? Speak. When Lu Ruyan heard the name Chin Xiao, she found it strange. Especially now, hearing the not so bright fat guy mention Chin Xiao, she was even more certain that this was no coincidence, someone must have instructed them to come. Thinking of this, Lu Ruyan's face grew angrier. Yellow hair hastily explained, Miss, no one instructed us. Don't listen to that idiot. Yes, Chen. Chen Xiao didn't instruct us. The toothless fat guy also nodded quickly. Yeah, he didn't. Idiot. You've exposed us all. Lu Ruyan snorted coldly, her eyes icy. Speak up, don't hide anything. What's going on? Chen Chan also walked over out of curiosity. Seeing that the situation had been exposed, Yellow Hair gave up. TCH, even if you know, so what? We have professional ethics. We take money to solve problems for others. Do you think I'll talk just because you want me to? In our line of work, we follow. Hey, what are you doing? Click. Suddenly, Lu Ruyan took out her phone and snapped a picture of Yellow Hair. Delete the photo. Yellow Hair said in frustration. Lu Ruyan smirked her red lips parting. You seemed so principled earlier. Well, you can wait to say these things in prison. Let's see if you'll choose to follow the rules with the police. You. Yellow hair panicked. As Lu Ruyan was about to make a call to the police, Huang Mao swallowed hard and quickly reached out, saying, wait, miss, let's talk it out. Don't call the police. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. That's more like it. Lu Ruyan put away her still locked phone. Huang Mao looked at Lu Ruyan with resentment. It's. It's Li Tao who asked us to do this. Li Tao? Both Chen Chan and Lu Ruyan were surprised to hear this name. They hadn't expected him to be the mastermind behind it all. Why did Li Tao want to do this? 
Chen Shen couldn't help but ask. Huang Mao sneered, why did he want to do this? You offended young Master Chen, don't you understand? Now young Master Chen wants you to disappear from this girl's side forever. Upon hearing this, Chen Shen clenched his fists. Just because he had been too close to Lu Ruyan, they had to do this? How does Li Tao plan to deal with us? Lu Ruyan also asked. Huang Mao grinned maliciously, it's not about you, it's only about that kid. Young Master Chen wants his leg. What? Chen Shen was slightly surprised. So from the beginning, these hooligans had come for him. It was probably because Li Tao wanted to stop him from playing basketball. Lu Ruyan's pretty face was filled with anger, her delicate fists clenched. That jerk Li Tao. She wouldn't let him succeed. If he wanted to hurt her husband, he would have to get through her first. I'm sorry, Chen Shen. It seems that it's because of me again, causing trouble for you, Lu Ruyan frowned, feeling very guilty. Don't apologize, this is not just your choice, it's mine too. Chen Shen looked at Lu Ruyan seriously, even if they want to cause trouble for me, it's not your fault, don't blame yourself. Although getting close to the school beauty Lu Ruyan would bring about many sudden troubles, Chen Shen knew that it wasn't Lu Ruyan's fault, and he wouldn't blame others for it. What they should be thinking about now is how to solve this problem. Upon hearing this, Lu Ruyan felt an urge to cry. Her husband was really too good. Just then, Chen Shen's phone suddenly rang. Chen Shen picked up his phone and realized that he still had a part-time job in the afternoon. Oh no, I've delayed too long, I forgot that I have to go to work this afternoon. But in this situation, well, then Chen Shen, you should go quickly, Lu Ruyan said. But how are they going to deal with it? It's okay, I will handle this problem. You can rest assured, Lu Ruyan smiled sweetly, giving a reassuring feeling. Well, Chen Chen hesitated. But thinking that these guys were powerless to fight back, they were no match for Lu Ruyan, he really had nothing to worry about. Alright then, as for this meal, I'll make it up to you next time. Okay, be careful on the way. Lu Ruyan waved vigorously as Chen Chen walked away. Damn. Huang Ma watched Chen Chen leave, gritting his teeth in anger. But there was nothing he could do, they were just unlucky to have encountered a female devil. Hey, little Huang Mao. Suddenly, Lu Ruyan looked coldly at Huang Mao. Huang Mao swallowed hard and forced a smile, Miss, do you have any orders? Lu Ruyan waved her phone in front of Huang Mao. I have your picture. If you dare to cause trouble for Chen Shen again next time, then don't blame me for causing trouble for you. Do you understand? I, I understand. Huang Mao's eye twitched, this woman, was really terrifying. By the way, Lu Ruyan slowly spoke. How much did Li Tao give you to do this? Huang Mao forced a smile, originally, it was agreed to give us 3,000 after the job was done, but now that things have gone south, I guess we won't get that money. This woman actually has the nerve to ask. If it weren't for her, we would have easily taken those 3,000 tails. Upon hearing this, Lu Ruyan pondered for a moment before speaking, how about this, I'll give you a task. As long as you help me complete it, then I will give you this amount. With that, Lu Ruyan gestured with her hand. Oomph. I thought it would be more, but you want to boss us around for a mere 5,000. It's not 5,000, it's 50,000. 50,000, how? What? You said, 50. 50,000? Lu Ruyan raised a faint smile and said, that's right, help me complete this task. 50,000 will be yours. Huang Mao immediately became excited, nodding repeatedly like an eager dog, I'll do it, I'll do it. I thought you had some backbone, that you wouldn't even want this 50,000. Lu Ruyan sneered. Huang Mao chuckled and changed his tune, how could that be? Just now, I was a bit short-sighted, my brain didn't turn the corner, but now that you've talked to me, I'm all fired up, but, it's not easy to do without some money in hand. Huang Mao said, stealing a glance at Lu Ruyan. Lu Ruyan, who had dealt with the business world in her previous life, naturally understood the meaning, but to gain benefits so easily now would be too cheap for them. It's okay if you don't do it, there will naturally be someone else to do the 50,000 task. No no no. I trust you, can't I trust you? Huang Mao hurriedly interjected. After all, if he missed out on Chen Xiao's task, he would have to make up for some losses. Even if he didn't agree to her, this ruthless little girl probably wouldn't let him off that easily. Tell me, how do you want us to do it? At this moment, a hint of killing intent flashed in Lu Ruyan's beautiful eyes. It's simple. Whatever Li Tao wants you to do, I want you to do it. This is called killing two birds with one stone. At night, Millennium Noodle House. In the quiet noodle house, Chen Chen was busy cleaning up the dishes in the shop. For some reason, the boss lady, Wang Yi, in her forties, had been sitting in her seat, propping up her chin with her chubby white hand, staring at Chen Chen with ambiguous eyes and a smile on her lips. This made Chen Chen feel a little uneasy. After all, there were only a few men and women in the shop. After finally finishing cleaning up, 
Xin Xin just wanted to escape from this terrifying gaze. Aunt Wang, I finished cleaning up, so I'll go home first. Xin Xin was about to untie his apron to leave, but Wang Yi suddenly opened her thick red lips and said, Xiao Chun, why are you in such a hurry to go home? Come, keep Aunt Wang company in chat. With that, Wang Yi even threw a flirtatious glance at Chen Chen. Chen Chen shivered. I, I'd better not, Aunt Wang, I have something to do at home. Chen Chen awkwardly smiled. Oh, no rush, I still want to talk to you about a raise. Wang Yi smiled meaningfully and got up to pull Chen Chen to a seat. After all, you work so diligently here, Aunt Wang can see it. A raise? Aunt Wang, are you serious? Chen Chen didn't think too much about it, and was even a little happy. The current salary was indeed a bit low for him. If he could get a raise, that would be a good thing. Of course I'm serious, after all, Xiao Chen, you're so capable, how could Aunt Wang not reward you? You agree, right? Wang Yi smiled like a young girl and her fat hand with a gold ring touched Chen Chen's hand. This made Chen Chen stiff all over. Could it really be as he thought? Chen Chen slowly withdrew his hand, with a forced smile on his face. Th. Thank you, Aunt Wang. It's only right to work hard when working here, he he. And Wang glanced with her narrow eyes and smiled, Xiao Chen is really modest. After all, there are not many young men like you who are capable and willing to work hard. And Wang really likes you. As she spoke, Chen Chen suddenly felt a rubbing sensation on his leg. Quietly looking down, he saw a Jinhua black silk ham rubbing against his leg. In an instant, Chen Chen's face turned pale with fright. And Wang, this is a twisted love. Xiao Chen, tonight And Wang will be home alone. Why don't you come over and keep Aunt Wang company? And by the way, we can talk about a raise. Aunt Wang's eyes were seductive as her heavy hand grabbed Chen Chen once again. Chen Chen tried to break free but found that Aunt Wang was stronger. Xiao Chen, be obedient if you want a raise, Aunt Wang said. Aunt Wang, this. Ding dong. Just then, the door was pushed open. Chen Chen, I'm here. Lu Ruyan had just entered, her smile freezing on her face. When she saw Aunt Wang's salty hands, Lu Ruyan's face turned cold. Chen Chen? Aunt Wang looked at Lu Ruyan and then at Chen Chen. Xiao Chen, who is this? Could it be your girlfriend? Ruyan, why are you here? Chen Chen was surprised. How did Lu Ruyan know he was working here? Looking at his own hand, Chen Chen quickly pulled it away. This, it's not what you think, don't misunderstand. Chen Chen awkwardly smiled, his ears turning red. Lu Ruyan walked over with a cold expression, looking at Aunt Wang with hostility. Of course I had to come. If I didn't, wouldn't my boyfriend be taken advantage of by a sow? Chen Chen's eyes widened. Did he hear that right? Was Lu Ruyan referring to him as her boyfriend? What are you saying, you little brat? And Wang trembled with anger at the insinuation. Lu Ruyan coldly snorted and said, I didn't say anything. Do you want to admit that you are the sow who stole the cabbage? Well, looking at it, it does seem more fitting. What do you mean? Chen Chen hurriedly stood up and tried to calm the situation. Ling, don't be angry. It's about time for me to leave. Let's talk outside. After saying that, Chen Chen apologized to Aunt Wang, sorry, Aunt Wang, for causing trouble. No way. This little brat comes in and insults me, and now she wants to leave just like that. Xiao Chen, you either choose her or choose me. If she doesn't apologize today, then there's no discussion about a raise. Aunt Wang was furious, pointing at Lu Ruyan. Why should I apologize to you? Lu Ruyan frowned. Aunt Wang was heaving with anger. Look at what kind of girlfriend you found, not as good as your Aunt Wang. I, Chen Chen was in a dilemma. In the end, he gritted his teeth, suddenly took off his work badge, and threw it on the table. Both Lu Ruyan and Aunt Wang looked at him in surprise. Sorry, Aunt Wang, I can't do this. Chen Chen's tone was cold. Aunt Wang stared with her narrow eyes at Chen Chen as he led Lu Ruyan out of the shop, unable to speak in anger. You, after leaving the noodle shop, Chen Chen finally let go of Lu Ruyan's hand inside, his face filled with regret. Please don't misunderstand what just happened. I didn't promise her anything. Of course I know. Lu Ruyan said confidently, I know Chen Chen is not that kind of person. She just couldn't stand that fat woman daring to make a move on her husband. Thinking of this, she wished she could chop off that pig's trotter to vent her anger. Hearing this, Chen Chen finally breathed a sigh of relief. Presumably, Lu Ruyan had called him her boyfriend just to help defuse the situation. By the way, how did you suddenly find this place? Chen Chen asked curiously. He seemed to have not told Lu Ruyan where he worked. In fact, Lu Ruyan had found it based on memories from her past life. She remembered when she chatted with Chen Chen before, he mentioned where he worked during college, and she remembered it clearly. I wanted to come and pick you up after work, but who knew I would see something like this, Lu Ruyan said with a deliberate cold snort. Chen Chen scratched his head awkwardly. 
Lu Ruyan glanced at Chen Shen and then changed her tone, well, I was just kidding. I just wanted to see where you work and talk to you about tomorrow's training. After all, the basketball game is the day after tomorrow. That guy Li Tao is so despicable, we must not let him win. I, I might not have time to go to the training. Lu Ruyan was saying when she suddenly heard Chen Shen say this, and her expression froze. Why? Lu Ruyan frowned. Chen Shen sighed and said slowly, as you can see, I am already unemployed now. To make a living, I have to go find a job when I have time tomorrow, and also my hand. Chen Shen looked at his injured hand. Clearly, life was more important than a basketball game. Hearing this, Lu Ruyan's frown deepened. Chen Shen, if you have any financial difficulties, just tell me, I can help. No, thanks. Chen Shen shook his head and refused. This is my own business after all. But still, thank you for your kindness. Lu Ruyan hesitated for a moment and then said, Chen Shen, it's getting late, you should go back early, and I need to go back to rest too. Chen Shen felt depressed and really didn't feel like chatting anymore. Watching Chen Shen leave, Lu Ruyan felt heartbroken. No, her husband's unemployment was because of her. She had to help him get through this difficult time. The next morning, as soon as Chen Shen entered the classroom, he felt very uncomfortable. Hostile, disdainful, envious, and even surprised gazes were directed at him. Chen Shen endured these looks and found a seat. Before he could even settle in, someone patted him on the back forcefully. Turning around, he saw a boy with black framed glasses standing behind him, his arm tightly around Chen Shen's neck. You finally came, tell me, are you hiding something from me? What nonsense are you talking about? Chen Shen broke free from He Wei Hong's grip. He Wei Hang smirked and lowered his voice, you're not being fair. I'm your best friend, and you didn't tell me about this important matter? I thought we were good brothers. The person in front of him, He Wei Hang, was the only and best friend Chen Shen had made since entering the South Arts Institute. In two years of college life, only the straightforward He Wei Hang had never looked down on Chen Shen. What important matter? I don't know what you're talking about. He Wei Hang snorted, all right, still trying to hide it from me? It's about you being with our school's campus bell, right? You're hiding it from me, afraid I'll steal her from you? But how could you? Sob sob sob. Chen Chen quickly covered He Wei Hong's mouth. What are you saying? When did I start dating Lu Ruyan? Sob sob sob. He Wei Hang pointed to his own mouth being covered. Chen Chen reluctantly let go, and He Wei Hang immediately said, I didn't make this up. This matter is making a big fuss on the school's online forum. You, my friend, have become a big name in the school now. What? Chen Chen was stunned and quickly took out his phone to check. As soon as he opened the forum, the top posts were all about him and Lu Ruyan. Shocking. South Arts Institute's campus bell Lu Ruyan and loser Chen Chen dating. South Arts Institute headlines. Two men fight for the right to make with the school flower, 1v1 on the court. What kind of sensational UC title is this? Clicking on a few posts, there are photos of him and Lu Ruyan practicing on the court yesterday. There are even videos of him and Yang Qi playing 1v1 on the court, but it's mostly embarrassing for Chen Chen. Looking further down, the discussions in the forum are heating up. Who is this guy? How could he be with my goddess? I can't believe it, this guy looks so average, how could the goddess like this loser? Could it be that this guy is rich? But he looks like a poor guy. There are so many handsome guys in our college, the goddess's taste is really bad. If this guy can get the goddess, then I can too. These comments that don't treat him as a person make Chen Chen feel depressed. He didn't expect this matter to spread so quickly and become the headline news of the school. These guys are too gossipy. Brother. He Wei Hang suddenly grabbed Chen Chen's arm and said, Teach me how to pick up girls quickly, I don't even ask for a school flower, as long as she's a girl. I've been on autopilot for over 20 years, save me. Chen Chen sighed helplessly, you're just following the crowd, this matter is not what you think it is. Aren't you practicing with the school flower? Yes. Then did you join the basketball game because of the school flower? Well, sort of. So you're with the school flower, right? Yes. No? What does this have to do with anything? Just as Chen Chen was about to explain, a pleasant female voice suddenly sounded. Chen Chen, classmate. Lu Ruyan appeared at the classroom door and sweetly smiled at Chen Chen. Chen Chen couldn't help but feel a headache. It seems that it's going to be difficult to explain. See, they said there's nothing between you two. He Wei Hang said enviously, biting his fist. The famously aloof school flower, Lu Ruyan, was so enthusiastic towards Chun Chen for no reason. If there's nothing going on, He Wei Hang just wouldn't believe it. Unexpectedly, Chin Chen actually has such amazing skills in picking up girls, even the school flower is won over. Today, Lu Ruyan is wearing a white dress, her long curly hair braided and falling on her shoulders. Her two slender white legs under the skirt are so beautiful that people can't take their eyes off. 
The sunlight from the window shines on Lu Ruyan's face, giving off a pure and school flower like feeling, and her sweet smile makes the boys in the class intoxicated. Unfortunately, this smile is only for Chun Chen. Goddess, sit with me. Sit with me, the lighting is better here. Forget it, the lighting is better in my corner. Lu Ruyan walked straight through, ignoring those flattering voices, and went to sit next to Chen Chen. The classroom fell silent for a moment, and everyone was left with surprised expressions. Chen Chen, good morning. Lu Ruyan smiled slightly and sat directly next to Chen Chen. In the eyes of others, their relationship has already reached such a level. If hostile glances could cause physical harm, Chen Chen would have been pierced by a thousand arrows by now. He Wei Hang tactfully said, Brother, you guys talk first, I'll leave. You. Chen Chen sighed helplessly, then looked at Lu Ruyan and said, Good morning. Why did you come to sit here? Lu Ruyan raised her eyebrows. What, is there someone else sitting next to Chen Chen? Well, not really. Chen Chen smiled awkwardly, these guys are practically tearing him apart. At this rate, the school's headline news will probably never die down, it's really giving him a headache. In Lu Ruyan's eyes, there's only Chen Chen's shy appearance, she doesn't care about the opinions of others. By the way, Chen Chen, are you really not going to practice today? Lu Ruyan asked with a hint of grievance. Chen Chen frowned, no, I have to go home after class. He still had to figure out how to handle work. If he didn't solve this problem, rent and living expenses would be an issue. Go home? Lu Ruyan turned her beautiful eyes and said, didn't your husband rent a house outside when he was in college? In that case, wouldn't this be a great opportunity for some alone time? Thinking of this, Lu Ruyan said happily, Chen Chen, I'll go home with you. The classroom fell silent at her words. He Wei Hang in the back even gasped. Lu Ruyan had really gone too far. It seemed that Chen Chen had really won over the campus bell. What? What are you going to do at my house? Chen Chen lowered his voice, surprised. Lu Ruyan smiled sweetly, I don't have anything to do today. Besides, I want to see what your home is like, Chen Chen. Although she said that, Lu Ruyan was already looking forward to it. It was not easy to have a chance to be alone with her husband, so she had to make the most of it. Chen Chen looked embarrassed, but it's not appropriate for a man and a woman to be alone together. Aren't you afraid? Afraid of what? Are you afraid that you'll eat me, Chen Chen? Lu Ruyan leaned in close to Chen Chen's ear, her warm breath making him shiver and stiffen. How could that be? Chen Chen hurriedly explained. Seeing Chen Chen's adorable look, Lu Ruyan couldn't help but smile. Well, it's settled then. We'll go home together later, but Chen Chen, you can't misbehave. Chen Chen felt uneasy throughout the whole class. Lu Ruyan was clinging to his arm, resting her head on his shoulder, making it hard for him to concentrate. Not only did he have to endure the stares of others throughout the class, even the professors looked at them strangely. Finally, when class was over, Chen Chen quickly left the classroom. Hey, wait for me, Chen Chen. Walking on the school road, seeing Lu Ruyan happily following him, Chen Chen couldn't help but speak up, Ruyan, I think we should keep some distance to avoid rumors. Rumors? What rumors? The rumors on the school forum. Oh, so that's it. Lu Ruyan chuckled. She knew about it, but she didn't mind at all. In fact, she was happy about it. This would drive away the unwanted attention. Although they were not in a romantic relationship, these rumors indirectly confirmed their relationship. So Lu Ruyan naturally wouldn't intervene or clarify these rumors. Does Chen Chen mind being associated with me? Lu Ruyan suddenly felt wronged. Chen Chen hurriedly explained, No, I didn't mean that. I just don't want to tarnish your reputation. After all, Chen Chen was clear about the gap between himself and the campus bell Lu Ruyan. Being with him would only drag her into the whirlpool of public opinion. Just in these two days, their relationship had caused quite a stir. Who knew what would happen next? Since it's not a problem, Chen Chen, you don't need to worry, because I like being with you. Lu Ruyan suddenly smiled and took Chen Chen's arm. Her soft touch made Chen Chen's throat move up and down. Lu Ruyan's change of attitude was too sudden. Ruyan. At that moment, a voice came from behind them. Chen Chen and Lu Ruyan turned around to see a tall man in a brown casual suit walking towards them. He looked to be in his 20s, but his attire was mature, especially with the luxury watch on his wrist, giving off an air of wealth and status. The man walked slowly with his hands in his pockets, looking as if he owned the world. As he passed by, the girls all had infatuated smiles on their faces. Ah, isn't that our student council president? Really? We rarely see him around, he's so handsome. I heard he's still single. I really want to ask him for his contact information. I'm afraid it's hopeless, he's into the school's beauty queen. In contrast to these girls, Lu Ruyan's face appeared cold and indifferent. There was even a hint of annoyance in her eyes. Wang Xianwen, the president of the South Arts Student Union. 
a typical playboy. Even his position as the president of the student union was obtained through his family's connections. Wang Xianwen had been pursuing her for a while, but Lu Ruyan had no interest in him and had decisively rejected him. But at this moment in her previous life, Wang Xianwen hadn't given up yet. Ruyan, I just went to your classroom to find you, didn't expect to see you here. Wang Xianwen approached Lu Ruyan, but his gaze shifted to the hand she was holding with Chen Shen, and then to Chen Shen. The man in the forum photo. Is this guy? Chen Shen could feel the hostility from this guy, and it was directed at him. It seemed that the hot topic on the school forum had caused him trouble. What are you looking for me for? Lu Ruyan was a little impatient. She just wanted to go home with her husband and be affectionate. The sudden appearance of Wang Xianwen was really annoying. Wang Xianwen smirked and said coldly, It's nothing, I just want to ask you about the things on the school forum. It must be a misunderstanding. Is this person your distant cousin from the countryside? He looked at Chen Shen's attire, a simple shirt paired with jeans and sneakers, quite rustic. No matter how you look at it, Lu Ruyan shouldn't have such low aesthetic standards. When Chen Shen heard Wang Xuanwen's words, he couldn't help but frown. He looked down at himself, was he really that unsophisticated? Is it necessary for you to know if it's a misunderstanding? Lu Ruyan's tone suddenly turned icy, how dare this person mock her husband like this? Does he have to dress like him to be considered good looking? If she didn't know better, she would have thought he was some young master from a club. Heh, of course it's necessary. Despite Lu Ruyan's cold tone, Wang Xianwen maintained a smirk. You are the goddess of South Arts, the vice president of the student union. If these scandals about you spread, it will bring negative impact to the school. Scandals? What do you mean by scandals? Lu Ruyan's eyes turned cold as she questioned, does the student union have to manage who I interact with? You guys are really broad in your management. Wang Xianwen coughed and said seriously, I didn't say that, I just don't want this matter to continue to deteriorate and cause public opinion impact on South Arts and our student union. Ruyin, as the school's beauty queen, it's in your best interest to clarify this misunderstanding as soon as possible. After all, you've seen it. The whole school is highly concerned about this matter. Even now, many people want to know what's going on. Chen Shen looked around, and the students around were gradually looking over. This made Chen Shen somewhat headache. It seemed that keeping a low profile was no longer an option. Perfect, take this opportunity to explain to everyone. If you're embarrassed to speak, as the president of the student union, I can help you speak up, as long as you're willing to clarify this misunderstanding. Who said this is a misunderstanding? Wang Xianwen suddenly paused, looking at Lu Ruyan, only to see Lu Ruyan earnestly say, I just like being with classmate Chen Chen. He makes me happy, and that's enough. As she spoke, Lu Ruyan tightened her grip on Chen Chen's hand. Chen Chen, seeing this, was filled with surprise. Was this really Lu Ruyan's true thoughts? But if that's the case, then their relationship would be difficult to explain. You, Wang Xianwen was also very surprised. Ruyan, didn't you say you wouldn't have a boyfriend during college? Did I say that? Maybe I forgot, after all, I like Chen Chen so much that I don't care about these things. Lu Ruyan raised her beautiful chin and coldly snorted. Just him? How is that possible? Wang Xuanwen's gaze and hand pointed to Chun Chen. If that's the case, wouldn't it be equivalent to him being inferior to this kid? After all, when he pursued Lu Ruyan, she didn't say that. You know, he is one of the top students in the tens of thousands of students at the South Arts, far superior to this unknown kid. Now Lu Ruyan actually said she likes Chen Chen? Does she like this kid who is dull and mediocre? Is there anything impossible? Is it right to like you? Lu Ruyan sneered, you have too good of an opinion of yourself. I'm not interested in your fake gentlemanly appearance. What did you say? Wang Xianwen, upon hearing this, became slightly agitated. He grabbed Lu Ruyan's hand and said earnestly, Ruyan, you must have misunderstood me. Who is so bold as to slander me? Is it Xiaoli, Wen Wen, or Xiaoya? Is it Jia Qi? Let go, you're hurting me. Lu Ruyan furrowed her brows. You tell me what's going on between you and him, or I won't. Wang Xianwen was saying, when suddenly his wrist was forcefully grabbed, causing a sharp pain. Let her go. Chen Chen's finger exerted a slight force. Wang Xuanwen's expression turned ugly. Why should I? What are you? Classmate Chen Chen. Lu Ruyan looked at Chen Chen. Chen Chen blushed and squeezed out a few words from between his teeth. Because I am her boyfriend. Lu Ruyan was stunned for a moment. Did she hear it wrong? Her husband actually took the initiative to officially announce their relationship? Everyone around who heard this was also extremely surprised. This guy actually said he is Lu Ruyan's boyfriend. What's more, Lu Ruyan didn't seem to have any intention of refuting it. So that means Lu Ruyan. Agreed. The goddess actually found a boyfriend.
Damn, this is a shocking news at the South Arts. My goddess, is this the end? After saying this, Chin Chen's heart was about to jump out of his chest. What nonsense did he say in the heat of the moment? How dare he say he is Lu Ruyan's boyfriend? If it weren't to help Lu Ruyan out, Chin Chen would never dare to say that. At this moment, Chin Chen really wanted to find a hole to hide in. You dare to say you are her boyfriend? Wang Xianwen narrowed his eyes, revealing a fierce light. You, who are nothing at school, are you worthy of being the boyfriend of the South Arts Campus Bell? I, Chen Chen was momentarily speechless. Indeed, he had never thought he was worthy of Lu Ruyan. But, so what? Whether I am worthy or not is not for you to decide. Even if you are the student union president, a rich second generation, or a heartthrob, so what? Chen Shen's eyes suddenly became firm, and he said earnestly, when you truly like someone, it has nothing to do with status. The person Lu Ruyan likes, is not you. With a slap, Chen Shen pushed away Wang Xuanwen's tightly held hand. In Lu Ruyan's beautiful eyes, there was a deep sense of gratitude. He who spoke these words instantly grew taller in Lu Ruyan's heart. You. Wang Xianwen looked at his broken hand in surprise, then turned to Chen Shen. This silly boy actually dared to educate him in front of so many people. It had always been him doing such things, so why? Damn, this kid is too bold, isn't he? Yeah, even dared to confront Chairman Wang, not afraid of causing trouble. First time seeing Chairman Wang being put in his place, impressive. Listening to the surrounding gossip, Wang Xianwen did not expect to have the upper hand, only to be humiliated by Chin Chen. This made Wang Xianwen seethe with anger, but he couldn't refute anything. If he stayed any longer, it would only be self-defeating. This woman Lu Ruyan was clearly on Chen Chen's side. Chen Chen, right? I'll remember that name. Wang Xianwen snorted, lowering his voice, you're very brave, daring to say that to me at Nani. But don't get too happy too soon. As long as I'm in the student union, I'll have plenty of time to deal with you. Just you wait. With that, Wang Xianwen glared at Chen Chen and left. Watching Wang Xuanwen's back, Chen Chen's chest heaved, his face flushed. He never thought he would dare to say those things just now. How could he have said that before? Chen Chen, what's up? You're so handsome. Lu Ruyan hugged Chen Chen excitedly. It seemed that her husband was gradually changing. From being shy and lacking confidence at the beginning to now daring to speak up. Although it was only a small improvement, it was still good. Chen Chen blushed even more, feeling embarrassed under everyone's gaze. Actually, I just wanted to solve the problem. If he hadn't done that, I wouldn't have said those things. And by saying that, will it cause you trouble? Lu Ruyan hugged Chen Chen's neck, shaking her head, No, Chen Chen, you did well. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have known what to do just now. After all, in Nani's campus, Lu Ruyan couldn't possibly take action against Wang Xianwen. But with Chen Chen around, he solved the problem for her. That's good. Chen Chen breathed a sigh of relief and smiled. Lu Ruyan looked at Chen Chen, asking eagerly, Chen Chen, what you said just now, is it true? What's true? You didn't say. You're my boyfriend? Lu Ruyan's cheeks turned slightly red. Upon hearing this, Chen Chen became nervous, I. I said that to help you out, just like you helped me last night. If I hadn't said that, he probably wouldn't have stopped, right? After speaking, Chen Chen awkwardly smiled. I see. The anticipation in Lu Ruyan's eyes quickly dissipated. Even what she said last night, her husband had misunderstood it as her way of seeking help. What's wrong? Chen Chen asked, puzzled. Lu Ruyan forced a smile, nothing. Nothing. Let's go home. After all, they had just started getting to know each other, so it was normal for her husband not to understand her intentions. But Lu Ruyan believed that she could slowly open Chen Chen's heart, just like in her previous life. Cultivating a relationship takes time and effort. Chen Chen's rented house off campus was very close, just 10 minutes from the school gate. Because he often worked part-time off campus, Chen Chen would often return home late. In order not to disturb his roommate's rest and for his own convenience, he had to rent a room outside. Although the cost of living had increased, living alone was still comfortable. Lu Ruyan looked up at the old residential building and furrowed her brows. So Chen Chen lives here? During her college years in her previous life, Lu Ruyan didn't have much contact with her husband Chen Chen, so she didn't know what his living situation was like. Now that she sees it, she feels a bit sorry for him. Yeah, Chen Chen scratched his head awkwardly, maybe for you, this place is too simple, but I'm used to it. If you're not comfortable, should I take you back? No, I'm fine with it, Lu Ruyan said sweetly, linking arms with Chen Chen. Let's go. As they entered the hallway, they caught a whiff of a dead mouse. Lu Ruyan frowned lightly but didn't say anything. She had always been used to a life of luxury and had never been to a place like this before. When they lived together in the future, she would definitely have to help him find a better environment. Squeak. 
Just then, a big black rat suddenly darted past Lu Ruyan's feet. Ah, Lu Ruyan was startled and accidentally twisted her ankle when she lifted her leg. Seeing this, Chen Chen quickly supported her. Ruyan, are you okay? I, I'm fine, let's keep going, Lu Ruyan said, rubbing her ankle and taking a deep breath. You can't walk like this, Chen Chen frowned. In the next moment, he suddenly crouched in front of Lu Ruyan, leaving his back to her. Come on, I'll carry you up. Really? Lu Ruyan felt secretly delighted. Chen Chen nodded, if it weren't for me, you wouldn't have been hurt. Come on. Thank you, Chen Chen. Lu Ruyan thanked him sweetly and without hesitation, she climbed onto his back. Feeling the warmth and softness on his back, Chen Chen's throat moved up and down. In the next moment, he grabbed Lu Ruyan's slender legs and straightened up. I'm going up. Ruyan. As expected. It's nice to be carried by a boyfriend. At that moment, Lu Ruyan was enjoying being carried by Chen Chen. Although she felt sorry for him carrying her up the stairs, she had to endure it for the sake of their relationship. Chen Chen smiled bitterly, don't tease me about what just happened. Lu Ruyan playfully stuck out her tongue. Phew, we're here, Chen Chen put Lu Ruyan down. Lu Ruyan still looked a bit reluctant. Opening the door, they saw a few pieces of simple daily furniture. Although it looked simple, it was neat and clean, giving a comfortable feeling. With a few small decorations in the room, it seemed that her husband had put effort into their life. The room is a bit small, don't mind it, Chen Chen scratched his head and smiled. It was the first time he had brought a girl home after so long. And the girl he brought home was, the school's beauty. It's okay, the small size makes it cozy, Lu Ruyan was helped into the house and looked around. It was indeed a nice little nest, showing that Chen Chen was a simple and clean boy in private. Chen Chen blushed. Sit for a while, I'll go get some ointment for you. After saying that, Chen Chen went into his room. Lu Ruyan sat on the edge of the sofa, swinging her slender white legs. Looking at the quiet house, Lu Ruyan couldn't help but think. In her previous life, had her husband lived in this kind of environment for four years? She suddenly felt sorry for Chen Chen and his loneliness. But in this life, with her by his side, her husband would definitely not be lonely anymore, and he would be happy. I found. Chen Chen had just taken out the ointment and saw that Lu Ruyan had already taken off her shoes and was lying on the sofa, with her delicate and fair feet raised. Chen Chen blushed instantly, what? What are you doing? Applying ointment, let me do it for you? Of course, who else? Lu Ruyan suddenly felt wronged and said, after all, she's a girl and might be afraid of pain. It would be better if it were Chen Chen who helped me apply the ointment, wouldn't it? I wouldn't dare to do it myself. With that, Lu Ruyan stretched out her small foot. Chen Chen, I'm ready, she said. This was an opportunity to bring them closer. Lu Ruyan wasn't going to let it slip by. Well, Chen Chen hesitated as he looked at her delicate white foot. Wasn't it only the most important person who could touch a girl's foot? But since Lu Ruyan was injured because of him, and she didn't mind, he had no reason to hesitate. Chen Chen said, okay, I'll help you apply it. He grabbed Lu Ruyan's foot, which felt as cold as jade in his hand. His throat bobbed up and down. Ah. Lu Ruyan suddenly gasped. What? What's wrong? It's a bit painful. Where? Where did you just touch? Ah? Chen Chen blushed and carefully applied the ointment to Lu Ruyan's skin. Watching Chen Chen's clumsy ointment technique, Lu Ruyan couldn't help but smile. Her husband's serious and shy appearance was too cute. Hmm. Is it hurting again? No, it's comfortable. Chen Chen breathed a sigh of relief and put away the ointment. Just be careful for the next few days, he said. I know, DR. Zhang, Lu Ruyan mischievously stuck out her tongue. Chen Chen couldn't help but laugh and cry. Hey, what's this? Lu Ruyan picked up a piece of paper from the table. There were many sketches of women's high-heeled shoes on it. Although these high-heeled shoes were just rough sketches, their intricacy was evident, making them excellent design drafts. Could it be that her husband drew these sketches? This, I just drew them casually. Chen Chen felt a little embarrassed, realizing he had forgotten to put away the sketches. Oh, Lu Ruyan said meaningfully, I didn't expect Chen Chen to have this hobby. Chen Chen hurriedly explained, it's not what you think. I took on a part-time job, so I, part-time job? Lu Ruyan glanced at the sketches again. So her husband was in such a hurry to get home for this? Yes. In addition to my part-time job outside, I also draw some design drafts for the studio in my spare time to earn some living expenses. Chen Chen felt a little embarrassed. After all, besides drawing, I don't know how to do anything else so I can only take on some part-time jobs using what I've learned at school. Chen Chen had always come from a difficult family background. Even the cost of attending college was scraped together by his family. In order not to burden his family, Chen Chen had been working hard while studying at university, and every penny he used was earned by himself. 
During his two years at university, Chen Shen had become accustomed to this life of working and studying. So that's how it is. Lu Ruyan suddenly felt that her husband was too hardworking. Not only could he endure hardship, but he also had ambition. No wonder he had become a well-known designer in his previous life. From Lu Ruyan's perspective in her previous life, these design drafts already showed Chen Shen's future style. Chen Shen, you draw so well. Lu Ruyan sincerely praised. Chen Shen shyly said, it's okay, practice makes perfect. But for now, I've only drawn these sketches and haven't finalized a design. And, there's also a very tricky problem. What problem? In addition to drawing the design drafts, I also have to make the final product. The first step is to make the shoe last, but I'm missing a crucial measurement. Without it, I can't make the final product. Chen Chen frowned. The design drawing is just a concept, and the final effect can only be known by looking at the finished product. However, the tricky problem lies here. Chen Chen is not very familiar with women's feet, so it is difficult to make suitable shoe lasts. Lu Ruyan only realized the problem after hearing it. It seems that no matter what her husband does, he is very rigorous. Just then, Lu Ruyan suddenly spoke up, since that's the case, let's use my size as a reference for Chen Chen. Let me be Chen Chen's foot model, would that work? What? What? Chen Chen was somewhat surprised. Lu Ruyan asked with a tilt of her head, is there anything wrong? Not really. Chen Chen scratched his head and looked at Lu Ruyan's beautiful feet. No matter how you look at it, Lu Ruyan's feet can be considered as standard female foot shape. Whether it's the length, width, and thickness of the foot, the curvature of the arch, or the perfect contour, it can be considered the most suitable size reference. With Lu Ruyan's size, the shoe last made would definitely be perfect. However, Chen Chen didn't expect Lu Ruyan to help him with this favor. It's fine, then let me help Chen Chen solve this problem. Lu Ruyan cutely smiled, looking very motivated, making it hard for people to look away. Chen Chen was stunned for a moment. Then he smiled knowingly. All right, Chen Chen, is this okay? Lu Ruyan placed her hand on Chen Chen's shoulder, lifted her injured leg, and stood on a piece of white paper with one leg. Seeing this, Chen Chen nodded and said, this is fine, just hold on. Then, Chen Chen squatted down and used a pen to trace the outline of Lu Ruyan's small foot, drawing a plan of the foot's sole. With this plan, the foot measurements and values could be marked. For making the shoe last bearing surface, this was an important piece of data. After tracing the outlines of both feet, Chen Chen finally completed the first step. Because of Lu Ruyan's actions last night, it led to Chen Chen losing his job. Now that she could help Chen Chen a little, Lu Ruyan could also alleviate some guilt in her heart. Especially seeing Chen Chen's serious look, Lu Ruyan felt a sense of accomplishment. It was as if she was witnessing her husband's growth, watching him become excellent step by step, gradually reaching a higher level in this life. No. In this life, she must make sure that Chen Chen doesn't just stop at being a designer. With her husband's potential and ability, he could definitely reach greater heights. The first step is done, now it's time to draw the plan of the foot. Chen Shen looked at the foot plan and smiled slightly. Besides the foot size, other foot measurements were also necessary. Next, Lu Ruyan sat on a chair, slowly lifted one beautiful foot, and pointed her toes towards Chen Shen. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan's cheeks turned slightly red and she asked, Chen Shen, is this how it should be? Yes. Chen Shen coughed and tried to suppress his distracting thoughts, but this posture was really too tempting. No, he couldn't think like that. She was just kindly helping. How could he think of such impure things? Chen Chen quickly shook his head to calm himself down. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan couldn't help but chuckle. Chen Chen, are my feet beautiful? Chen Chen took a quiet breath. This woman, she must have been a fox spirit in her past life, right? Chen Chen could only blush and speak the truth. Beautiful. It was indeed a fact. He couldn't possibly lie, right? Then Chen Chen, you must draw it well. Lu Ruyan said, blinking her beautiful eyes at Chen Chen. Chen Chen pretended not to see it, swallowed his saliva, and opened the sketchbook to start drawing. Lu Ruyan's feet were indeed very perfect, like finely carved jade. The process of drawing the picture went smoothly. In no time, Chen Chen had drawn several angles of the foot plan. Lu Ruyan took the drawing and looked at it, her beautiful eyes widening in surprise. Wow, Chen Chen, you draw really well. It seems that you have observed my feet very carefully. Well, Chen Chen scratched his head awkwardly. Lu Ruyan asked. What's next? Um, Chen Chen blushed and said, we need to start measuring the specific dimensions. Lu Ruyan suddenly realized. Then I'll leave my feet to you, Chen Chen. Lu Ruyan smiled slightly and placed her pretty feet between Chen Chen's legs, rubbing them as if by accident. Chen Chen stiffened. What's that hard thing? Oh, that's my ruler. 
Chen Shen blushed and quickly moved Lu Ruyan's feet away from the danger zone, taking out a 30 centimeters long inherited ruler from his pocket. Lu Ruyan chuckled. It was so much fun teasing her husband. After measuring the dimensions he needed, Chen Shen drew dashed lines on the drawing and marked the specific positions, finally solving the dimension problem. Now that the dimensions are sorted out, we just need to choose the final design. Chen Shen focused and spoke. Lu Ruyan picked up the collection of sketches on the table and also felt troubled. She couldn't decide which style of high heels her husband had drawn looked better. Chen Shen noticed Lu Ruyan's dilemma and said, if you find it difficult to choose, let's discuss it slowly. We'll find a good solution. Well, that's the only way. Lu Ruyan nodded. The two of them spent time studying the sketches, even coming up with new designs, selecting and modifying them one by one. Which of these two designs should we choose? Lu Ruyan held the two design sketches, lost in thought. They had jointly selected two options, one was a simple and cute pointed style, and the other was a more sexy and mature hollow style. Both had their own characteristics. They both felt that both designs were good, and they couldn't decide which one was better. Chen Chen asked seriously, if it were you, which one would you prefer? Well, I actually like both. But if I have to choose based on my style, it should be this one. Lu Ruyan picked up the hollow style high heels. After all, the current Lu Ruyan was in her 20s, but her soul was that of a mature woman. Therefore, in terms of style, she naturally leaned towards maturity. However, when Chen Chen decided to use this design, Lu Ruyan suddenly said, let's forget it and choose the other one. The audience for the hollow style high heels will be smaller, and the pointed style is more popular in the market. Choosing this one will also increase the chances of the studio's approval. After all, in her previous life, Lu Ruyan managed a large clothing company and had insights into the market. Chen Chen felt that she made sense. However, he sensed a hint of regret in Lu Ruyan's words. Oh, I didn't realize so much time had passed. Lu Ruyan looked at the time in surprise. It was already 5 in the afternoon, and she had unknowingly spent 5 hours. Ha Lu Ruyan yawned, seeming tired from the busy afternoon and feeling sleepy. Seeing this, Chen Chen said, the preparations are almost done. If you want to take a nap, go to bed first. I'll take care of the rest. It's okay, I just want to be with you. Liu Ruyan said, hugging Chen Chen's arm, and then regretfully said, but now it seems that we won't be able to practice before the basketball game tomorrow. My husband is still busy with work, where is the time to practice basketball? Ah, thinking that we might lose to that despicable person Li Tao, Liu Ruyan felt unwilling. But there's nothing we can do, we can only prepare for the worst. Hearing this, Chen Chen frowned slightly. Liu Ruyan must have high expectations for tomorrow's game, right? But now I... But it's okay, Li Tao has been playing dirty tricks behind our backs. Even if we lose that game, we don't have to abide by the bet. Who made him so shameless? Liu Ruyan became more and more angry. Then, Liu Ruyan said to Chen Chen, Chen Chen, you just focus on your work, don't worry too much. Whether we win or lose tomorrow, as long as we try our best, it's okay. Hearing this, Chen Chen felt inexplicably warm in his heart. Well, I will definitely do it. He then busied himself for nearly three hours. Chen Chen finally perfected the selected design plans. Looking at the final design in front of him, Chen Chen couldn't help but smile with satisfaction. Ru Yen, look. Before Liu Ru Yen could respond, Chen Chen turned his head and found that she had closed her beautiful eyes and fallen asleep on his shoulder. The gentle sound of her breathing echoed in his ears, and Liu Ru Yen's beautiful face was right in front of him. Chen Chen smiled helplessly, then put down the design and carefully removed his hand from Liu Ru Yen's shoulder. He then gently lifted Liu Ru Yen and placed her on the bed covering her with a blanket. Looking at Liu Ruyan sleeping soundly, Chen Chen couldn't help but laugh and cry. This woman really had no guard against him, she just fell asleep like that. Fortunately, he was not a despicable person, otherwise. Chen Chen stretched lazily, then his gaze fell on the basketball in the corner. Then, Chen Chen clenched his injured left hand. It should still be okay. Close to midnight, Liu Ruyan woke up groggily. She opened her eyes and found herself lying on the bed. But at this moment, her husband Chen Chen was nowhere to be seen in the room. Did her husband just? Liu Ruyan quickly looked down. Oh, it turned out her clothes were still on. Liu Ruyan felt disappointed, thinking that her husband had a change of heart. Chen Chen. She walked out of the room, but still didn't see Chen Chen's figure. Ha, huh? strange. It's so late. Where did Chen Chen go? At this moment, Liu Ruyan's gaze fell on the final design on the table. She picked it up and was surprised. Did my husband finish this so quickly? The high heel design on this drawing was carefully colored, perfectly reflecting the pointed design features under Chin Chen's pen, both in color and decoration, were just right. 
The twinkling stars adorned the shoe body, giving it a dreamy feeling. At this moment, Liu Ruyan found another drawing under this finished drawing. She picked it up and found that it was another design they had previously selected, which Liu Ruyan liked more. Ha! Huh? Didn't we already choose? Why is my husband still? This hollow high-heeled design made Liu Ruyan's eyes light up even more. The shoe body used a black rose pattern as the hollow feature, not only did it not make people feel dizzy, but it also made the high heels look more delicate, mature, and stylish, more eye-catching than the previous sketch. For a moment, Liu Ruyan was somewhat lost in thought. This drawing is too good. Liu Ruyan couldn't help but admire in her heart. After putting down the drawing, Liu Ruyan found that Chen Shen's phone was still at home, it seemed that he had gone out. Her husband was really something, he didn't even tell her when he went out. Lu Ruyan came downstairs with her injured leg, and in the distance, the sound of basketball being played could be heard. It's so late, and there are still people playing basketball, Lu Ruyan wondered. As she approached, she suddenly noticed a faint figure on the court under the dim light. It seemed to be Chen Chen. Swish. A precise three-point shot. Chen Chen, drenched in sweat under the dim light, was alone on the court, shooting, retrieving the ball, and dribbling back and forth repeatedly. Occasionally, his left hand injury affected his shooting accuracy, but Chen Chen gritted his teeth and persevered through the pain. After all, this was his last bit of time. Although it was just a last minute effort, it was better than doing nothing at all. Another three pointer went in, and Lu Ruyan watched from afar as the figure continued to run in the night, her eyes filled with complex emotions. She couldn't find a reason not to cherish a guy like Chen Chen. Perhaps, just like in the previous life, when Chen Chen silently persisted in liking her for eight years, once he set his mind on something, he would strive to do it, even though it might not yield results in the end. Ha! Chen Chen leaned on his knees, panting heavily, the sweat on his forehead trickling down his cheeks. No, he had to push himself harder. Just as Chen Chen picked up the ball to continue training, a delicate hand holding a tissue suddenly reached out. Chen Chen looked surprised and saw Lu Ruyan standing behind him with a smile on her face. How did you? Chen Chen, you're really sneaky, Lu Ruyan said. Ha! Lu Ruyan smiled slightly and snatched the basketball from Chen Chen, saying, You're practicing basketball alone without me. Isn't that sneaky? I don't care, I want to join in too. But your foot. Chen Chen frowned. Lu Ruyan held the ball and straightened her back, saying, I don't have to practice basketball, but Chen Chen, you can't be without a coach. So, are you ready? Chen Chen. After hearing this, Chen Chen suddenly smiled. Yes, coach. The next day. The sun was high in the sky at the South Arts Academy in the morning. On this Sunday, there were more students in the school than usual, and there were even students from other schools. At this moment, they were all gathered on the school's playground, preparing to watch the upcoming basketball-friendly match between the South Arts Academy and the Sports Institute. As the leading department of the school, the South Arts Design Department naturally had the home team for the basketball game. At this time, the team representing the South Arts, led by the sports committee member Yang Chi, was warming up on the sidelines. Chen Chen, who was a substitute, was wearing an old basketball jersey and could only sit on the bench. After practicing for a long time last night, Chen Chen felt sore all over. But the biggest impact was his nervousness at this moment. As the basketball game approached, Chen Chen's palms began to sweat. Although he didn't know if he would have a chance to play, he still had to be prepared to face the opponents. The Sports Institute basketball team, on the other hand, was on the opposite side, and these guys from the Sports Institute were all tall and strong. In comparison, there was a significant gap in strength between the two teams, and many people felt that this was a one-sided match. Hence the name, basketball-friendly match. Li Tao, who was in the Sports Institute team, was glaring fiercely at Chen Chen on the bench. Thinking about how he had failed to disable this kid last time, Li Tao felt extremely annoyed. But fortunately, it seemed that Chen Chen was just a substitute, and he probably wouldn't even have a chance to play. After they won against the South Arts, he could humiliate Chen Chen and make him fulfill that bet. Thinking of this, Li Tao couldn't help but sneer. You little brat, let's see what you've got to compete with me. On the other side, Chen Chen was looking around when suddenly an arm hooked around his neck from behind. Brother! He Wei Hang's voice startled Chen Chen. Who's your brother? Don't mess with me, Chen Chen scolded He Wei Hang. He Wei Hang, wearing the number 5 jersey, chuckled. As a member of the class team, he Wei Hang is much better than Chen Chen, at least not a substitute. He looked around and joked, Hey, why don't I see your beautiful school flower girlfriend? I told you, we don't have that kind of relationship. Chen Chen sighed helplessly. But speaking of Lu Ruyan, Chen Chen was also very curious. Since he sent her home last night, he hasn't seen her since. The basketball game is about to start now, and Lu Ruyan should have come. 
But looking around the court, there is no sign of Lu Ruyan, which puzzled Chen Chen. Could she have overslept? The basketball game is about to start, He Wei Hang suddenly spoke. Chen Chen looked up and saw a sports teacher from South Art holding a microphone in the center of the court and loudly said, Attention, everyone! The basketball friendly match between South Art Academy and South Sports Academy is about to begin. Here, I emphasize again. For the exchange and promotion between the two academies, this basketball game follows the principle of friendship first, competition second. I hope that students will observe order and watch the game in a friendly manner. Now, please prepare the teams from both sides. The game is officially starting. The basketball game officially began, and the atmosphere at the scene was instantly ignited. South Art is the best. We must work hard to defeat them. South Sports will always be the first. Let's crush this group of design students. Under the loud cheers outside the court, both teams entered the court at the same time. Chen Chen's gaze fell on the leader, Li Tao. Li Tao's gaze was the same, and even a hint of disdain appeared at the corner of his mouth. Senior Chen is so handsome. Ah, Senior Chen, I want to have your baby monkey. The leader of the sports academy is tall and handsome, I love it. After seeing Li Tao, the female students from South Art turned against each other. Their values and facial features were all over the place, and those who didn't know would think they were from the sports academy. This made the male students from South Art very unhappy, they were simply a group of infatuated people. If this were decades ago, these women would definitely be traitors. Li Tao seemed to enjoy being surrounded by so many admirers, and a proud smile appeared on his face. The next moment, he arrogantly made a throat-slitting gesture in Chen Chen's direction. Chen Chen couldn't help but clench his fists. This bastard. It was this guy who had brought a group of thugs to deal with him that day. Although he and Lu Ruyan were not injured, Chen Chen couldn't swallow this anger if he couldn't personally defeat Li Tao on the court. He absolutely couldn't let this despicable person win this bet. Coincidentally, the leader of South Art was Yang Qi. Whether it was Li Tao or Yang Qi, both team leaders were not happy with Chen Chen. With Yang Qi's vengeful nature, not to mention letting him play, he might not even have the opportunity to listen to the tactics on the sidelines. Thinking of this, Chen Chen sighed helplessly. Forget it, it can only be left to fate. Wow, isn't that senior Wan Yin? She actually came to watch the game. Just then, someone behind Chen Chen suddenly exclaimed. Chen Chen looked towards the crowd in the distance. In the area where the female students were gathered, a woman who could wear a purple shirt as a low-cut top stood in front of the crowd. Under the black hip-hugging skirt, she wore a pair of shiny long-legged high heels. Under her beautiful long hair, the woman's delicate makeup adorned her charming face. Her eyebrows and eyes were charming, and her red lips were alluring. If it weren't for being in a university campus, one would think she was a celebrity. For a moment, the female students surrounding her became background characters. Suddenly, many male students' eyes were attracted by this woman's beauty. Even Chen Chen was no exception. Isn't that senior Jiang Wan Yin from the third year? Jiang Wan Yin is the only one in the South Art Academy who can rival the school flower Lu Ruyan. There are even rumors that before the appearance of the perfect goddess Lu Ruyan, the title of South Art School flower belonged to Jiang Wan Yin. It's like Jiang Wan Yin was pushed off the altar and became the second in South Art before Lu Ruyan appeared. Indeed, even though Jiang Wan Yin is beautiful, she still falls slightly short compared to Lu Ruyan. At this moment, Chen Chen suddenly noticed that Jiang Wan Yin's gaze was directed towards their direction. Upon closer inspection, it seemed as if the woman was staring at him. Chen Chen quickly averted his gaze. No, that must have been just an illusion. Hey hey, Wan Yin's school sister is looking at me. How is that possible? If Wan Yin's school sister wants to look at anyone, it should be me. Wait, why does it seem like Wan Yin's school sister is looking at me? Ugh, you're really self-absorbed. Stop arguing, let's watch the game first. It's about to start. At this time, the players from both school teams began to stand in position at the midline. According to FIBA rules, the game lasts for 40 minutes, divided into four quarters. The first quarter of the first half is now officially beginning. As team captains, Li Tao and Yang Qi came to the center to prepare for the jump ball. The referee standing beside them, with a whistle in his mouth and a basketball in hand. After a sharp whistle, the basketball was thrown high into the air, and both Yang Qi and Li Tao almost simultaneously looked up. The jump ball is all about timing. Whether fast or slow, it could lead to a loss of possession. The basketball began to descend from its highest point. It was at this moment. Yang Qi seized the opportunity and was about to jump when a dark shadow suddenly appeared on his face. It turned out that Li Tao, wearing a black no. 23 jersey, had jumped ahead of Yang Qi by zero. Five seconds. By the time Yang Qi also jumped, Li Tao had already passed the ball to his teammate. Go! Li Tao shouted. 
A one, nine meter tall man dribbled forward. Yang Chi quickly pointed at the man and said, He Wei Hang, block him. He Wei Hang stood in front of the tall man, but his one, 75 meter height was no match for the opponent from the sports academy, and he was easily bypassed with a feint. Wow, so fast. He Wei Hang didn't even have time to react. Seeing this, Yang Chi couldn't help but grit his teeth. Pass to me. Li Tao broke through to the basket alone, and just as the tall man attempted to block his shot, Li Tao faked a move, abruptly pulled back, and then made a layup. Boom! The ball went through the hoop. The South Sea Sports Academy took the lead with a score of 2 o'clock. Wow! Senior Li Tao is amazing. So cool, if only he were from our school. It looks like this game is a personal show for Senior Chen. The girls below the court instantly became his fans. Hearing these voices, Yang Chi became frustrated, Fatty, what's wrong with you? How could you not see through such an obvious fake move? Fatty scratched his head and smiled awkwardly. In the next round, it was the South Art School's turn to attack. He Wei Hang, standing outside the court, forcefully passed the ball to Yang Chi. Upon receiving the ball, Yang Chi seemed to have no intention of passing it, and instead dribbled past the half court. At the next moment, Li Tao unexpectedly switched to defend him. Hey, Yang Chi, it looks like you're going to lose to me again. But I have to admit, I only have respect for you here. The players from your South Art School are really a mixed bag. What did you say? Yang Chi was so angry that he wanted to curse. Trash talking had already begun at the beginning of the game. This guy was really arrogant. But unfortunately, their sports academy had the capital to be so. I can handle you all by myself. Yang Chi snorted, and then suddenly took a step to the right. When Li Tao reached out to steal the ball, Yang Chi suddenly changed direction and broke to the left. Ha, huh? the captain of the basketball team? Nothing special. But before Yang Chi could feel happy, Li Tao, as if he had anticipated it, suddenly reached out and slapped the basketball out of Yang Chi's left hand. Seeing this, Yang Chi was filled with astonishment. What? This guy had actually seen through his probing step and change of direction. After Yang Chi's ball was intercepted, a player from the South Sports School quickly received it and made a long pass to the center in the paint. Then the two-meter-tall black iron pillar grabbed the basketball and dunked it directly into the hoop. Bang! The entire basketball hoop trembled. South Sea Sports Academy scores another two points. Wow! A dunk right at the beginning? These beasts from the South Sports School are too fierce. The gap in strength between us and them is too huge. Wasn't this supposed to be a friendly match? It feels like they're preparing for a bloodbath. Watching the perfect coordination and excellent skills of the South Sports School team, the students from South Arts began to feel discouraged, even though it was just the beginning of the game. Just from the hesitant play of South Arts, it was clear that they were in a tough spot. Damn it! Yang Chi clenched his fists. Li Tao walked up to Yang Chi and patted his shoulder, Relax, you guys are no match for us. In the spirit of a friendly match, after I'm off the court, I'll tell my teammates not to let you lose too embarrassingly. After saying that, Li Tao burst into laughter. Chen Chen, who was watching from the sidelines, furrowed his brows. Yang Chi's defeated expression not only didn't bring satisfaction to Chen Chen, but also made him worry about South Art's situation. He had to admit that the South Sports School team led by Li Tao was indeed very strong. It seemed that winning such a game would be much harder than he had imagined. The following games did not show much improvement in the one-sided situation. Although South Arts was able to score under Li Tao's leadership, most of the points were scored by Yang Chi and He Wei Hang. Most of the time, they were at the mercy of South Sports and had no power to fight back. The first quarter ended with a significant score difference of 21-12. Undoubtedly, South Sea Sports Academy was leading by a large margin. There was a five-minute break after each quarter. At this point, the South Arts team's morale was low. Damn it! Li Tao has completely figured us out. How are we supposed to play like this? Yang Chi was panting on the sidelines, holding his waist. This couldn't go on, they needed a strategy or a trump card. Otherwise, they would definitely lose to the Sports Academy. In previous years, South Arts had always lost to them in friendly matches. This time, they couldn't afford to lose face again. Yang Chi, maybe. You should replace me? At this moment, Fatty weakly spoke up, I can't be effective against such a strong team. It's better to replace me with another player. Yang Chi frowned, what are you saying? The ones who have played are already the best in our class. Replacing them with substitutes would only make us lose even more miserably. If you leave now, who will take your place? I. Fatty hesitated. Let me give it a try. At this moment, a voice came from behind them. Yang Chi and the others turned around to see Chen Chen standing up with determination in his eyes. You? A guy who can't even break through, you're not even as good as fatty. Yang Chi snorted, not expecting Chen Chen to be so presumptuous. 
he should be thankful for being on the bench. It was impossible for him to play. Chen Chen furrowed his brows, I practiced for a long time last night, I believe I can do it. What's the use of last-minute efforts? Do you think your one night of practice can compare to the school team of the sports academy? Don't make me laugh. Yang Chi dismissed. Although Chen Chen's shooting was indeed good, it was limited to shooting only. In a formal game, he wouldn't have as many opportunities to stand and shoot. Facing the fierce defense of the opponents, Chen Chen probably wouldn't even have a chance to take a shot. Yang Chi didn't want to take that risk. Although the situation was a bit passive now, there was still a chance for a comeback. How do you know if you don't try? Chen Chen said seriously, after all, I've beaten you before, haven't I? You. Yang Chi was speechless for a moment, his eyes widened. At this moment, the referee walked over and said, please get ready, South Arts School team. The second quarter is about to begin. If you need to make substitutions, decide now. Once you're on the court, you'll have to wait for a timeout. Yang Chi suddenly gritted his teeth, looking hesitant. Seeing this, He Weihang awkwardly smiled and said, Yang Chi, why not let Chen Chen have a try? The situation is already like this, how much worse can it get? It's better to take a chance. Yeah, Yang Chi, the chubby guy chimed in. Listening to everyone's persuasion, Yang Chi stared at Chen Chen for a long time, then snorted and walked onto the court. Chen Chen couldn't help but frown. In the next moment, Yang Chi said to the referee, I choose to make a substitution, let that guy go in, pointing at Chen Chen. Upon hearing this, Chen Chen suddenly smiled. Yang Chi looked at Chen Chen coldly and said, Don't get too cocky, kid. If you don't play well this quarter, I'd rather let the chubby guy continue than choose you again. Understand? I got it, Chen Chen replied. The South Arts school team made a substitution. The people below the court saw the chubby guy being replaced by Chen Chen and showed disdainful looks. What the heck? Wasn't that chubby guy better than this skinny guy? What? What is he thinking? It seems like he's being reckless. However, some people recognized Chen Chen and pointed at him, saying, Hey, isn't this kid the rumored boyfriend of our school's beauty? And he even beat Yang Chi in 1v1. No way, is this kid that good? Li Tao sneered when he saw Chen Chen stepping onto the court. Oh, isn't this the substitute from South Arts? I thought you were going to sit on the bench for the whole game. I didn't expect you to have a chance to come and challenge me. Upon hearing this, Chen Chen's eyes turned cold. I'm here to fulfill the bet. And what you did last time, I will return it to you today. Don't get too cocky, Li Tao. Hearing this, Li Tao narrowed his eyes. Could it be that this kid already knew that those thugs were sent by him? Ha, the one who should not get too cocky is you. Even if you come up, your South Arts team is destined to lose. Do you think you're a savior who can turn the tide? You're just a noob. Li Tao sneered. I can't say I can turn the tide, but I can make you uncomfortable, Shen Shen retorted. Li Tao gritted his teeth in anger. He had to make this kid embarrassed. The second quarter began with the South Arts school team serving. To be safe, Yang Chi had Chen Chen serve, while the others positioned themselves for the attack. On the first play, Chen Chen passed the ball to He Weihang. After receiving the ball, He Weihang quickly passed it to another teammate. Running all the way to the opponent's half, Yang Chi opened his arms. Seeing this, the teammate immediately passed the ball to Yang Chi. As soon as he caught the ball, Li Tao immediately came to defend Yang Chi. Li Tao didn't even consider targeting a small fry like Chun Chen. He knew that in the South Arts School team, only Yang Chi could play. Locking down Yang Chi was like cutting off the South Arts School team's main artery. At this moment, Yang Chi was indeed at a loss. Li Tao pressed on step by step, his defense fierce, making it impossible for Yang Chi to move the ball. Damn. Just then, Yang Chi saw Chen Chen running behind Li Tao. In this urgent situation, Yang Chi had no other choice. With his back to the basket, he passed the ball to Chen Chen. Seeing this, Li Tao immediately shouted to the one. Nine meter tall player, go defend that kid. The burly man ran in front of Chen Chen, blocking his path to the basket. Looking at the tall figure, it was certain that a close range shot would be blocked. Chen Chen had to find another way. Seeing Chen Chen's predicament, Yang Chi felt anxious for him. If it weren't for Li Tao constantly guarding him, he wouldn't be unable to break free. It's over, this kid definitely won't make it through. Ah, I knew he wasn't that good a long time ago. I thought the replacement would be more capable, but this? The students from the South Art Institute began to mock their own. At this moment, Chen Chen was dribbling the ball, his face a little red, but his eyes were still very determined. Just then, Chen Chen suddenly leaned forward, and as the ball bounced up, the burly man reached out to intercept, but in the next moment, Chen Chen scooped the ball with his left hand, made a quick turn around the burly man, and then, whoosh, made a beautiful turn, getting behind him. Wow! Change of direction turn? 
He Wei Hang was stunned to see this scene. Not only him, but Yang Qi and Li Tao were also surprised. The burly man widened his eyes, obviously not expecting this move from the kid in front of him. When he tried to turn around to intercept, Chen Chen had already jumped up and made a direct layup. Li Tao suddenly shouted, don't let him score. The burly man then rushed towards Chen Chen, Li Tai, and tried to block the ball before it fell, but instead of blocking the ball, he ended up knocking Chen Chen out of bounds. Chen Chen! He Wei Hang exclaimed. Everyone's eyes were on the basketball. They saw the ball thrown by Chen Chen above the basket, and in full view, it fell vertically and went straight into the basket. South Art Institute scores two points. Chen Chen's score immediately excited the students from the South Art Institute. Not because the South Art Institute got two more points, but because they were amazed by Chen Chen's extraordinary move just now. Wow, amazing. Did you see that change of direction turn? So this kid really has some skills. Are you okay, Chen Chen? He Wei Hang hurried to help Chen Chen up from the sidelines. Chen Chen slowly exhaled and stood up. Don't worry, I'm fine. After learning that he scored, Chen Chen smiled slightly and then rubbed his sore butt. He then grabbed He Wei Hang's hand and jumped up from the ground. It seems that the late night exercise with Lu Ruyin last night was quite effective. At this moment, Yang Qi was full of surprise. This kid, did he really practice to this level overnight? The change of direction in turn just now didn't seem like something the previous Chen Chen could do. If he really practiced this technique overnight, then Chen Chen was really talented. Even Li Tao couldn't help but sneer, interesting, it seems that I underestimated this guy. I actually let him score carelessly. That turn just now, it seems like he got lucky, but this kind of luck may not happen every time. Jiang Wanning, who had been watching the game with her arms crossed on the sidelines, also had her eyes locked on Chen Chen. Is this the guy who was rumored to be in a relationship with Lu Ruyin on the school's forum? Hmm. Seems like an interesting guy. Due to a foul committed by a member of the South sports team during Chen Chen's attack and score, triggering a 2 plus 1, that one goal not only helped the South Art Institute to regain the situation, but also gave them another chance to score a free throw. If this shot goes in, then the South Art Institute team could get another point. Chen Chen stood at the free throw line, holding the ball in both hands. He adjusted his breathing, but his mind was outside the court. The game was almost halfway through, and Lu Ruyin still hadn't shown up, which was really strange. Forget it, I can't think about it anymore. Chen Chen calmed his mind and focused on the game. As long as the game could be won, she would be happy to know. Just as Chen Chen was about to shoot, a loud shout suddenly came from the sidelines. Come on, Chen Chen, you must win this game. Hearing this voice, Chen Chen immediately looked in the direction of the sound. The next moment, everyone also saw what was happening on the sidelines, and they were all taken aback. What? What kind of play is this? They saw the South Art Institute school flower, Lu Ruyin, with her high ponytail, wearing a crop top that revealed her belly button, and a pleated skirt, with two white, attractive thighs. The most interesting thing was that Lu Ruyin was actually holding two colorful balls in her hands. Willow was waving pom-poms outside the court to cheer on Chun Chen. In order to put her husband in a good mood, Willow specially bought this cheerleading outfit and appeared in front of Chin Chen. However, it seems that there is still time as the first half has not ended. Willow's appearance made Chen Chen blush, not because of her sexy outfit, but because there are students from two schools on the court. Although Willow's actions made Chen Chen happy, it would be better if she could be more restrained. Chen Chen, if we win this game, I can promise you anything, Willow said. The students outside the court were shocked to hear this. The key is that this was said by the school flower, Willow. Li Tao, seeing Willow's blatant favoritism, was furious. He couldn't understand why Willow treated Chun Chen so differently from him. He must fiercely beat Chun Chen in this game to show Willow who was more outstanding. Seeing Willow's arrival, Chen Chen's mood became more stable. The next moment, he took a deep breath. Everyone's eyes were on Chen Chen as he took the penalty shot, carrying the expectations of the students. Willow, holding the pom-poms tightly, was nervous. Chen Chen confidently made the shot, and the students cheered. In the following second quarter, Chen Chen scored multiple times for the school, and Yang Qi and He Wei Hang also tried to create opportunities for him. By the end of the first half, their school not only caught up but also surpassed the opponent. The current score is 28 to 35. If they continue like this, their school is likely to win the game. Li Tao was furious with his team for not being able to stop even a weak player. He couldn't believe that Chen Chen could shoot so accurately. If they continue to let Chen Chen shoot, they will likely lose. Li Tao looked at Chen Chen with resentment. It seems he needs to use some means to win. Chen Chen, have some of my water, you've worked hard, Willow said, sitting next to the sweaty Chen Chen. Just as Chen Chen took the water, Yang Qi approached him. Seeing this, Willow became hostile. Don't worry about it. 
I also have to admit, you are indeed very capable. Hearing this, Lu Ruyan could hardly believe her ears. What had happened? Yang Qi had actually taken the initiative to make amends with her husband, Shen Shen? Shen Shen smiled slightly and said, You too, let's continue to do our best in the second half. Um, Yang Qi scratched his head awkwardly. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan seemed to understand something. It seemed that her husband, Shen Shen's personal charm had influenced Yang Qi. Otherwise, with Yang Qi's proud nature, how could he have acknowledged Shen Shen? Thinking of this, Lu Ruyan couldn't help but feel happy for her husband. Her husband was not an ordinary and mediocre person in the eyes of others. His shining points were like gold hidden in the rocks. Under her continuous exploration, these strengths gradually revealed themselves. Perhaps even he himself had not realized this. Halftime. The two people who had been flirting on the sidelines were all seen by Zhang Wanin from a distance. Especially when her gaze fell on Lu Ruyan. Her beautiful eyes were icy cold. Lu Ruyan was smiling as she wiped the sweat from Chun Shen's forehead. Seeing her happy appearance, Zhang Wanin gritted her teeth and a fierce expression inadvertently appeared on her pretty face. If it weren't for her, if it weren't for this vixen, how could she be ignored at the South Arts Institute now? Back then, Zhang Wanin had been high and mighty in school, captivating a group of otaku, but it was this school flower from a lower grade who suddenly broke in, disrupted the situation, and effortlessly took everything away from her. Zhang Wanin was unwilling to accept this. She was not pleased that Lu Ruyan, who didn't care about being the school flower but still held the top position, was like this. Why should a woman like her be chosen as the school flower of the South Arts Institute? Why should she be a stepping stone for such a woman? Zhang Wanin clenched her fists in resentment. I can see. You're not willing, are you? Just then, a male voice sounded from beside her. Wang Xianwen walked up to Zhang Wanin at this moment, with a disdainful look on his face. Ha, isn't this young master Wang? What, do you care about me now? Zhang Wanin crossed her arms and looked at Wang Xianwen coldly. Could it be, you want to rekindle our old flame? Wang Xianwen sneered, don't joke, you know. I'm only interested in things I can't get, and you've long lost your appeal. With that, Wang Xianwen looked towards Lu Ruyan in the distance. Zhang Wanin's expression changed even more unpleasant. It's Lu Ruyan again, am I really inferior to her? Zhang Wanin gritted her teeth. That's not necessarily the case. Wang Xianwen smiled meaningfully, have you seen that kid? Zhang Wanin looked towards Chun Chen in the distance. And then, what do you want to say? Could it be that young master Wang is also jealous that he stole your goddess? Zhang Wanin's tone carried a hint of mockery. He, do you really think they are a couple? Wang Xianwen suddenly sneered. Isn't it? Zhang Wanin raised her eyebrows. No matter how you looked at it, Lu Ruyan and Chen Chen looked like a couple in love. How could ordinary friends be so intimate? Have you ever seen a man keep his distance from his girlfriend? Zhang Wanin heard this and looked at Chen Chen. Indeed, she hadn't noticed this detail just now. Chen Chen, sitting on the bench, seemed to be avoiding Lu Ruyan. The closer Lu Ruyan got, the more flustered Chen Chen became, like a girl being harassed by a hooligan. It really didn't look like a normal couple. Chen Chen's actions were more like avoiding suspicion. See that? Wang Xianwen saw Zhang Wanin's expression and smirked triumphantly, instead of saying they look like a couple, I think Lu Ruyan looks more like she's pursuing that kid, Chen Chen. Although I don't know why that silly kid can attract Lu Ruyan, but I'm sure that's how it is. Including the scene when he met Lu Ruyan and Chen Chen yesterday, Wang Xianwen now realizes that Chen Chen was extremely unnatural at the time. Having a school flower as a girlfriend, how proud is that? But that kid Chen Chen, he looks like he's being pampered. So what? I have no idea what you're trying to say. Zhang Wanin said coldly. She was not interested in knowing these things. At most she was surprised that Lu Ruyan would act like a lapdog. TSK TSK. Wang Xianwen shook his head and said. I'm just answering your question. Is Zhang Wanin really not as good as Lu Ruyan? If you want to know the answer, that silly kid is your target. My target? That's right. If you can make Chen Chen like you, and then abandon the school flower Lu Ruyan from Nani, does that mean... Lu Ruyan, the idol goddess, is far inferior to you, the washed-up school flower? I think there's nothing more satisfying than conquering a man who can't be conquered by a school flower, right? What do you think? Wang Xianwen smirked. Huh, what's the benefit of dating a silly kid for me? Zhang Wanin said disdainfully. Wang Xianwen said meaningfully, I thought for you, as long as you can hurt Lu Ruyan, you would be satisfied. Oh, I didn't expect the great young master Wang to understand me so well. Zhang Wanin suddenly sneered. But don't think I don't know, you just want to take Lu Ruyan away from that kid and use me as a tool. If you want me to help you get rid of him, you have to give me some benefits, right? Chairman Wang. 
Jiang Wanin is not a fool. She understood Wang Xuanwen's provocative words as soon as she heard them. Okay, of course I won't treat you unfairly. Wang Xianwen had anticipated this and said, the next Nani school flower selection is coming up, and you must want to go back to that position, right? With my ability in the student union, I can definitely help you campaign and create public opinion. By then, are you still afraid of being overshadowed by Lu Ruyan? After hearing this, Zhang Wanin's eyes flashed with a hint of surprise. Wang Xianwen, you are really a treacherous man. But, I like it. The 10-minute break is over. The third quarter of the second half is about to begin. What is Li Tao doing? They seem to be discussing tactics all the time. Yang Chihue saw the group from the sports institute on the opposite side, always huddled together discussing something. He Wei Heng scratched his nose and said, Who cares what they're discussing, with my big brother here, we'll definitely win this game. We can't be careless, they were just careless before. Chen Chen frowned. For some reason, he suddenly had a bad feeling about the upcoming game. After all, Li Tao and their overall strength are always stronger, and they can adapt and change their tactics quickly. Faced with this group from the sports institute, it's always better to be cautious. Chen Chen is right, don't be complacent. Lu Ruyan echoed. He Wei Hang became somewhat jealous. They are not a family, but they are all in the same boat. And they say it doesn't matter, but Lu Ruyan has become our obedient little kitten. At this moment, the whistle blew. The second half officially began. Both school teams are now on the court, and the third quarter is still being started by the Nani school team. This time, Chen Chen, as the ace, is not just used for serving. But this also gave Li Tao an opportunity, and he actually came to defend Chen Chen himself. Chen Chen, you were lucky in the second quarter. But in the second half, you won't be able to score as much. Li Tao has been blocking in front of Chen Chen, sneering at him. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan clenched her fists, her cheeks puffed up. If you can't win, play dirty, this Li Tao is really disgusting. He Wei Hang, who was throwing the ball outside the court, was also very embarrassed, and because of Li Tao's relationship, he could only pass the ball to another player. The player had just received the ball when he was intercepted by the six-foot-tall strong man behind him. Not good! He Wei Hang exclaimed. Seeing the black-clothed strong man grab the ball, Yang Chi quickly broke through the defense, switched defense with his teammate, and intercepted the strong man who was the scoring guard for the team, otherwise no one could stop this tall guy. After all, apart from Li Tao, the most difficult opponent was the guy in front of him. The strong man looked disdainfully at Yang Chi. He dribbled the ball quickly between his legs, then performed a dazzling series of moves, demonstrating the solid basic skills of the sports college team to Yang Chi, as if showing off his personal skills. And at this moment, he had no intention of attacking. Does this guy think we're just monkeys from our school? Too arrogant. I really want to go up and beat him to death. He's so arrogant. What kind of friendly match is this? The strong man's actions quickly sparked anger among the crowd. However, Li Tao smiled, as if this was the effect he wanted. Damn, don't be too arrogant. Yang Chi couldn't hold back his anger and was about to reach out to steal the ball, but the strong man suddenly dribbled the ball to the left, then grabbed the basketball with his big hand and made a backhand shot. Chen Chan realized it was not good. The first attempt to steal the ball failed, and Yang Chi had already moved significantly, unable to react in time. In this gap, the strong man had already switched hands and made a three-step drive to the basket, directly shooting the ball. The ball hit the rim, bouncing a few times. Everyone watched with bated breath. Thud. The ball finally bounced up. The ball eventually went into the basket. Damn it. Yang Chi was so angry that his chest heaved. Hearing the cheers from the sports college students, the students from their school were not happy. If it was a normal score, it would be fine, but to humiliate someone in this way, considering that they didn't do this when they were leading in the previous quarter, was really infuriating. We need to find a way to create opportunities for Chen Chen and stop Li Tao. Yang Chi directed He Wei Hang from the sidelines. Lu Ruyan could see that the sports college team had already learned their lesson and changed their tactics. In the previous play, her husband Chen Chen had no chance to receive the ball and was tightly marked. At the same time, Yang Chi was hot-tempered and couldn't stand provocation. It could be said that the sports college team had once again taken control of the game. At this moment, Yang Chi signaled to Chen Chen from the sidelines, and Chen Chen quickly understood, breaking free from Li Tao to receive the ball. Li Tao wanted to keep up, but was blocked by He Wei Hang. Stop him. Li Tao shouted. Chen Chen got the ball and quickly drove to the basket. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan quickly stood up and waved the colorful ball. Chen Chen, come on. The students outside the court saw the scene and couldn't help but envy it. If they could have the school flower cheer for them when they played, they would be happy even if they were beaten. 
Just as Chen Chen was about to enter the paint with the ball, the two South Sports team members who were originally defending separately suddenly intercepted Chen Chen in a double team, like two tall walls standing in front of him. Oh my god, both defenders are here. It looks like the South Sports team is really afraid. Seeing this scene, the students from their school sweated for Chen Chen. This treatment undoubtedly indicated that they were targeting Chen Chen. Lu Ruyan was so angry that her cheeks bulged like a pufferfish. Treating her husband like this was really too much. Chen Chen, this. He Wei Hang hurried over. Seeing this, Chen Chen threw the ball under the crotch of one of the South Sports team members, and with a bang, the basketball rebounded accurately into He Wei Hang's hands. Suddenly, Lu Ruyan felt that this scene was familiar. Yang Chi couldn't help but smile, this kid learns fast. He Wei Hang dribbled past a South Sports team member, and as he was about to shoot, the two meter tall center directly blocked He Wei Hang's shot. Bang! The basketball fell heavily to the ground. Chen Chen had just wanted to rush up, but the two people beside him were closely following, preferring to leave the defense open rather than give Chen Chen any chance to get the ball. In the end, before he could reach it, the ball was intercepted by Li Tao. Li Tao passed the ball, and it landed in the hands of the burly man. Immediately, a three-pointer was made from beyond the arc. Swish! South Sea Sports Academy scored another three points. This immediately caused an uproar among the students of South Art. Although the two-on-one defense was not a problem, this tactic also showed that the sports academy was afraid of Chen Chen. Obviously, Chen Chen's shooting in the first half had attracted enough attention from the opponents. In the third quarter, almost the entire time, there were two people defending Chen Chen. Yang Chi was blocked by Li Tao, and He Wei Hang's performance was not very stable. The other two players were even less effective, disrupting the lead they had fought hard for in the previous quarter, and now the sports academy had caught up. There was less than two minutes left in the third quarter. South Art School, having just lost a goal, could only serve again. Just as Chen Chen was feeling frustrated, Yang Chi walked up to him and said, Chen Chen, you can't keep being targeted like this. We need you to shoot for us to have a chance to score, otherwise we might really lose. I know, but I. Chen Chen clenched his fists, looking troubled. The sports academy's defense against him was too fierce, he simply couldn't get away, so he couldn't get the ball at all. Even if he did get the ball, he definitely couldn't shoot it. Try using the move I used against you last time, your long-range shot, Yang Chi suddenly said, we will do our best to help you screen, this is your only chance to shoot. Now, whether it was a three-pointer or a two-pointer, Chen Chen had very little chance. The only possibility was near the mid-court position. Chen Chen's expression became serious, then I'll give it a try. This time, He Wei Hang, off the court, passed the ball to Yang Chi. Chen Chen was still being closely defended by two people, so Yang Chi could only signal to the other two players. After the two players understood, they immediately broke away to set screens for Chen Chen, and Chen Chen took the opportunity to run and receive the ball. Yang Chi decisively took the shot. Seeing this, Li Tao hurriedly rushed up to intercept. The basketball was not intercepted by Li Tao, and it was smoothly passed to Chen Chen. But Li Tao, who had rushed up, did not stop there, and directly collided with Yang Chi, and the two fell to the ground. Li Tao ended up pressing down on Yang Chi. Yang Chi, Chen Chen, standing at midcourt, exclaimed. Yang Chi gritted his teeth and shouted, don't hesitate, shoot. Don't let him shoot. Li Tao also shouted at the same time. Seeing this, Chen Chen did not hesitate to take a shooting stance. After all, this was the opportunity that everyone had fought hard for. Just as Chen Chen jumped up and shot the ball, a South Sports team member rushed over to block the shot, but it was obviously too late. The people off the court all looked at the arc in disbelief. Even Lu Ruyan was the same. At that moment, it was as if everyone's heartbeats had stopped. They saw the shot, which surpassed the three-point line, gracefully draw an arc in the air, and finally go through the net. Swish! It's in! The students of South Art instantly cheered. Lu Ruyan also jumped up from her seat. Honey, you're amazing! Just as Lu Ruyan finished speaking, she suddenly noticed that the people around her had fallen silent. When she turned around, she found that all the South Art students were looking at her in astonishment. Lu Ruyan smiled awkwardly. Oops. I accidentally let it slip. Oh my god. Did I just see that right? From such a distance, the ball actually went in. This kid is too amazing. How did he do it? At this moment, even the students from the sports academy were amazed by Chen Chen's performance. The looks they gave Chen Chen changed from disdain at the beginning to admiration now. Seeing this, Yang Chi, lying on the ground, smiled with relief. I knew you could do it. Beep. The referee's whistle sounded. The third quarter had just ended. The current score of the game, 45-44. The South China Sea Sports College is only one point ahead of the Art College. 
Although it's a pity to be caught up, the gap between the two teams is only one point at the moment. As long as they can play well in the last quarter, Chen Shen believes they still have a chance. This bastard. Li Tao's face darkened when he saw the score. They should have easily defeated the South Art team, but because of Chen Shen, they were in such a tense situation. If it weren't for him, they would have won by a large margin in the third quarter. It's really frustrating. If they lose to this group of design students, it would be a disgrace for their sports college. Five minutes of rest time. Chen Chen and He Wei Hang helped the injured Yang Qi off the court. There was a cheering sound in their ears. Brother, you're amazing. You can shoot from such a distance. He Wei Hang was still excited from earlier. Chen Chen's shot really stunned him. If it weren't for Chen Chen's last shot, the score would have been pulled even further by the South Sports team, making it even harder to play in the next quarter. Fortunately, Chen Chen turned the tide. At this moment, Chen Chen was not interested in looking back at the excitement just now, but instead asked Yang Qi, How are you? Can you still play in the last quarter? I'll try my best, otherwise, without me, you guys won't make it. Yang Qi gritted his teeth and pushed away Chen Chen and He Wei Hang, but he couldn't hold on for more than two seconds and fell to the ground. Ah! Yang Qi grimaced in pain. Looking at his swollen ankle, Chen Chen frowned. It looks like the injury is not light. He Wei Hang also felt sorry for Yang Qi. Is Li Tao a bully? No, Li Tao did it on purpose. At this time, Lu Ruyan suddenly walked over. Chen Chen was surprised. Why do you say that? Because I saw it. Lu Ruyan clenched her fist lightly and frowned. I saw Li Tao deliberately push Yang Qi down. The speed was too fast at the time, and many people didn't notice it. And he also deliberately pressed on Yang Qi and stepped on his foot. I'm afraid Li Tao wanted to take the opportunity to foul and get Yang Qi off the court. Thinking of this, Lu Ruyan's eyes gradually turned cold. Li Tao is really cunning. This bastard. Yang Qi gritted his teeth and looked at Li Tao on the opposite side. Even Yang Qi himself didn't notice this detail. The scene was chaotic at the time, and besides the pain, how could he know these things? Now, looking back, Li Tao could have easily stopped in time. Chen Chen sighed, the incident has already happened, there's no use saying anything now. The only way is to replace someone else on the court, after all, Yang Qi's injury can't continue to play. Although Yang Qi was unwilling, he knew it was true. If he continued to play, it would only be a burden. But who can we replace now? Should we put Xiao Pang on the court again? He Wei Hang scratched his head. Just when everyone was in a dilemma, Lu Ruyan's voice suddenly sounded. How about? Let me play. At this, Chen Chen and others looked at Lu Ruyan in surprise. You? Don't be ridiculous, how can a girl like you play basketball? Yang Qi said impatiently. Although Lu Ruyan is beautiful, beauty can't make the ball obediently go into the basket. After all, this is a game between men. Suddenly adding a woman is not in line with the rules and not realistic. He Wei Hang also awkwardly said, That's right, sister-in-law, you'd better not get involved. What's wrong with you two? Do you think girls can't play basketball? Lu Ruyan frowned and stood up straight, or do you think I'm not as good as you guys in playing basketball? This. Yang Qi and He Wei Hang were both in a dilemma. They really hadn't encountered this before and couldn't decide. Ruyan, what about your foot injury? Chen Chen asked at this time. He practiced with Lu Ruyan and naturally knew her strength. Chen Chen's rapid progress is all thanks to Lu Ruyan. When it comes to playing basketball, even now he may not be Lu Ruyan's match. But the key is, Lu Ruyan twisted her foot last night. It's nothing, just a minor injury. And Chen Chen helped me apply oil at home, so I'm much better now. Lu Ruyan said, even stomping her injured foot a couple of times. Hearing this, He Wei Hang and Yang Qi looked at Chen Chen with strange eyes. Apply oil at home. What kind of dangerous vocabulary is this? He Wei Hang couldn't help but sigh at his big brother's rapid progress. It seems that Chen Chen really brought the school flower home yesterday. I guess that's why Lu Ruyan came so late, probably because she was too tired from exercising last night. It's really enviable. Chen Chen looked at Lu Ruyan and frowned. Are you really okay? Don't force yourself. So Chen Chen cares about me. Lu Ruyan said sweetly. Chen Chen blushed instantly. Well, after all, you're injured, so I should care, right? Put. Lu Ruyan laughed. Okay, I won't tease you anymore. Your concern is enough. It's much better than using liniment. Chen Chen scratched his head and smiled. He Wei Hang saw this lovey-dovey scene and couldn't bear to look at it. Is it really fun to bully them, the singles? Since that's the case, let Ruyan replace Yang Qi on the court. Chen Shen said to the other team members. At this point, Yang Qi also felt helpless. Since they trusted Lu Ruyan so much, as a disabled person, he had nothing to say. Hopefully, this game won't be too embarrassing to lose. Let's defeat Nan Ti together. Lu Ruyan raised her snow-white fist. 
Chen Chen was stunned for a moment, then also raised his fist. Yang Qi, He Wei Hang, Xiao Pang, and the other team members all joined in. Go for it. The last quarter of the game is about to begin. After the referee checked Yang Qi's condition, Chen Chen applied for a substitution. But because Lu Ruyan was not a substitute, and she was a girl, the referee was also in a dilemma. After all, this was the first time such a situation had occurred in the annual friendly match between the two schools. After several referees discussed, they reluctantly agreed, considering it was a friendly match. However, they had to get the consent of the Nan T school team, otherwise Lu Ruyan's participation would not be considered. What? Let Lu Ruyan play, don't make me laugh. After hearing the referee's opinion, Li Tao burst into laughter. Even if the Nan E school team wanted to give up the game, there was no need to be so blatant. Using a girl as a substitute. But Li Tao didn't mind, anyway, Nan e would lose in the end, it didn't matter who played. And, he could even have some fun with Lu Ruyan and show her how good he was. The Nan T school team agreed to replace a female team member. So, the following scene unfolded. A beautiful girl in a cheerleading uniform stepped onto the court with Chen Chen and the others. Whether they were students from Nan E or the Sports Institute, at this moment, their jaws were about to drop. Ha! Huh? What's going on? Look! It seems like Nan E has made a substitution. Oh my, the team leader has been replaced, and the one who came on is... Goddess Lu Ruyan. Lu Ruyan. Lu Ruyan. Goddess, I love you. Come on, goddess, defeat them. Lu Ruyan, the school flower of Nan E, stepping onto the court, instantly ignited the enthusiasm of the male students in the stands. In fact, Lu Ruyan directly became the biggest highlight of the basketball game. A normal basketball game is just about watching the ball, but now there's a beautiful figure on the court. Who the hell wants to watch the game? Not to mention, this is the first time in the history of the annual friendly match that a girl is playing. And she's their goddess school flower. In the midst of the cheers from the entire court, Lu Ruyan smiled slightly and waved to the crowd. The court has turned into a fan meeting for the campus goddess. Chen Chen, He Wei Hang, and others couldn't help but smile awkwardly. The influence of this school flower is truly terrifying. Arrogant B asterisk TCH, what are you so proud of? Zhang Wanin, who was watching from afar outside the court, cursed under her breath. This scene only strengthened her determination to reclaim her position as the school flower. She must take back everything from the past. This treatment should rightfully belong to her, Zhang Wanin. On the court, Li Tao angrily scolded his teammates, you guys, make sure to keep an eye on Chen Chen. Yes, captain, the few team members nodded timidly. Then, Li Tao looked at the figure of Lu Ruyan and sneered, Ruyan, let me play with you for a while. Originally, it was the fourth quarter for the South Sports School team to serve. But due to Li Tao's physical foul in the previous quarter, the ball possession transferred to the South Art School team. At this moment, He Wei Hang was standing outside the court, preparing to serve. The fourth quarter is also the final quarter of the game. Now, it officially begins. When He Wei Hang was hesitating about who to pass the ball to, Lu Ruyan suddenly reached out her hand. This, passing the first ball to my sister-in-law, I'm afraid we will lose the ball. At this time, the South Art students outside the court shouted, pass it quickly. Didn't you see our goddess wants the ball? Hurry up and give the ball to our goddess, I want to see her play. Hurry up, stop dilly-dallying. Are these guys, crazy? They don't care about the game at all now, they just want to see Lu Ruyan's personal show. Since it's like this, He Wei Hang also doesn't want to provoke their anger, so he quickly passed the ball to Lu Ruyan. Suddenly, those boys outside the court were filled with infatuation. Lu Ruyan dribbled the ball past the half-court, intending to break through, when Li Tao suddenly appeared in front of her. Ruyan, I never thought I would be playing with you one day. Although we are opponents, but rest assured, I won't be too rough on you. With that, Li Tao smirked. Lu Ruyan looked at him with disgust. Humph, put away your self-righteous excuses. Even if you try your best, you may not be better than me. Lu Ruyan's eyes were cold, and her words were equally icy. Faced with this scum, Lu Ruyan only felt disgust and anger. Li Tao didn't care, and sneered, I'm not as easy to deal with as you think, you should. Before he could finish his sentence, a graceful and beautiful figure brushed past him, causing Li Tao's eyes to widen. Looking back, he saw that Lu Ruyan had already left him behind at some point, with very decisive and fast movements, leaving Li Tao stunned. This. After a moment of daze, Li Tao exclaimed, Stop. Stop her. At this point, the two defenders from the South Sports team could only spare one person to deal with Lu Ruyan. Because no matter how you look at it, Lu Ruyan doesn't seem simple. Whether it's dribbling or breakthrough, it's clear that her basic skills are very solid. Even better than their team members from the sports school. Chen Chen wanted to go over to help, but the person beside him held him back tightly. 
It's impossible to run to the half court to receive the ball now. At this moment, they can only rely on Lu Ruyan herself. Don't think about easily getting past. The tall and strong man attacked from Lu Ruyan's right side. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan quickly switched the ball to her left hand. Faced with the man who was much taller than her, Lu Ruyan was fearless in the face of danger. In the next moment, she unexpectedly used a crossover dribble, not only successfully breaking through to the right, but also causing the tall man to stumble and fall to the ground. This move instantly shocked everyone. The goddess's basketball skills are actually so amazing. Damn, did you see that? She got past two people. Goddess is so cool. I love her so much. If only I could be dribbled by the goddess too. This handsome Lu Ruyan obviously made those infatuated followers even more crazy. Even Yang Chi was taken aback when he saw it, this is too impressive. Lu Ruyan broke through alone, her dribbling was beautiful and handsome, instantly captivating a large number of boys. Especially the white pleated skirt that was about to float up, it firmly attracted everyone's attention. Float. Float up. The boys widened their eyes, and even drooled. They were about to see. Only to see Lu Ruyan make a layup, smoothly throwing the ball into the basket. Her slender legs jumped, and the skirt danced along. When she landed, the skirt was like a small open parachute. At this moment, the boys were too preoccupied to care if the ball went in, instead, their faces lifted with anticipation, and some even quickly picked up their phones and silently opened their cameras. At the moment when Lu Ruyan descended, the white pleated skirt was lifted by the wind. The long-awaited scene suddenly appeared before their eyes. It turned out to be white. Hush! White leggings! At this moment, the boys felt like they had been splashed with cold water. Ah, such disappointment. The goddess has no trust in her own people. Why did even I, a blind man, fall for it? The Nani school team scored two points because of Lu Ruyan. Now, leading by one point, it was the South Sea Academy of Arts. Chen Chen, am I amazing? Lu Ruyan just scored and came to Chen Chen for praise. Looking at such a well-behaved school flower, it was truly envy-inducing for many boys. Did this kid save the Milky Way in his past life? Of course, you're amazing. Chen Shen scratched his head and smiled. After this basketball game, there would probably be more rumors about him and Lu Ruyan. He Wei Hang couldn't help but admire, sister-in-law, you are really amazing, you must teach me more next time. Chen Shen was stunned before reacting, hey, don't. Sure, since you called me sister-in-law, teaching you is no problem. Lu Ruyan playfully stuck out her tongue. Being called that, it was as if she was already Chen Shen's wife. Lu Ruyan was so happy in her heart, of course, the small request was no problem. Oh, sister-in-law agreed, big brother, don't be stingy. Chen Chen. Captain, how come the guys from Nani are getting better and better? The one. Nine meter tall strong man blushed, the scene just now almost made him lose face. He, a sports institute student, was unexpectedly surpassed by a girl. Are you even in a position to talk? Li Tao was furious. Although he was also surpassed by Lu Ruyan, it didn't affect him from shifting the blame to his teammates. In his opinion, Lu Ruyan must have trained. Otherwise, she couldn't have easily passed two people. But whether it was Lu Ruyan or Chen Chen, both of them exceeded his expectations. Obviously, Lu Ruyan also used all her strength to help Chen Chen win this game. This woman, Lu Ruyan. Does she just want Chen Chen to win? Li Tao gritted his teeth, changed the strategy, they will definitely pass the ball to Lu Ruyan next, you two switch to defend Lu Ruyan, as for Chen Chen, leave him to me. What are women most afraid of, do I need to teach you? Understood, Captain. A new round of attack began. Li Tao received the ball from his teammate. Lu Ruyan was about to teach Li Tao a lesson, but suddenly two big men appeared beside her, with lecherous smiles on their faces. This Li Tao, he's targeting her so quickly? Not only that, these two big men seemed to be deliberately sticking to Lu Ruyan. The smell of sweat was suffocating her. As soon as she drove Lu Ruyan away, they followed closely. Obviously, these two guys were deliberately trying to disgust her. Get lost, don't block my view of the goddess. What are you two trying to do? Dare to touch the goddess and we'll kill you. Exactly, two big men bullying a girl, isn't it shameful? The students from Nani quickly became dissatisfied. It was really disgusting. However, how could the Sports Institute people care? Li Tao smiled. In short, it was just one word, disgusting. Chen Chen frowned when he saw the situation. But for now, he had to prioritize the overall situation and first stop Li Tao. Wei Hang, I'll leave the situation over there to you, I'll go deal with Li Tao. No problem, big brother. Chen Chen approached Li Tao, assuming a defensive posture. Do you really think you can stop me? Li Tao coldly snorted as he dribbled the ball calmly. Chen Chen's eyes were resolute. If I can't stop you, then I don't deserve to win this game. 
Li Tao raised an eyebrow at the remark. Oh, you're quite confident, kid. At this moment, Chen Chen and Li Tao faced off anxiously. The atmosphere became tense. Yang Qi, on the sidelines, clenched his fists. Can this kid Chen Chen really stop the captain of the basketball team? Just then, Li Tao launched an attack, bypassing Chen Chen instead of passing the ball. Chen Chen reached out to intercept, but Li Tao had anticipated this, pulling the ball behind his back and switching hands, easily evading Chen Chen. You're just like that. Li Tao sneered, preparing to break through with the ball. However, at that moment, a hand suddenly reached out. Snap! Chen Chen unexpectedly knocked the ball out of Li Tao's hand. How is this possible? Wasn't he just? Could it be a fake move? As the ball was about to go out of bounds, He Wei Hang immediately ran to the sideline and caught the ball. While Li Tao looked astonished, he heard Chen Chen's voice. I guessed you wouldn't just break through like that. It seems I guessed right. Li Tao, with the opportunity to humiliate Chen Chen, couldn't let it pass. Moreover, his previous attack was too obvious, clearly just a feint. This was a little trick taught by Lu Ruyan. Chen Chen was just playing along with Li Tao's actions, deceiving him. You! Li Tao gritted his teeth in anger. Chen Chen! He Wei Hang shouted, throwing the ball to an open space in front of Chen Chen. Watching the trajectory, Chen Chen sprinted forward and caught the flying basketball. Li Tao chased after him, but Chen Chen had already dribbled beyond the three-point line and took a decisive jump shot. Even a two-meter-tall player couldn't block Chen Chen's shot in time. Swish! The ball went in. South Sea Academy of Arts scored another three points. Awesome! The South Sea Academy students on the sidelines cheered. Yang Chi also excitedly slapped his thigh, momentarily forgetting about his injury, then winced in pain the next second. Ouch! Damn! Why am I happier about this kid's score than my own? Chen Chen, it seems you've been listening to me. Lu Ruyan smiled as she saw Chen Chen's feigned defense just now. Obviously, her training for her husband last night was very effective. Chen Chen also smiled, after all, it's all thanks to the good coaching. Of course, Coach Lu is not to be underestimated, Lu Ruyan teased. More than half the time had passed, with less than five minutes left until the end of the final quarter. With South Sea Academy leading by four points, even just wasting time would secure their victory. Li Tao couldn't be unaware of this. If they couldn't score at least five points in these few minutes, they would undoubtedly lose. Listen up, we only have one option left now, we have to cooperate, these guys are just a bunch of loose sand. Li Tao reorganized the final tactics, gritting his teeth at his teammates. In this last bit of time, we have to score at least five points. If we can't, I won't hesitate to replace another batch of players for the school team. Li Tao once again took the ball from the sidelines. But this time, he unusually didn't choose to go solo, instead passing the ball to a teammate. With the players from the sports academy being tall and strong, it would be difficult for Chen Chen and the others to intercept the ball. Simply passing the ball back and forth would consume their energy, allowing them to smoothly reach the half-court of South Sea Academy. The tall man of one, nine meters passed the ball to another teammate. He Wei Hang couldn't even jump to intercept the pass. These guys seem to be planning to cooperate in a positional play. Lu Ruyan frowned. The center of the South Physical Education School at the three-point line immediately raised the ball high, and no South Art team member could intercept it, even jumping higher than anyone else. It was quite comical. The center didn't even need to jump, just made a three-point shot on the spot. The basketball went straight into the basket. No one could stop their inherent advantage. The score difference was instantly reduced to just two points. There was less than two minutes left. As long as the South Physical Education School relied on this play to score another three-pointer, the situation would completely reverse. After the South Physical Education School scored, it was now the South Art team's turn to serve. At this moment, Chen Chen focused and looked at his hands. There wasn't much time left. Whoever scored could directly determine the final result. They now had a significant advantage in serving and had to seize this opportunity. After all, the South Physical Education School, which was currently behind in score, should be more anxious than them. Seeing her husband's nervous appearance, Lu Ruyan couldn't help but worry. Chen Chen should be the one under the most pressure in the team right now, because the hopes of the entire South Art Academy were now on him. The key was that he was still carrying a bet, and had come this far, he couldn't afford to make a mistake. Chen Chen, watch the ball. He Wei Hang directly passed the ball to Chen Chen from the sidelines. Li Tao once again appeared in front of Chen Chen, not leaving an inch. Chen Chen knew that this guy definitely wanted to intercept his ball in the upcoming time and create a three-point scoring opportunity. Even if they could only score two points, this would allow the physical education school to at least tie the game and go into overtime directly. Once in overtime, following the physical education school's play just now, they would undoubtedly lose. 
so they absolutely couldn't let the physical education school get the ball. After Hui Wei Hang served, he immediately went to set a screen for Lu Ruyan, giving her the opportunity to support, sister-in-law, go quickly, big brother needs you now. Lu Ruyan nodded. It was only in this gap that Lu Ruyan was able to break free. Chen Shen seized the opportunity and made a fake pass. Chen Shen pretended to break through, then made a quick stop and directly passed the ball to Lu Ruyan, who was running from the left. Li Tao's attempt to intercept was in vain, and he could only watch the ball slip from his fingertips. Indeed, Chen Shen's judgment was correct. Li Tao was too eager to win now. This also led to his nerves being stretched tight, but his reaction was not as good as before. However, although Lu Ruyan got the ball, she was quickly double teamed by two South Physical Education School players, and even Li Tao chased from behind. The tall man of one, nine meters even shamelessly reached out and groped, leaving the onlookers stunned. Damn, what are you trying to do, kid? To treat the school flower so rudely, it's pure taking advantage. Disgusting. I really want to go up and beat this guy. Forget it, you can't beat him. Lu Ruyan was frightened and took a step back, but soon found a loophole. In the gap of the double team, she suddenly turned around and broke through with the ball. Her petite figure was particularly agile on the giant's battlefield, which surprised the South Physical Education School team. After breaking through, Lu Ruyan entered the three-point line. The next moment, without hesitation, she made a shooting posture. At the same time, the center of the South Physical Education School inside suddenly jumped up, blocking all of Lu Ruyan's sight with his tall figure. If she directly shot like this, she would definitely be blocked. Sister-in-law. He Wei Hang's heart was in his throat at this moment. Yang Qi and the audience outside the court also widened their eyes. At this moment, in the air, Lu Ruyan unexpectedly looked at Chen Chen. Li Tao followed her gaze and saw that Chen Chen was unguarded and had even run to Lu Ruyan's right side. A fake shot and a real pass. Swish. The basketball flew over and landed directly in Chen Chen's hands. The ball. The ball is with Chen Chen. It was only at this moment that the South Physical Education School players reacted and hurriedly rushed over. But unfortunately, they were too late. Chen Chen made a jump shot on the spot, and in the eyes of the crowd, filled with anticipation or despair, he pushed the ball with force. At that moment, Yang Qi seemed to see Jordan's classic fadeaway jump shot. The basketball drew a high arc and shot towards the basket. Swish. Beep accompanied by the sound of the referee's whistle. With just a one second difference, the students of Nani erupted into thunderous cheers. The ball went in. Lu Ruyan jumped for joy. With a thud, Chen Chen fell to the ground, listening to the excited cheers and applause in his ears, and suddenly smiled. It all felt like a dream. In just a few days, he had actually defeated the South Sports Academy team with his own hands. Li Tao and the others stood dumbfounded. Looking at the scoreboard, 48 to 51. They actually lost. Nani led the South Sports Academy by three points and narrowly won the game. Even the students from the Sports Academy were extremely surprised. The South Sports Academy, which had always dominated other campuses, lost to a group from the design department? Shin Shen, you're really something. Yang Qi breathed a sigh of relief and smiled. It had to be said, this kid Shin Shen was really something else. Shen Chen. Before Shin Shen could come to his senses, a delicate figure suddenly threw herself into his arms. Looking down, Lu Ruyan was excitedly hugging him. If Lu Ruyan had a tail, then Chen Chen would definitely see it wagging happily. Great, we finally won. Lu Ruyan exclaimed happily. Chen Chen hesitated for a moment, then smiled, yeah, and we also won the bet. Hearing this, Lu Ruyan looked up at Chen Chen, her eyes filled with emotion. In the next moment, she hugged Chen Chen even tighter. The two bodies pressed tightly together, their sweat mingling, creating a touching scene. That's right. The referees announced the final result of the game. Nani Art College emerged victorious in this basketball-friendly match. Chen Shen was pushed to the side of the referee by the crowd, and he received the trophy for the friendly match, surrounded by cheers. Seeing this scene, Li Tao's face turned as dark as coal. I actually lost to this kid. Li Tao clenched his fists. Not only did he lose face for the sports academy, but he also lost his own dignity. Hey, Li Tao. At this moment, Lu Ruyan's voice rang out. Turning his head, Li Tao saw Lu Ruyan standing behind him. You lost this game. Don't forget to fulfill our bet, which is not to let me see you again. As Lu Ruyan spoke, the coldness in her beautiful eyes was chilling. Li Tao's eye twitched. This woman. Huh, what does it have to do with me, Li Tao, if the South Sports lost? Li Tao said coldly. If it weren't for those useless teammates, how could I have possibly lost to that kid Chen Chen? If you have the guts, let him play 1v1 with me again. If I lose this time, I will admit defeat. 
Hearing this, Lu Ruyan suddenly raised an eyebrow, oh, no need for that. Since you don't want to fulfill the bet, then it's up to you. After all, I can't control you, can I? After saying this, Lu Ruyan still had a faint smile on her lips. This move made Li Tao feel extremely puzzled. Could it be that Lu Ruyan didn't mind if he continued to pursue her? Just as Li Tao was about to ask for clarification, Lu Ruyan turned and left. Watching Lu Ruyan happily running towards Chen Shen, Li Tao's face grew even darker, completely unable to understand what this woman was thinking. But since she had said that, then it didn't matter if he didn't fulfill this bet. With that in mind, Li Tao snorted and left the campus of Nani. Did that guy Li Tao leave? Chen Shen asked as Lu Ruyan approached. Lu Ruyan nodded, looking very happy, yes, what's wrong? Um, did he agree to fulfill the bet? Chen Shen hesitated. No, but it doesn't matter. Lu Ruyan sweetly smiled, unknowingly hiding a dangerous taste in her smile. Anyway, the chance of him appearing in front of us is probably close to zero. Ah, uh, what does that mean? It means it's a secret. But, don't but me, go put the trophy away, we'll celebrate this afternoon. Alright, I hope so. On the other side, Li Tao left the campus of the South Arts Academy and headed home. The thought of Chen Shen becoming a great hero made him furious. It looked like he would have to teach him a lesson next time. Of course, the premise was that Lu Ruyan wasn't around him, otherwise it would be another loss like last time. Young Master Chen, what a coincidence. Just then, a sarcastic voice suddenly came from behind Li Tao. He turned around and saw Huang Mao with a few of his brothers. It's you guys? Huh, you have the nerve to show up in front of me. Li Tao was furious, these troublemaking punks dared to come find him, it was asking for trouble. Huang Mao scratched his back with a baton, looking smug, young Master Chen doesn't seem to like us very much, but it's a coincidence, we have something to discuss with you, it'll take up a bit of young Master Chen's time. Discuss with me? Li Tao suddenly snorted, if you want money, forget it. You getting beaten up has nothing to do with me, and my reward is only given if you break Chen Chen's leg. Now you have the nerve to ask me for money? You're thinking too much, young Master Chen. We're not here to ask for money, we're here to exchange you for money. Huang Mao sneered. Hearing this, Li Tao looked at the batons in their hands and felt uneasy. As Huang Mao and the others approached, Li Tao's face broke out in a cold sweat as he took a few steps back. What do you mean by this? The boss means, we're going to break your, your leg. That's right. Huang Mao tapped his palm with the baton. Brothers, grab him for me. No. No. Ah, uh, my leg. At this moment, in the honor hall of the South Arts School, Shen Shen felt very satisfied as he looked at the basketball tournament trophy on the metal display shelf. Being able to win the trophy is all thanks to the efforts of student Chen Shen, Lu Ruyan said with satisfaction. Chen Shen scratched his head and smiled, looking a bit shy, it's not just me, it's our collective effort. I have to thank you, Ruyan, for being able to achieve this. If it weren't for your dedicated guidance, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Whether it's courage or confidence, it's all thanks to you, Ruyan. Hearing this, Lu Ruyan's beautiful eyes turned, and then she said meaningfully, since that's the case. Should student Chun Chen reward me with something? Reward? What do you want? Well, actually, I already have something in mind. What is it? Just as Lu Ruyan finished speaking, she suddenly leaned forward, reaching out to the shelf behind Chen Chen. Chen Chen nervously stepped back, bumping into the low cabinet behind him and sitting down with a thud. In the quiet and dim honor hall, the sound of Chen Chen swallowing could be heard. He had actually been cornered by the school flower? What? What are you doing? Chen Shen's cheeks were now red, his ears burning, under the gaze of Lu Ruyan's big eyes, his Adam's apple moved up and down like a piston. I'm just asking for my reward. Lu Ruyan's voice was pleasant, her eyes charming, and her warm breath brushed against Chen Shen's face. Looking at the approaching little mouth, Chen Shen's eyes were about to pop out. This is a public place. What if someone comes in, and Lu Ruyan's suddenness is a bit too much? Give him some psychological preparation at least, right? Chen Shen stiffly turned his head and closed his eyes. At this moment, Lu Ruyan's enchanting voice was right next to his ear. I want, um, Chen Shen's heart was beating wildly. Um, no, Ruyan, it's not quite right for us to do this. Have a meal with Chen Shen. Two voices sounded at the same time. Chen Shen suddenly opened his eyes. Have, have a meal? Yes. Lu Ruyan was trying hard to hold back her laughter. Chen Shen's eyes twitched, feeling a bit embarrassed. So that's it. Otherwise? Could it be that Chen Chen is thinking of something naughty? Lu Ruyan suddenly smirked. Like, a kiss? Lu Ruyan bit her sexy lower lip. No, no, no. Chen Chen hurriedly waved his hand to explain, how could I think like that? As he said this, Chen Chen's ears turned red. Anyone would think like that in that situation. 
Having a meal is naturally not a problem, it's just a bit unexpected. Why unexpected? You promised to supply me next time. Lu Ruyan frowned, looking like an angry little pufferfish. Is Chen Chen going back on his word? No, of course not. Chen Chen awkwardly smiled, don't be angry. Lu Ruyan snorted, straightened her waist, crossed her arms, and looked like a domineering queen. That's more like it. Let's go then. Wait. Lu Ruyan turned her head at the words. Chen Chen, with a red face, pointed to her and said, Are you planning to wear this outfit? Ha! Huh? Lu Ruyan looked down and only then understood Chen Chen's meaning. It turned out she hadn't changed out of her cheerleading outfit yet. If she went out like this, she would probably attract evil glances everywhere. Lu Ruyan stuck out her tongue. The clothes are in the classroom, I'll go change now. Chen Chen, wait for me. Watching Lu Ruyan run to the classroom with her beautiful legs, Chen Chen shook his head helplessly. This woman is really bold. After closing the door of the honor hall, Chen Chen had just turned around when a dark figure suddenly appeared and collided with him. Chen Chen was pressed to the ground, his face covered with something soft, making it hard for him to open his eyes. What is this? Just as he reached out to push it away, he felt a soft touch on his fingertips. Then, a delicate female voice sounded. Ah, Chen Chen was startled. I'm. I'm sorry, I ran too fast just now and didn't see you. At this moment, the darkness in front of him dispersed, and a beautiful figure rose from Chen Chen. Long hair fell on Chen Chen's face, and when he looked up, he saw a delicate and pretty face. Jian. Jian Wanin. At this moment, Jian Wanin and Chen Chen were in a very ambiguous position. Chen Chen's eyes widened suddenly. Could it be that what he had just touched was? Thinking of this, Chen Chen hurriedly retreated, sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Ha, huh? aren't you the senior from the previous match? Jiang Wanin suddenly spoke, interrupting Chen Chen. She seemed completely unaware of what had just happened. Senior? Chen Chen was stunned for a moment, and awkwardly said, I'm actually a junior. At this moment, Chen Chen took two steps back, intentionally keeping a distance between them. Really? I was wondering which department's senior you were, you play basketball so well, and you're quite handsome. Zhang Wanin suddenly covered her mouth and laughed. Ah, uh, the atmosphere was a bit cold, Chen Chen scratched his head and stood up, saying, I'm just a sophomore in the design department, and I'm just an average basketball player. It's an overestimation from you, senior. You're only a sophomore? Zhang Wanin also stood up and patted the dust off her body, but you look very mature, like a big brother, so I thought you were older than me, but it seems I guessed wrong. Chen Chen asked, how old are you, senior? Me. Zhang Wanin frowned, pinching her chin. I think it's E. E. Chen Chen suddenly reacted, what? Zhang Wanin continued nonchalantly, that's right, 98 on top, 75 on the bottom. Subconsciously, Chen Chen looked down at Zhang Wanin's snow white career line. Suddenly, his face turned red. Senior, you misunderstood, I was talking about. Age, Chen Chen blushed. Zhang Wanin was taken aback for a moment, then suddenly chuckled, oh, it seems like I accidentally revealed some secrets to you, Junior. You have to help me keep it a secret. Of course, Chun Chan awkwardly smiled. By the way, Junior, how old are you? Twenty. So long? Ha? Huh? No, I mean, you've lived for a long time. Zhang Wanin smiled coquettishly. Chen Chen's eye twitched. Why did he feel like Senior Wanin was deliberately teasing him? By the way, Junior, you looked handsome playing on the court just now. I bet a lot of people like you, right? Since we've met, can you sign an autograph for me? Zhang Wanin smiled. An autograph? Chen Chen felt embarrassed, scratching his head, I'd better not, Senior Wanin, how can I give you an autograph? After all, Zhang Wanin was also a prominent figure in the school. He was just an ordinary guy. Oh, so, Junior, you know me. Zhang Wanin looked pleasantly surprised, then smiled, it's quite an honor to be recognized by such an outstanding junior. Can I get to know you too? Maybe. We can improve our relationship. I. Chen Chen looked at Zhang Wanin with suspicion. No way. Senior Wanin. Actually wants to be friends with him? And, she's his little fan. The last time he felt this unreal was with Lu Ruyan. Whether it was the current campus bell Lu Ruyan or the former campus bell Zhang Wanin, they both wanted to get to know him actively. Chen Chen felt that everything that had happened recently seemed unreal, because for a long time, he had been just a nobody. Seeing Chen Chen hesitate, Zhang Wanin suddenly felt a little sad. If you mind, then forget it. No. No, I'm Chen Chen. Chen Chen hesitated for a moment and spoke up. Chen Chen, that's a nice name. Zhang Wanin softly repeated. At the next moment, she suddenly looked at Chen Chen and asked eagerly, Chen Chen, do you have a girlfriend? Ha! Huh? Chen Chen obviously didn't expect Zhang Wanin to ask that. When he thought of this question, an image of Lu Ruyan flashed through his mind. 
No, how could the campus belle Lu Ruyin be his girlfriend? At most, they were just good friends, how could he have such thoughts? Chen Chen felt like he was losing his mind, he couldn't think clearly. I haven't. Chen Chen stammered. Of course he does. At that moment, a sharp female voice rang out. Chen Chen and Jiang Wanin looked in the direction of the voice, only to see Lu Ruyin standing at the corner of the corridor. Ruyin? Chen Chen was surprised. Jiang Wanin, seeing this scene, felt a hint of coldness in her beautiful eyes. How did this bitch come back again? At the next moment, Lu Ruyin, who had changed her clothes, walked slowly, her pretty face cold, I'm really happy to see senior sister likes Chen Chen, but senior sister might be disappointed now, because Chen Chen's girlfriend is me. With that, Lu Ruyin grabbed Chen Chen's arm and pulled him to her side. Chen Chen was just surprised, but suddenly felt his flesh being pinched. Ah, Chen Chen gasped in pain. At this moment, Lu Ruyin looked at Chen Chen with a smile, you agree, don't you, darling? I. Chen Chen suddenly gasped again. Yes, everything you said is right. Lu Ruyin, what is she trying to do? Oh, Jiang Wanin saw the situation and raised her eyebrows, who did I think it was? It turns out to be the school flower of our South Arts, Sister Ruyin, right? It seems that Chen Chen's charm is really great, even Sister Ruyin is in love with him. Lu Ruyin snorted coldly, there's no way, my boyfriend is so cute and upright, there are many who like him, but only I can be with him. At the end, Lu Ruyin emphasized her words, even with hostility. Chen Chen couldn't help but sense the jealousy in her words. Could it be that Lu Ruyin is jealous? But why? That's really a pity. Jiang Wanin's expression became disdainful, as she lightly opened her red lips, after all, boys as outstanding as Chen Chen are rare, if I were his girlfriend, I would definitely let him find a few more. Otherwise, I'm afraid I can't satisfy him alone. Chen Chen's eyes widened at her words. Sister Wanin's thoughts are too open. What did you say? Lu Ruyin clenched her fists. Jiang Wanin suddenly covered her mouth in surprise. Oh, it seems I said the wrong thing again, I'm really careless. I just think that boys like Chen Chen should be shared by more people. Maybe I'm too considerate. With that, Jiang Wanin frowned, looking like a delicate woman. Oh no, why do these two women seem to be at odds? I'm not as good as senior sister said, sharing in such is too exaggerated. Chen Chen smiled awkwardly, wanting to escape from this situation. You're too modest, if you weren't outstanding, Sister Ruyin wouldn't like you, right? Jiang Wanin lightly bit her lip, unlike me, not only does no one like me, I haven't had the luck to meet a perfect man like you. Chen Chen felt so embarrassed that he could almost dig a hole with his toes. Jiang Wanin's words sounded too exaggerated to Chen Chen, after all, he was very aware of his own shortcomings and couldn't bear such praise and affection. At this moment, Lu Ruyin was almost desperate to tear apart the scheming woman in front of her. How dare she play this game in front of her, Jiang Wanin is still a bit naive. Lu Ruyin's red lips lightly opened, and she said slowly, I didn't expect senior sister to be so selfless. If that's the case, I suggest that senior sister would be more suitable with Hai Wang. They would definitely like an older and understanding girlfriend like you, right? After all, my classmate Chen Chen is a faithful person. Maybe I can't satisfy your preference for other people's boyfriends. Lu Ruyin smiled, but exuded a very dangerous aura. Chen Chen was horrified at the sight. Lu Ruyin's words just now were too heartless. Is there some unresolved conflict between them? You. Jiang Wanin's eyes twitched, but she still forced a smile. Thank you for your suggestion, Sister Ruyin. You're welcome, after all, helping others is something I've always loved to do. Yan's mouth curled up, revealing a brilliant smile. The atmosphere became tense for a moment, and Chen Chen felt like he was standing on the side, like a superfluous NPC. No, he had to quickly take Yan away from here. Oh right, don't we need to eat? I'm hungry too, let's go early. Chen Chen scratched his head and smiled awkwardly, Senior, I. We'll leave first, we won't disturb you, goodbye. Hey, I haven't had a good chat with the senior yet. Yan wanted to tear this green tea to shreds, but Chen Chen pushed her away, leaving only Jiang Wanin's lonely figure. Interesting. Men like this are really rare. Jiang Wanin's smile instantly disappeared, leaving only coldness. If Yan hadn't intervened, she would have already taken this man, Chen Chen. And it seemed that Yan did care about this junior named Chen Chen. Their relationship was definitely not that simple. She decided to take on Wang Xuanwen's game. Tired of those handsome guys, playing with this inexperienced boy wouldn't be bad. Although he seemed ordinary, he was simple and cute. This kind of man might bring her a lot of fun. Yen, just wait and see. Not only will I reclaim the position of the school flower, but I will also snatch your man. Let you also experience the taste of failure. At this moment, outside the campus. Why did you stop me? Yen walked on the campus road with a sullen expression. 
Chen Chen on the side smiled awkwardly, sorry, I just didn't want you two to quarrel. Although he didn't know the exact grievances between the two of them, and even had to use him to provoke Zhang Wanin, he could tell that the atmosphere just now was not suitable for lingering, and it might even affect others. After all, he was the fish caught in the middle. Could it be, Chen Chen, do you have feelings for her? Suddenly, Yan looked at Chen Chen and questioned. Chen Chen frowned, how is that possible, she's obviously just joking, and besides, I don't like the type of senior Wanin. Then what type do you like? I. Chen Chen hesitated, his eyes filled with Yan's figure. The next moment, Chen Chen blushed and said, I don't know either. Really? Yan approached Chen Chen and frowned. Chen Chen's Adam's apple bobbed up and down, his face as red as a monkey's butt. He really didn't know what type of girl he liked. It seemed like many people were like this. They could immediately know if they didn't like it. But when he was with Yen, he felt the most shy, although he couldn't figure out why, but the feeling Yen gave him was completely different from Jiang Wanin's. Okay, I won't force you. Yen sighed. Her husband's ability to judge women still needed improvement. But she didn't blame Chen Shen, after all. She knew that Chen Shen had never been in contact with any girls, let alone judging them. He probably couldn't even guess what they were saying. Thinking of this, Yen also felt relieved. But the next time she met Jiang Wanin clinging to her husband, she would definitely let Jiang Wanin know how capable she was. No one should think of taking her husband away from her. Big brother. Sister-in-law. At this moment, He Wei Hong's voice came from the front. Chen Shen and Yan looked over and saw He Wei Hang and Xiao Peng carrying Yang Qi, who was limping, with bandages on his feet. It seemed that they had gone outside the school to bandage Yang Qi. Is your injury better? Chen Shen asked, looking at the bandage on Yang Qi's calf. Yang Qi seemed a little uncomfortable with Chen Shen's concern, and said somewhat awkwardly, it's okay, I can walk normally, but I probably won't be able to play basketball for a while, I really want to beat up Li Tao. At this point, He Wei Hang asked, Big brother, where are you and sister-in-law going? We're going to eat something, do you want to come with us? Chen Shen spoke up. Chen Shen was already powerless to argue with He Wei Hang's teasing, after all, He Wei Hang wouldn't listen. He Wei Hang scratched his head awkwardly and said, Ah, this. It's not very appropriate for us to join the date with the big brother and sister-in-law, right? Initially, when she heard Chen Chen's initiative to invite them, Lu Ruyan was a little unhappy. After all, she still wanted to have a private lunch with her husband, but now these few third wheels had come along. However, upon careful consideration, Lu Ruyan realized that this was actually a good opportunity for her husband to build connections. After all, her husband didn't have many friends in college. Now, her husband had gained recognition from Yang Qi and others through the basketball game. It was a chance to promote friendship. This way, her husband wouldn't feel so lonely in college in the future. Don't talk nonsense, this isn't a date. Okay. Suddenly, Lu Ruyan spoke up. Chen Chen looked at Lu Ruyan and saw her smiling. Actually, Chen Chen was planning to invite you all to a celebration banquet, because we finally worked together to win the game, and we should definitely celebrate. Since we all have time now, let's have a meal together. Yiling. Chen Chen was slightly surprised. He didn't expect Lu Ruyan to say that. Really? Big brother, you're too kind. He Wei Hang immediately said with a smile. Then he looked at Yang Qi and Xiao Pang. What do you say, my big brother is treating us to a meal, shall we go together? I. I'm fine. Xiao Pang smiled kindly. But at this moment, Yang Qi withdrew his hand and limped forward. You guys go, my leg is injured. I don't feel like eating. It's enough for you to celebrate on my behalf. Seeing this, everyone looked at each other. He Wei Hang felt embarrassed. What should we do? Lu Ruyan could see that Yang Qi still had some resistance in his heart. Perhaps he had some feelings for her before, although his relationship with Chen Chen had eased, his inner pride didn't allow him to immediately let go of his dignity. Although Lu Ruyan had even disliked Yang Qi before, this guy wasn't really that bad, and having one more friend was naturally better than having one more enemy. Without the captain, how can we have a celebration banquet? You're right, Yang Qi. Suddenly, a sentence from Chen Chen made Yang Qi's face freeze. Lu Ruyan looked at Chun Chen in surprise. What is my husband doing? It's just a game we played together. It's not enough to call me a captain. Yang Qi turned around, his ears still a little red, but Chun Chen continued, even if it's just a game, it's a glorious game that we won together, and it's meaningful. Let's go, let's have a meal together. Yang Qi suddenly felt a warmth in his heart. Before he could say anything, he was lifted up by He Wei Hang and Xiao Pang, Captain, don't say so much, you can't walk with your injury, we're here to celebrate for you. Even if we have to carry you today, we'll carry you over. Hey, you two idiots, put me down. Seeing this, Chen Chen and Lu Ruyan smiled at each other. In Lu Ruyan's eyes, there was relief and emotion. Being able to rise above and let go. Even though he had been insulted in the past, 
Chen Shun chose to be magnanimous. Wasn't this the best embodiment of his character? Lu Ruyan held onto Chen Shen's arm and said to the three people behind them, All right, if you don't hurry, there won't be any food left later. Hey, wait for us, sister-in-law. Just by looking at you two, I'm already full. He he. At the same time, outside the main gate of the South Sea Academy of Arts, there was a black McLaren 911 parked. Passing students couldn't help but take a look, wondering who was inside, as a luxury car was parked at the entrance of the university. Young master, Miss Lu has appeared. At this time, a muscular man in a short-sleeved shirt in the driver's seat of the car spoke up. On the driver's seat sat a man in a gray casual suit, looking to be around 25 or 26, handsome but with a hint of darkness in his eyes. He turned the silver punk ring on his middle finger and spoke slowly, Who are those guys? He saw Lu Ruyan walking out of the school gate with a few men, chatting happily and completely unaware of their presence. But soon, the man known as Young Master noticed Chen Shen because Lu Ruyan was intimately linked with him. Young Master, it seems that he is Miss Lu's classmate. Are classmates supposed to be so intimate? This woman, Lu Ruyan, really doesn't take me, her fiancé, seriously. The man smiled bitterly and clenched his fist. I want you to find out who the guy next to Lu Ruyan is. I want him to know the consequences of taking away my woman. Yes, Young Master. In the afternoon, the celebration was held at the restaurant Lu Ruyan had wanted to take Chin Chen to last time. However, due to the trouble with those hooligans, they couldn't make it then, but now they had the opportunity. Ruyan, did we come to the wrong place? No, this is it. Looking at the luxurious outdoor restaurant in front of him, Chin Chen was dumbfounded. He never expected to dine at such a high-end restaurant. He was probably going to spend a lot of money this time, and he might have to eat a lot of instant noodles later. Bro, you're really something. You brought us to this place, which is a well-known romantic restaurant near our university. He Wei Hang looked around, like a country bumpkin coming to the city for the first time. After all, everyone was visiting such a high-consumption place for the first time. It was said that dining here for two people would cost nearly a thousand yuan. Did you win the lottery, bro? He Wei Hang nudged Chen Chen with his elbow and smirked. Chen Chen could only force a smile at He Wei Hang's words. Now that they were already here, he couldn't easily suggest going somewhere else. Fortunately, Chen Shen still had some savings, or else he might have to wash dishes after the meal. Seeing Chen Shen's forced smile, Lu Ruyan smiled sweetly and said, Don't worry too much, Chen Shen. Since it's a celebration, we naturally have to choose a good place. Just relax. With that, Lu Ruyan winked at Chen Shen with her beautiful eyes. Okay. Chen Shen smiled awkwardly. At the moment, he was really putting on a front. Saving face. The five of them found a place to sit. It's worth mentioning that the environment here was indeed very nice. The advantage of an outdoor restaurant was that it could take in the entire city's scenery. Under the dim sunlight, the sky and the city merged into a painting, and the light of the setting sun became the connecting edge. It was truly pleasant. It was indeed a place suitable for couples. The reason why Lu Ruyan chose this place was originally to enjoy the sunset with Chen Chen. It's just that now, there were a few more third wheels than expected. Seeing this, He Wei Hang spoke up, it would be a waste not to take a group photo in such a nice place. After all, we don't know when we'll be able to come again, what do you think? Sure, I agree. Xiao Pang chimed in. Lu Ruyan also thought it was a good idea. After all, she hadn't taken a photo with her college sweetheart yet. Come on, I'm ready. Lu Ruyan happily linked arms with Chun Chen and struck a pose skillfully. He Wei Hang picked up his phone, hesitated for a moment, and then put it down. Suddenly, I don't feel like taking a photo. How about the three of us take a photo together? Hmm, that makes sense. Seeing this, Chen Chen could only smile awkwardly. The text has been translated from Chinese to English. Nothing. Chen Chen shook his head, thinking that he should invite Lu Ruyan back next time, otherwise he would feel like he owed her something. Thank you, Ruyan, Lu Ruyan smiled knowingly. You've already handed over your salary, so why thank me? It makes things seem so awkward, He Wei Hang said in a carefree manner. By the way, big brother, how about we go sing some karaoke OJBK later? Don't worry, this time Yang Chi is treating. Hey, when did I? Yang Chi suddenly felt a headache. He Wei Hang was too quick with his words. Shut up, if I say you're treating, then you're treating. Yang Chi felt like killing someone. He had only 200 yuan in his pocket, and he was planning to have fun with his junior high school sister after school on Friday. This was like indirectly restricting his entertainment. No, I don't think so. Chen Chen furrowed his brow lightly. It's still early, and I want to go look for a job. Look for a job. He Wei Hang and the others were surprised. Chen Chen nodded and said, yes. With Lu Ruyan's help, he had been able to select a design proposal. Now all that was left was to produce the finished product. 
After confirming that everything was fine, he could submit it to the studio. Although he could earn a few hundred yuan, it was still small money, and very unstable. Chen Shen felt that it was still necessary to find a stable part-time job to support himself. At this point, his life was becoming a problem, so there was really no need to pretend to be rich. Finding a job as soon as possible was the most important thing now. He Weihang asked in confusion, Big brother, weren't you working part-time at the noodle shop before? Why? Lu Ruyan smiled awkwardly at this point. That's not very suitable for me, so I have to find another job. Chen Shen didn't explain the reason, he just said so. However, the job at the noodle shop was really meaningless, and he couldn't learn anything from it. For the next part-time job, Chen Shen wanted to find something that would be helpful to him. I see. He Weihang rubbed his chin in thought, then said, How about we go do some delivery work, big brother? I have a way to do it, it's simple, easy, and stable. Most importantly, you can do it from home. Tisk, how much money can you make from delivery work? I'd say it's better to collect protection fees with me at school. I can let Chen Chen be my agent, collect money for me, and then split it 55 to 45, Yang Chi said disdainfully. There's an agent for this? Otherwise, how can I handle it all by myself? Enough. Lu Ruyan suddenly frowned and said, Can't you come up with some normal ideas? These are all strange, and they're not helpful to Chen Chen at all. He Wei Hang and Yang Chi looked at each other. Then, sister-in-law, what do you think would be suitable? He Wei Hang asked. Lu Ruyan thought seriously for a moment, biting her red lips. If you ask me, I can't bear to see Chen Chen work so hard. How about I support Chen Chen? Lu Ruyan looked at Chen Chen and smiled happily. Everyone was shocked. This, this won't work. Chen Chen said with an awkward smile. He Wei Hang got up from the ground and said, Sister-in-law, isn't this even more unreliable? Big brother is a person with ambition. How could he not want money for the sake of his dignity? Right, big brother. Chen Chen. At this point, Xiaopang suddenly spoke up. If we're talking about work, I happen to know that a branded clothing store near our university is hiring salespeople, and the salary and benefits are good. After all, it's a big brand company. Clothing sales? What brand store is it? He Wei Hang asked. I remember it's Zero Fox. Zero Fox. Lu Ruyan was drinking water at the time, and she sprayed it out in shock. Everyone was suddenly astonished. What's wrong, Ruyan? Chen Chen asked with concern. Cough. Cough. Lu Ruyan waved her hand. It's nothing, I just, just choked. Chen Chen furrowed his brow, feeling somewhat strange. Zero Fox Trendy Wear? That is an international big brand that originated from our local area in the South China Sea, so of course the treatment is better than other stores. It's just that they are looking for full-time, and Big Brother is still a student, so how can he have time for a full-time job? He Wei Hang complained. Xiaopang scratched his head and smiled awkwardly, it seems so. Ah, what a pity. If there were part-time opportunities, it would be good for Big Brother to work as a salesperson at Zero Fox, after all, he could gain some experience. He Wei Hang sighed and continued, I still remember that year, that day, as the sun set, Big Brother told me that his biggest dream was to open his own clothing design studio. Sob sob sob. Chen Chen's face turned red, and he stood up to cover He Wei Hang's mouth. Then he looked at Lu Ruyan and awkwardly said, Don't listen to his nonsense. It's okay, I also want to hear what Chen Shen's dream is, Lu Ruyan said. Although her ex-husband became a famous fashion designer in the previous life, Lu Ruyan never asked if this was her ex-husband's dream. But now, hearing He Wei Han's words, it seems not. He Wei Hang quickly pulled Chen Shen's hand and said rapidly, Big Brother wants to open a clothing design studio, but he doesn't have the money. You, Chen Shen said in frustration. These were just thoughts at that time. Now, Chen Shen has realized the reality. As long as he can survive, it would be even better if he could live a more decent life. After all, his family. A clothing design studio. He couldn't even dare to think about it now. Speaking out these unattainable dreams would only make people laugh at him. So Chen Chen wants to open a design studio? Lu Ruyan said with some surprise. She had never heard Chen Chen talk about it in the previous life. Chen Chen blushed and said shyly, it was just a thought before. I chose the design major at the beginning because I like this field and having such fantasies is normal, right? I see, Lu Ruyan suddenly started to ponder. Opening a clothing design studio is indeed not something that can be done casually. Although her husband is very talented now, the startup capital is crucial. Perhaps this was the obstacle that hindered him in the previous life. Thinking of this, Lu Ruyan felt a little distressed. Not only that, Big Brother also wants to create his own clothing brand, He Wei Hang added, that's why I said, if he could work part-time at Zero Fox, it would be the best way to learn. Chen Chen suddenly felt a headache. He shouldn't have told everything to this big mouth. 
If dreams are talked about every day, they are no longer dreams, maybe they are just illusions. Many dreams can only be achieved by burying them deep in the heart and working hard for them. Lu Ruyan understood He Weihong's meaning. Market research is essential for creating a clothing brand, and clothing sales is one of the most basic and low threshold professions. After all, clothing sales involve the most exposure to clothes on the market. Although fashion trends vary by season, there are generally patterns to follow. This is particularly evident in major clothing brands. Therefore, a good clothing designer should also start from clothing sales. It can help Chen Chen to develop good judgment and a sense of fashion trends in the clothing industry. If she wants to help her husband achieve his dream, she needs to help him start from scratch, rather than finding a job that has nothing to do with his dream, which would only waste his youth. Thinking of this, Lu Ruyan already knew what she needed to do. Forget it, it's useless to talk about these now. I'll find another job. Chen Chen shook his head, looking a bit lost. The perfect western meal he just had didn't seem so appetizing anymore. Everyone felt a bit awkward, wanting to help but not knowing what to do. He Weihang put his hand on Chen Chen's shoulder and said with a smile, Big brother, don't be discouraged. We are such talented people, we don't have to worry about finding a job anywhere. These days, I'll ask around for you too. Just don't look for anything strange, Chen Chen sneered. He Wei Hang. After leaving the restaurant, He Wei Hang and Xiao Peng carried Yang Qi back to the school dormitory. After a simple farewell, Chen Chen and Lu Ruyan stayed in place. Let's go, I'll take you home first, Chen Chen said to Lu Ruyan. But isn't Chen Chen looking for a job? Lu Ruyan asked. Chen Chen said, yes, but this is my own business after all. It's getting late now, and you're a girl, so you should go home early. I can find it myself. No. Without me, Chen Chen won't find a suitable one, Lu Ruyan said sweetly, then hooked Chen Chen's arm. Let's go. I'll take you somewhere. Ah, uh, where? Oh, you'll see when you get there. Zero Fox Trend? Why did you bring me here? Chen Chen looked at the huge Zero Fox store, then at Lu Ruyan. At this moment, Lu Ruyan smiled and said, I think He Wei Hang is right. Since Chen Chen wants to build his own brand, he should start from the basics and learn from some high-quality clothing companies. It will definitely help Chen Chen establish a design studio in the future. Chen Chen was surprised to hear that Lu Ruyan took He Wei Hang's words to heart. But looking at the people coming and going, and the various clothing stores inside, Chen Chen hesitated. I also thought about selling clothes, but how could a big brand like them want a part-time student like me? Chen Chen frowned, feeling a little embarrassed. It's impossible. Lu Ruyan, however, smiled confidently, if you don't try, how will you know? Isn't that what Chen Chen said? This. Since we're here, let's go in and ask. Okay. Seeing Lu Ruyan's persistence, Chen Chen didn't say much. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan led Chen Chen into the Zero Fox store. As soon as they entered the store, the customers in the store were attracted by Lu Ruyan's looks and figure. After all, there were few girls as good-looking as Lu Ruyan, and some even thought she was a celebrity coming to Zero Fox to buy clothes. Look, that girl is so beautiful. Yeah, I envy her legs. But her boyfriend is so lame, isn't he? Listening to the discussions around him, Chen Chen felt accustomed to it and could only smile helplessly. At this time, the female salesperson came forward, took a look at Lu Ruyan, and her eyes were full of jealousy and disdain. Even her tone was extremely cold, welcome, if you need anything, you can look for it yourself. Hearing this, Lu Ruyan felt uncomfortable. Since when did the Zero Fox store have such a service attitude from its employees? Hello, I actually wanted to ask. Are you hiring clothing salespeople here? Chen Chen blushed, but still asked. Applying? The female salesperson looked disdainfully at Chen Chen. Especially when she saw Chen Chen's shabby clothes, her tone became even more contemptuous. We are hiring, but do you understand fashion? You should know that this is not a store for cheap clothes. Hearing this, Lu Ruyan frowned. This woman actually looked down on people. I have also privately researched because I am a design major student. I usually draw some design sketches and understand some market trends and public aesthetics. Wait a minute. The female salesperson raised her eyebrows, you're still a student? Chen Shen scratched his head, embarrassed, yes. I want to work part-time as a salesperson. If possible, even if the pay is lower, it's okay because I have fewer classes and usually have free time. At this moment, the female salesperson suddenly sneered. Ha! Don't be ridiculous, I thought you were here for a serious job search. This is a big brand clothing store, not some random shop. Part-time work. Get out. Don't disturb our customers from buying clothes, the female salesperson said impatiently, her heavily powdered face showing disdain and a mocking expression on her crimson lips. At that moment, Lu Ruyan suddenly spoke up, is this your attitude? Upon hearing Lu Ruyan's question, the female salesperson laughed, what attitude? 
Who do you think you are to tell me what to do? We don't have time to entertain poor students like you. Let's go, Ruyin. Let's just leave, Chen Shen said, not wanting to cause any more trouble. He hadn't expected much in the first place, and now that the salesperson had been so decisive, there was no need to argue further. No, Lu Ruyin said, looking at the salesperson with a cold gaze. Is this how you treat customers who come into the store? If you don't apologize to us today, then we will wait here for your apology, Chen Shen said, surprised by Lu Ruyin's assertiveness. The nearby customers, hearing the commotion, turned to look. Lu Ruyin frowned, her face showing only coldness. First, Zero Fox is famous not only for its branded clothing design, but also for its high-quality service, which is why it has gained popularity. Second, every person who walks into the store should be considered a potential customer, whether they are here to buy clothes or to apply for a job. Even if someone just comes in to look around, they should not be treated this way. Why shouldn't we be considered customers? Third, not only did you insult us with your words, but you also seriously affected the brand's reputation and tarnished its image. Is this how you represent Zero Fox as a salesperson? Looking down on others. Hearing this, Chen Shen took a deep breath. He had to admit. Lu Ruyin's firm stance was quite impressive. You. The female salesperson was taken aback by Lu Ruyin's words, clearly not expecting a young female student to speak like this, and couldn't help but look at Lu Ruyin again. As more people gathered to watch, Chen Shen began to feel embarrassed. He hadn't expected the situation to escalate like this. Clearly, he and Lu Ruyin had once again become the center of attention. At this moment, Lu Ruyin looked at the salesperson seriously, now, I demand that you apologize to us. Dream on. The salesperson raised her eyebrows and sneered, why should I apologize to you two poor students? Coming here to apply for a job, yet acting like a spoiled princess. If I didn't know any better, I think you were the daughter of our group CEO. Lu Ruyin clenched her fists. What's going on here? At that moment, a middle-aged man in his thirties walked out. He had just come out to see what the commotion was about, but when his eyes fell on Lu Ruyin, his expression changed to one of fear. This, isn't this Miss Hu? With just a glance from Lu Ruyin, she stopped the middle-aged man from continuing. Manager Chen, is this how you manage your employees? Lu Ruyin's tone was icy. The female salesperson and Chen Chen were both surprised. It turned out that Lu Ruyin even knew the manager of this store? At this point, Manager Chen's face was covered in cold sweat as he quickly walked over. I'm very sorry, Miss Lu Ruyin. I don't know what happened to make you so angry. Manager Chen was also confused at this moment, not knowing what had just happened. In addition, Lu Ruyin's questioning was abrupt, leaving him standing in front of her with great humility. Lu Ruyin glanced at Manager Chen, then turned to the female salesperson and said, she just said she wanted to kick me out. Do you think it's appropriate for her to treat a customer like this, Manager Chen? What? Manager Chen's face changed drastically upon hearing this. He then looked at the female salesperson and angrily reprimanded her. Do you want to get the hell out of here? Miss Lu is. She is a diamond VIP of our store. How dare you speak to her like that? The female salesperson's heart skipped a beat, her face turning pale. As a Zero Fox employee, she certainly knew what a diamond VIP meant. It meant that the balance in Lu Ruyin's card could easily buy their store, and anyone who possessed such a card was of high status. But who could have imagined that the young woman in front of them had such a background? Chen Shan also thought so. No wonder Lu Ruyin had such confidence just now, it turned out she was the diamond VIP here. But thinking about it carefully. After all, Lu Ruyin was a wealthy young lady, a big customer wherever she went. The female salesperson hurriedly explained, Manager, I didn't mean to. They came to look for a job just now, and said they only wanted part-time work, so I thought. I thought they were just. Still trying to argue. Manager Chen's face turned red with anger. Even if they came to look for a job, as an employee of Zero Fox, you have no right to drive them away. I see you've grown wings and dared to act recklessly while I wasn't here. Quickly apologize to Miss Lu and this gentleman. If he didn't distance himself from the actions of this female salesperson now, Manager Chen estimated that his position would be in jeopardy. He almost got himself killed by this female employee, daring to offend such a wealthy lady. Even as a small store manager, he didn't dare say a word against this wealthy lady. This female employee was simply crazy. At this moment, the female salesperson no longer had the arrogant demeanor she had just now, quickly lowering her head and apologizing, I'm sorry, Miss Lu. I didn't know you were our store's diamond VIP. It was my fault just now, I said the wrong thing and offended you. You are a big person, please forgive me this time. I promise. I promise I won't do this again next time, please believe me. After speaking, the female salesperson glanced fearfully at Lu Ruyin, but Lu Ruyin raised her chin, her pretty face still cold. 
The customers in the store, seeing this, were full of surprise and began to whisper to each other. No way, she's actually a diamond VIP of Zero Fox. Isn't this the treatment only those female celebrities get? Look at this girl, she's not very old, could she be a new popular artist? Even if she's not a celebrity, this girl's family must be rich and powerful. Look, even the store manager of Zero Fox is bowing and scraping like this. Seeing the sudden change in attitude of the female salesperson, Chen Chen couldn't help but sigh. It's good to have money. If he had such power, he probably wouldn't be looked down upon anymore, right? Seeing Lu Ruyan remain silent for a long time, the female salesperson could only lower her head in fear, not daring to look up, her clenched fists embedding her nails into her flesh, looking anxious and waiting for the big shot to speak. Miss Lu, what do you think? Is this acceptable? Manager Chen smiled and spoke. If this matter couldn't be handled properly, who knows how much trouble he would be in, he could only help resolve the situation. At this moment, Lu Ruyan coldly snorted, what do you think? Upon hearing Lu Ruyan's questioning, manager Chen became even more uneasy. It seemed that this wealthy lady was not planning to resolve it like this. You, starting tomorrow, you don't need to come anymore. Get out of here right now. Manager Chen immediately scolded the female salesperson, we at Zero Fox Fashion do not allow employees like you who look down on others to exist. What? Manager, I, don't make me say it again, get out. Manager Chen's tone was decisive. Chen Chen took a deep breath at the sight. Is it necessary to dismiss someone for such a thing? It seems that the rules and regulations of Zero Fox Fashion are very strict. Woo woo woo. The female salesperson, with red eyes, felt wronged and ran out, crying and covering her face. If one didn't know, they would think she was being bullied. Chen Chen felt somewhat uncomfortable seeing this. However, she also gained a deeper understanding of this clothing company. Service comes first. For today's market, the quality of service is no longer to be ignored. On the other hand, Lu Ruyan remained calm, seemingly unaffected by the situation. Miss Lu, is this to your liking? Manager Chen's angry expression turned into a silly smile. It's okay, Lu Ruyan said lightly. After all, her husband was going to work here. She didn't want her husband, Chen Chen, to work with such people. In addition, she wanted to teach the female salesperson a lesson and set an example for the other employees in the store. She didn't want the surrounding customers to think that the employees of Zero Fox Fashion had such a bad attitude and looked down on others. That's good, that's good. Manager Chen smiled foolishly and said twice, next time, Miss Lu, if you visit again, just give me a heads up in advance, so that the staff under me won't fail to recognize you. Lu Ruyan coldly glanced at Manager Chen, holding her chest. Instead of that, why don't you, Manager Chen, pay more attention when hiring people, and not just hire anyone, which damages the reputation of Zero Fox. Yes, yes. Miss Lu, I understand. I promise, such a thing will not happen again next time. With that, Manager Chen made a bowing gesture. I apologize for not taking good care of you, Miss Lu. Please rest for a while with this gentleman. Hmm, Lu Ruyan responded indifferently. Then she looked at Chen Chen and immediately smiled. Let's go, Chen Chen. Ah, okay. Chen Chen hadn't come to his senses yet. Lu Ruyan's change of attitude was too fast. Where did she learn that? Inside the meeting room, Lu Ruyan and Chen Chen sat on the sofa. While manager Chen poured tea for the two, he asked, Miss Lu, are you here to get some clothes, or? Chen Chen frowned. Gat? I don't need clothes. I'm just here to ask, manager Chen, if you need part-time help. Lu Ruyan spoke slowly. Part-time? Manager Chen looked surprised. You? Yes, it's me. Chen Chen on the sofa smiled awkwardly. Who is this? Don't ask what you shouldn't ask. Just say whether you need it or not. Lu Ruyan said coldly. Hearing this, Manager Chen, who had been in the business for many years, naturally understood the meaning and quickly said, of course we need it, especially since it's a friend of Miss Lu, it's a given. But I want to ask, why not work full-time? Since it's a friend of Miss Lu, naturally, we will pay the highest salary and the benefits will be even better. But if it's part-time, Chen Chen naturally understood the rest of the sentence. At this point, Chen Chen explained, because I am still a student at the South Arts Academy, I can't work full-time, so I'm sorry, I can only do part-time. But rest assured, I will do my best. Chen Chen cherished this hard-earned job. If it weren't for Lu Ruyan, a diamond VIP, he wouldn't have been able to easily get this job. He, he, no problem, manager Chen laughed and said, so, what are your salary requirements? Chen Chen hesitated and replied, actually, I'm already very content to be able to do sales here. Plus, I'm also part-time, so I can't really say how much salary I want. As long as it can guarantee my basic living during my university period, it's fine. So, it's up to you, Manager Chen. Well, 
Manager Chen obviously didn't expect Chen Chen to say that. Looking at Chen Chen's sincere expression, he also felt a bit hesitant. Then, Manager Chen glanced at Lu Ruyan. Seeing the young lady slowly lifting the teacup and taking a sip, she casually nodded. Manager Chen immediately understood, cleared his throat, and said, in that case, young man, for our full-time clothing sales position, the monthly salary is a guaranteed base salary of 4,500. In addition to the base salary, there are commissions, full attendance bonuses, subsidies, and meals and accommodation included. Since you are part-time, we can only pay you based on your working hours. Minus 4 days off per month, working 10 hours a day, even if you're paid 18 yuan per hour. Ahem. Lu Ruyan suddenly coughed. Chen Shen looked at Lu Ruyan, what's wrong, did you burn yourself? No, it's nothing. Lu Ruyan smiled awkwardly, then handed her teacup to Chen Shen, Chen Shen, you must be thirsty, right? I've already cooled the water for you, you can have my water. Thank you, Ruyan. Chen Shen blushed. Just as Chen Shen was about to take the teacup, manager Chen suddenly saw Lu Ruyan glaring at him with a fierce look. Immediately, Lu Ruyan furrowed her brows and moved her lips. Are you trying to die? Only giving this little. Manager Chen immediately broke out in a cold sweat. Then, how much do you suggest? Only seeing Lu Ruyan moving her lips and secretly extending three slender fingers. Seeing this, Manager Chen swallowed hard. Since the daughter of this household had spoken, how could he not comply? After all, just now this young lady personally served tea to this young man. It seemed that their relationship was not so simple. If he didn't give some special treatment, Lu Ruyan probably wouldn't let him off easily. Manager Chen, did you mean 18 yuan per hour for the guaranteed base salary? After drinking the water, Chen Chen placed the teacup on the table. He completely missed that scene just now, and even wondered why Manager Chen was sweating so much on his forehead, even though the air conditioning was on in the reception room. It was really strange. He he. No, I misspoke just now, it should be 30. After speaking, Manager Chen cautiously looked at Lu Ruyan. Lu Ruyan's angry expression had not dissipated, and she even looked like she was resentful. Why couldn't they understand her words? Then she could only extend one finger to remind Manager Chen. And this finger even pointed upwards. 30. 300. Chen Chen and Manager Chen exclaimed in unison, both sounding equally surprised. Ha! Huh? Chen Chen looked at Manager Chen. Manager Chen looked at Chen Chen, ha? Huh? Lu Ruyan suddenly covered her face, this idiot. Chen Chen was a bit puzzled for a moment. Manager Chen had just said 18, then 30, and now 300. What was the actual price? In fact, he was already satisfied with 18 yuan per hour. The usual part-time wage for college students is around 10 to 12 yuan, so 18 was already considered special treatment. If it was 30, then the salary would have doubled. That would be quite a sum of money at the end of the month. That's why Chen Chen was so excited to ask. But now manager Chen suddenly mentioned 300, which left him stunned. It should be just a slip of the tongue by manager Chen. At this moment, Manager Chen looked at Lu Ruyan with a suspicious look. After getting her confirmation, Manager Chen took a deep breath. It really is 300. His hourly wage is higher than that of a manager. Manager Chen, what? What does this mean? I'm a bit slow. I'm not quite clear about what you're saying. Is it really 30? Chen Chen scratched his head with a somewhat forced smile. Manager Chen looked helpless. If I said 300 per hour, would you believe it? This. How is that possible? Chen Chen's eyes widened. Manager Chen's heart was twitching. Yeah, I also feel it's impossible. Although you don't believe it, it's indeed true. Manager Chen tried to maintain a smile. Chen Chen felt flattered and awkwardly said, Manager Chen, please don't joke with me. Even if it's just 18 an hour, I would still think it's great. How could it be 300? Manager Chen forced a smile. Why don't you ask the lady next to you to stop playing with me? Chen Chen, I heard that Zero Fox treats part-time staff with special benefits, because they give up commissions and full attendance subsidies, and convert it into a fixed hourly wage, so the part-time hourly wage will be relatively high. I think Manager Chan means this, right? Lu Ruyan explained. If I didn't say this, I don't think my husband would believe it. Although it's a bit forced, Manager Chan still squeezed out a smile and nodded, yes. Yes, if it's like this, why would he still be a manager? Isn't it great to do part-time work? Of course, Manager Chan dared not show it and could only hold it in. Even if you give up these, it wouldn't be this high, right? Chen Chen still had some doubts. The female salesperson in front said the store doesn't need part-timers, but now there's a part-time benefit. It feels contradictory. And 300 an hour, doesn't that mean working for an afternoon would earn over a thousand? This salary is absolutely high no matter where you put it. Chen Chen felt it was too unrealistic. Don't think too much, Chen Chen. 
Since manager Chen said so, it must be true. Could it be that Chen Chen is afraid of a high salary? Lu Ruyin quickly dispelled Chen Chen's concerns. Chen Chen smiled awkwardly, it's not that, I just feel like I don't deserve it. How could that be? Since you're a friend introduced by Miss Lu, you must be a talented person, definitely deserving of this hourly wage. So, on behalf of our store, I sincerely hope you can join us. Daily pay, whenever you feel like working, as long as you're happy. Manager Chen put on a professional fake smile. Having such a rich lady is really giving me a headache. Lu Ruyin pretended to be excited. Come on, Chen Chen, accept it. You can't miss out on such a good deal. Then, thank you, Manager Chen. Chen Chen suppressed his excitement and spoke. With this job, there will definitely be no problems in the future. He could even improve his standard of living. And if he could successfully get his salary, he had other long-term plans. Of course, he could also send some money back home, after all, the situation at home. His parents would definitely be very happy. This is really amazing. After completing the entry procedures, Chen Chen and Lu Ruyin walked out of the Zero Fox store. How about it, Chen Chen, have you found a new job? Are you feeling much better now? Lu Ruyin smiled slightly. Chen Chen nodded happily, yes. I didn't expect to find a job with such a high salary, and it also gives me the opportunity to learn. I'm already very content. Ruyin met and fell in love with Chen Chen, which was the happiest time for her. As Chen Chen's close companion, how could she not see his true character? However, Chen Chen, who was unaware of all this, looked at her in astonishment. Why did Lu Ruyin always trust him so much? Clearly, they had only been close for a few days. TSK, it looks like you are really infatuated, Lu Ruyin. Xin Lai's face turned dark, since you refuse to face reality, don't blame me for using force. Today, you must leave this guy. If it weren't for this poor loser, how could Lu Ruyin have fallen for someone else? As long as he was removed, everything could return to the beginning. Upon hearing Qin Lai's words, Lu Ruyin became alert. What do you want to do to us? Xin Lai smirked and said slowly, not you, just that guy. You are my fiancé, how could I bear to harm you, right? After all, all the blame was on this guy. Yiling, you go first. At this moment, Chen Chen frowned and looked at Lu Ruyin, he's after me. If I get knocked down, I don't know what he will do to you. Although Chen Chen was also afraid, he couldn't let anything happen to Lu Ruyin. Even if it meant risking everything, even if it meant risking his life. No, I'm not leaving. Lu Ruyin shook her head, her eyes firm, as long as I'm here, he wouldn't dare to do anything to you. Besides, he wouldn't dare to touch me. If he dares to touch me, the Lu group won't let him off. Huh, you two really show true colors in times of trouble. Xin Lai's face revealed a sinister look, gritting his teeth. What exactly attracted her to this guy? Lu Ruyin was protecting this poor guy at all costs. For Qin Lai, this was undoubtedly a disgrace. Instead of choosing him, the young master of the Qin family, he chose a poor loser. He couldn't bear it. He absolutely couldn't bear it. Although you are right about one thing, I indeed wouldn't dare to do anything to you, but that guy. Today, I must teach him a lesson and let him know the consequences of seducing someone else's wife. After speaking, Qin Lai shouted, Go, catch that guy for me. Yes, young master. The burly man stepped forward, exuding a murderous aura. As the burly man cracked his neck, the sound of cracking bones made Chen Chen increasingly nervous. This guy seemed much more difficult to deal with than the previous group of thugs. Although he was just one person, Chen Chen had no confidence in dealing with him. Tonight, you won't be able to escape no matter what. Xin Lai stood tall and proud, looking smug. He is my personal bodyguard specially hired from Southeast Asia. Not only is he skilled in martial arts, but he also kills without blinking an eye. He can easily handle that guy with just one hand. Let's see how you can protect him. If you don't want him to die, I advise you to come back to my side obediently. Perhaps. I can still spare his life. Stop dreaming, Xin Lai. Lu Ruyin stood in front of Chen Chen, her eyes cold, if you want to touch Chen Chen, you have to deal with me first, otherwise I won't let you touch him. At the moment, only she could protect her husband. If Qin Lai succeeded today, this ruthless and spoiled young master would definitely not spare her husband. Chen Chen looked at Lu Ruyin's back, feeling somewhat distracted. Whenever there was danger, it was always Lu Ruyin who stepped forward. He was a man, yet he had to rely on a girl for protection, which was too much of a failure. Although Lu Ruyin was indeed more skilled than him, he didn't want this to continue. Fine, since you refuse to agree, it means you are personally sending him to his death. Xin Lai sneered, just beat that guy to a pulp, no need to show any mercy. Let's see who dares to stop me. Xin Lai's command fell, and the burly man with a crew cut had a fierce look in his eyes as he steadily approached Chen Chen. You bastard. Lu Ruyin gritted her teeth. 
At that moment, Chen Shen's hand rested on her shoulder, and Lu Ruyan looked surprised to see him calm. Since we can't avoid it, I won't back down. I'm not willing to hide behind a girl either, Chen Shen said resolutely. Lu Ruyan was taken aback. Zhang. Chen Shen stepped forward, clenched his fists, and his slender figure moved forward without hesitation. The burly man with the crew cut sneered, I respect you as a man, but it's useless. With that, he smirked and raised his calloused fist. Just as the burly man was about to strike Chen Chen, a wine bottle rolled to his feet, diverting everyone's attention. Where did it come from? The burly man frowned. Could this kid calculate and bring a weapon? Chen Chen was also puzzled. Who could be on this dark alley? At that moment, burping sounds came from behind Chen Chen and Lu Ruyan. Everyone turned to see two unsteady figures approaching. Soon, a noisy conversation ensued. Boss, when is that woman going to give us the money? I'll find her tonight. I was in a hurry and forgot to get her contact information. Now we can't find her, but can we let someone take advantage of us? Yes, boss is right. Damn. The more I think about it, the angrier I get. If I run into that woman now, I'll. Huang Mao, who was drunk, ranted and stumbled in front of Lu Ruyan. Then, he squinted at her. As her face became clearer, his flushed face turned pale. You. You. The fat man beside him was still clueless. Boss, are you going to attack me? Is that not good? Idiot. Huang Mao punched the fat man on the head. Take a good look at who's in front of you. The fat man looked at Lu Ruyan, burped, and said, this woman looks just like that. Bitch. Lu Ruyan's pretty face turned icy. Chen Shen's eye twitched as he saw the situation. Oh no, these two are here too. It's like being caught between a rock and a hard place. What are these two? Xin Lai's face darkened as he witnessed the scene. Where did these two drunk troublemakers come from, daring to disrupt his plans? His burly men also furrowed their brows in confusion. Lady, don't be angry. He's drunk. Huang Mao hastily covered the fat man's mouth and said, What a coincidence to see you here with so many people. Are you filming a movie? Huang Mao forced a smile. Did she hear what he said earlier? Damn. He didn't want Lu Ruyan to beat him up again. Who did you say you wanted to attack? Lu Ruyan's cold gaze fell on Huang Mao. Huang Mao swallowed hard, sweat beating on his face, and pointed at the fat man. The fat man shook his head vigorously. Chen Chen felt something was off. Why are these two suddenly so afraid of Lu Ruyan? Could it be that they were scared by her in the previous encounter? Are you done chatting in front of me? Do you think I, Xin Lai, don't exist? Xin Lai suddenly shouted in anger. Even though he didn't know the relationship between these two and Lu Ruyan, even if two helpers came, his men could handle them. The fat guy trembled and held onto Huang Mao's arm tightly. Huang Mao also felt uneasy seeing this situation. It seemed that the female knight and her companions had encountered some bad people. Although Huang Mao still wanted to ask Lu Ruyan for money, their current situation was more urgent. Huang Mao swallowed hard and awkwardly smiled at Lu Ruyan. Um, female knight, I just remembered that we have something else to do, so we won't disturb you. Wait. At this moment, Lu Ruyan's voice suddenly sounded. Huang Mao and the fat guy, who were about to leave, stiffened. Female. Female knight, do you have any other orders? Hearing Lu Ruyan calling him, Huang Mao turned his head fearfully and smiled awkwardly. Chen Chen was puzzled. Why did Lu Ruyan stop them? Wouldn't it be better to have two fewer enemies at this time? However, Lu Ruyan suddenly walked up to Huang Mao. Xi Lai, seeing this, slightly tilted his head and squinted. What was Lu Ruyan planning? Did she want to take advantage of the situation and escape? Female knight, what I said earlier was not. Huang Mao raised his arm to shield himself, afraid that Lu Ruyan would hit him again. However, Lu Ruyan just raised a faint smile and said softly, You want to ask me for money, right? There's still an opportunity for you to make money now. If you help me, I will double the amount I owe you. How about it? Lu Ruyan's voice was very low, only she, Huang Mao, and the fat guy could hear it. What? Huang Mao looked at Lu Ruyan in astonishment, then glanced at Qin Lai and the burly man in the distance. What a great opportunity. If it's doubled, that would be a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand, how much work would it take to earn that? Lu Ruyan was thinking about how to solve the current problem. She didn't expect Huang Mao and the fat guy to appear at this time. It was a good opportunity to use these two clever people to deal with Qin Lai and his men. At worst, she and Chen Chen could create an opportunity to escape. That's why Lu Ruyan made this deal with Huang Mao. Wait, how can I trust you? Huang Mao had become shrewd this time. Without clarifying things, he wouldn't be used as a pawn for nothing. If you help me solve this problem, do you think I would run away in front of you? Lu Ruyan snorted coldly, and if something happens to me, you won't get that money from before. You. This girl was actually threatening him. 
But Huang Mao thought about it and realized it made sense. If something really happened to this girl, the 50,000 would be lost, not to mention the opportunity to double it now. Besides, there were only two of them, and they could each handle one person, so it seemed feasible. With this in mind, Huang Mao's heart began to stir. All right, then I'll help you again. Huang Mao shouted loudly, bolstering his courage, Ergo, come with me. In the next moment, Huang Mao let Air go forward and approached the burly man. What did you tell them? Chen Chen looked at Lu Ruyan in confusion. Seeing the two ruffians' posture, it seemed like they were going to stand up for them. Lu Ruyan just smiled faintly. I just made a deal. A deal? Chen Chen was even more puzzled. Xin Lai looked at the two low-class ruffians and sneered, It seems that you found two ruffians to help you. You, the noble daughter of the Lu family, have fallen to this level? Ruffians? Huang Mao sneered and took out a baton from his pocket. Who are you calling a ruffian? I am a man who will dominate the city of Nanhai. How dare you say that to me? You two big men bullying a young couple, and being seen by me and my men, can only be considered unlucky for you. Today, my brother Mao will rid the people of harm and let you taste the power of the Nanhai duo. Xin Lai's face showed a hint of caution at these words. Did these two guys have some extraordinary abilities? Boss, bite him. Yellow hair gave the order, and Ergo immediately started barking and charged towards the burly man. Chen Chen watched the scene, his eyes wide open. What a fierce look. He saw Ergo open his mouth, with two rows of yellow teeth that could rival biochemical weapons. Just as he was about to bite the burly man, the burly man threw a punch directly at Ergo's face. Bang! Ergo stiffened on the spot, and his last remaining front tooth fell to the ground. After a moment, blood started flowing from Ergo's nostrils. Be boss, he's so fierce. The burly man snorted coldly and then delivered a whip kick directly to Ergo's waist. Thud! The 120-plus pound Ergo was kicked to the side by the burly man and collapsed like a noodle against the dark wall. Ergo! Ergo, don't sleep! It's not time yet! Yellow hair shook Ergo's body in panic, then trembled and looked fiercely at the burly man. Bastard! How dare you kill Ergo, he's my brother! The next moment, Yellow hair looked at Lu Ruyan. You need to pay more! Lu Ruyan! Chen Chen! Is he... really dead? Chen Chen furrowed his brow. If someone really died, it wouldn't be a small matter. So noisy, what's the big deal about one person dying, crying and wailing? There will be two more deaths later. Xin Lai snorted coldly. In his eyes, this was nothing. He could just have his old man pay some money to settle it. Yellow hair stood up, his chest heaving. Then he raised his sharp eyes and looked at Xin Lai. How can someone like you from a wealthy family treat people like people? I want you to pay for what you've done. With that, Yellow hair raised his baton and charged at Xin Lai. But before he could reach Chin Lai, the burly man grabbed Yellow Hair by the neck and stopped him. Yellow Hair's face turned red as he struggled against the burly man's strong arm. He's choking me, he's choking me. No, I have to go help him. Chen Chen clenched his fists, ready to step forward, but was held back by Lu Ruyan. She could see that the thugs Chin Lai had brought this time were not easy to deal with. Even though there was only one of them, they didn't take them lightly at all. Chen Chen, you can't go, I can't let you take this risk. She had just confessed to her future husband. Their happy and beautiful life hadn't even started yet. Even if Chin Lai didn't kill him, what if something bad happened to her future husband? What would happen to her happy married life in the future? This alley was particularly secluded, originally a good place for couples to meet, but now it was a dangerous place. There were no surveillance cameras, so if Chin Lai really wanted to do something, there probably wouldn't be any evidence. Lu Ruyan was at a loss. I, Chen Chen clenched his fists. Although Yellow Hair wasn't a good person, he was standing up for them at the moment, and he couldn't just stand by and watch. Seeing this, Chin Shen's blood boiled, and he couldn't bear it any longer. He looked at a fist-sized rock on the ground. It doesn't hurt. I'm not hurt. On the other side, Yellow Hair shouted, gritting his teeth. Just as the burly man was about to grab Yellow Hair, a dark shadow suddenly struck his eye. Bang! A rock hit the burly man in the face. Chen Chen. Lu Ruyan didn't expect Chen Chen to do that. Even Chen Lai, who was watching from the side, was startled, then looked at Chen Chen. At this moment, Chen Chen gritted his teeth, panting heavily, as if he had gathered the courage to do so. The strong man was hit by a stone, blood streaming from the corner of his eye, and he staggered back two steps. Damn it! The strong man took a deep breath and touched his eye. Hissing, the next moment, the strong man looked fiercely at Chen Chen. You little brat, you're asking for death. At this point, the strong man had been completely provoked by Chen Chen. He wiped the blood from his forehead and then stepped forward towards Chen Chen. Chen Chen swallowed nervously, clenched his fists, and prepared for a desperate fight. 
Lu Ruyan was also ready. If this man dared to touch her husband, she would not let him off. Stop right there. However, at that moment, Huang Mao suddenly struggled to stand up from the ground. The strong man looked surprised to see Huang Mao panting in front of him. He hadn't expected that, even in this state, Huang Mao could still stand up. You're like a cockroach, can't be killed even after being beaten so much. Qin Lai raised his eyebrows, his tone contemptuous. It had to be said that Huang Mao was really tough. Unfortunately, it didn't matter. Chen Shen was also surprised, but if they continued to fight like this, Huang Mao would definitely be in trouble. Unexpectedly, this thug was quite loyal. Even in this situation, he still adhered to his own thug's code of conduct. This was enough to make many people feel ashamed. At this moment, Chen Shen said to Lu Ruyan, Yiling, we need to call the police. There has already been a casualty here, and if we don't report it, who knows what else might happen. Okay, I understand, Lu Ruyan nodded. The next moment, Lu Ruyan took out her phone. Just as she was about to dial three numbers, she suddenly paused. Then she deleted the numbers and dialed another one. Little Huang Mao, is it worth risking your and your brother's lives to save them? Xin Lai sneered, although I don't know why you're helping them, you won't gain anything in the end. All that awaits you is death. Upon hearing this, Huang Mao, breathing heavily, laughed. Xin Lai saw this and the smile on his face gradually disappeared. What was this guy still pretending for? Huang Mao forced a smile, originally, I just wanted to defeat you as an ordinary person, but all I got was your disdain. Now I'm coming clean, no more pretending. I am the 18th generation sole disciple of the Southern Sea Meiwa Praying Mantis Fist. With that, Huang Mao made a standard Praying Mantis Fist posture with his hands, looking quite convincing. Chen Chen couldn't help but gasp. So Huang Mao was this powerful? Had he been hiding his strength all along? However, Lu Ruyan wore an indescribable expression on her face. Was this guy for real or not? Meiwa Praying Mantis Fist? Ha, huh, why have I never heard of this sect? Xin Lai seemed to be half-believing, half-doubting, with a playful smile on his face. You, a little thug, want to play tricks? I'm afraid you're just bluffing, aren't you? At this moment, Huang Mao was focused, slowly changing the movements in his hands. Try it and you'll know if it's real. All right, then I'll kill you first, and then I'll deal with that kid. The strong man sneered, turning the gun towards Huang Mao. Seeing this, Huang Mao's eyes quietly moved downward. Just as the strong man approached, Huang Mao suddenly pointed behind him, Ergo, why are you alive again? The strong man was startled at the words. He turned around to look, but found nothing. Hey, are you stupid or what? Xin Lai stared wide-eyed. The strong man only then realized, but as he turned his head, a dark figure smashed into his face. With a muffled sound, Huang Mao picked up a baton from the ground and struck the strong man's head. No matter how tough a person was, they couldn't withstand such a blow. The burly man suddenly stiffened, blood flowing from his forehead. His eyes rolled back, and he collapsed to the ground. Shi Lai, taken aback, stepped back. This. He couldn't believe that the formidable bodyguard had been taken down so easily. Wow, this guy still has some tricks up his sleeve. Chen Chen couldn't help but admire. He hadn't expected Huang Mao to employ such a diversionary tactic. He had thought Huang Mao would use Mantis Fist against the bodyguard. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan breathed a sigh of relief. As long as they could take down the most troublesome bodyguard, everything would be fine. At present, the only person standing in front of them was Qin Lai. You bastard, it's your turn now. Huang Mao threw away his baton and glared fiercely at Qin Lai. Seeing this, Qin Lai's heart skipped a beat, and his legs trembled violently. Damn, he hadn't expected the situation to change so suddenly. It had been foolproof, like handling a few chickens. This waste. Weren't you arrogant just now? Why so timid now? Huang Mao spat on the ground, a fierce look on his face. I'll show you what Mantis Fist is all about. What do you want? Qin Lai pointed at Huang Mao, retreating in fear. I am the young master of the Qin family, do you know who my father is? If you dare touch me, he will dig you out even if it takes digging three feet underground to bury you. I advise you to leave now, otherwise. Otherwise. I'll show you otherwise. Huang Mao shouted, and his arms, like mantis blades, struck at Qin Lai. Qin Lai screamed as he raised his hands to defend himself. If anyone else saw the sorry state of the young master of the Qin family, they would probably find it hard to believe. So you're the young master of the Qin family. Huang Mao punched Qin Lai in the face. You want to bury me, don't you? Another punch hit Qin Lai in the abdomen. I'll show you who your daddy is. Huang Mao smashed another punch into Qin Lai's chin, followed by a move resembling a monkey stealing a peach, aimed directly at Qin Lai's groin. Huang Mao's face twisted in a grimace as he fiercely clenched his fingers. I'll make you taste the pain I suffered last time. Ah! Qin Lai's neck arched back, his eyes bulging in despair. 
At that moment, he seemed to hear the sound of a chick breaking out of its shell. My manhood. Chen Chen watched the brutal scene, swallowing hard. Does Mantis Fist include a move called Monkey Stealing a Peach? I don't know, but he's in a bad way. Watching Qin Lai kneeling on the ground, clutching his groin in pain, his throat tightened, you bastard. Feels good. Huang Mao suddenly felt pleased, the move from the female warrior was effective. At that moment, Chen Chen and Lu Ruyan approached. Huang Mao looked at Lu Ruyan and said, How about it, female warrior, did we live up to your expectations? Not bad, Lu Ruyan smirked. I won't. Let you. Off. Qin Lai's face contorted in pain, gritting his teeth. Hearing this, Huang Mao became angry again and rolled up his sleeves to beat Qin Lai again, but Lu Ruyan stopped him with one hand. Let it go, it's enough. We only wanted to make them back off. There's no need to continue. Although she also wanted to beat up Qin Lai, she knew that he was the only son of the Qin family and a well-known figure in the business world. Such a person could only be taught a lesson at most. To avoid the wrath of the Qin family, it was better to stop here. If it weren't for the female warrior sparing your life, you would be dead. Huang Mao snorted. At this moment, Lu Ruyan coldly said to Qin Lai, Young Master Qin, I advise you to take care of yourself and go back to your Qin family to be a second generation rich. At this point, you should understand that I can't be with you. In the future, don't come and disturb my life. Do you understand? In the end, Lu Ruyan's words were decisive. But to Qin Lai, it sounded like she was mocking him. Just you wait, Lu Ruyan. Qin Lai struggled to stand up, leaning on the car, this isn't over between us. And the two of you, just wait. Just wait. With that, Qin Lai quickly opened the car door. Chen Chen couldn't help but frown at his words. Offending such a big shot, it wouldn't be easy in the future. This was really giving him a headache. Watching Qin Lai get into the car and speed away, even leaving his own bodyguard behind, Huang Mao couldn't help but sneer, this guy talks tough, but he runs just as fast. Coward. At that moment, Shen Shen suddenly remembered something and his face paled. The next moment, Shen Shen rushed to the side of Ergo, who was lying on the ground, and anxiously said, Quick, call an ambulance. Don't worry, Shen Shen, he's fine, Lu Ruyan suddenly spoke up. Ha! Huh? Shen Shen was stunned. Lu Ruyan raised her chin and said, See, he's still breathing. Hearing this, Shen Shen immediately turned to look and found Ergo's chest still rising and falling. Upon closer listening, he even heard the sound of snoring. This made Chen Chen's eye twitch. Wasn't he knocked out? How could he be sleeping so soundly? You scared me, I thought he was really dead. Chen Chen breathed a sigh of relief. It turns out they had known all along that Ergo wasn't dead. As long as no lives were lost, that was good. Huang Mao smirked, you don't know, Ergo is tough. Although that bodyguard is pretty strong, he still lost to us, the Southern Sea duo, easily. Chen Chen awkwardly smiled. He didn't know who had been pinned down just now. By the way, why hasn't he woken up yet? Chen Chen shook Ergo, but he was sleeping so deeply that his nose was bleeding and he was still sleeping so soundly, it was really strange. Hey, move aside, let me do it. The next moment, Huang Mao came to Ergo's side and shouted loudly in his ear, the sky is high and the emperor is far. The little chicken stew with mushrooms. Ergo suddenly widened his eyes and sat up from the ground, boss, is it time for dinner? Chen Chen and Lu Ruyan were both startled. What kind of code was this? What are you doing? Huang Mao slapped Ergo on the head. All you do is eat and sleep all day. You're still not getting up after the fight. Ergo scratched his head and grumbled. I thought it was time for dinner. At this point, Huang Mao looked at Lu Ruyan and smirked. By the way, miss, our deal. Should we settle it? That was the 10,000 yuan he had risked his life for. He had to get it. Otherwise, this trip would have been in vain. What deal? Chen Chen asked in confusion. Lu Ruyan looked into the distance. Wait, it's probably coming soon. Ha! Huh? What's coming? Huang Mao didn't understand what Lu Ruyan meant. Was she trying to avoid paying? However, at that moment, several lights were shining in the distance, as if a car was approaching, and not just one. Seeing this, Chen Chen frowned. Could it be that Qin Lai has come back? What? Did this kid bring people with him again? Huang Mao was suddenly shocked. If that was the case, they had to run. His little trick couldn't be used a second time. Don't worry, Chen Chen. These are the people I called. At this moment, Lu Ruyan suddenly spoke up. Chen Chen and Huang Mao looked at her in surprise. Several cars approaching from the distance filled the quiet road, and four or five black Mercedes-Benz cars emerged from the darkness, bringing with them a cloud of dust and stopping in front of them. Chen Chen and Huang Mao were stunned by the sight. This was really called by Lu Ruyan? Several black Mercedes stopped, and the doors opened one after another. 
Several tall bodyguards in suits and leather shoes got out and respectfully said to Lu Ruyan, Miss, the personnel have arrived. Immediately after, a white-haired old man in a suit and vest, wearing gold-rimmed glasses, got out of the leading Mercedes. He looked older, but still stood tall and straight, showing no signs of aging. Miss, are you okay? The old man in the suit asked as he approached. His gaze also fell on Chun Chen, Huang Mao, and Ergo, even taking in the unconscious bodyguard on the ground. What just happened? Miss, were these three guys holding you hostage? The old man in the suit suddenly became alert. Quickly, a group of bodyguards surrounded Chen Chen and the others. What? Chen Chen and Huang Mao exclaimed in unison. At this moment, Lu Ruyan explained, you've misunderstood, Uncle Li. They are all my friends. The one who threatened me just now was that guy Qin Lai, but he has already run away, leaving only one bodyguard here. The butler, Uncle Li, looked at the man on the ground. It was that young master Qin? Uncle Li finally understood the reason for the situation and immediately reached out to Chen Chen, saying, I'm very sorry for the misunderstanding. Since they are Mrs. Friends, they are also my friends. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am the steward who has been watching Miss grow up, Li Wan. Steward? Chen Chen was taken aback by this revelation. He hadn't expected that Lu Ruyan had a steward by her side. Not only that, she could also call so many bodyguards at any time. The daughter of the Lu family was indeed different. Huang Mao, seeing this, had a gleam in his eyes. Oh my! So many Mercedes, this little girl is really rich. Fortunately, he had agreed to this job, otherwise, he wouldn't have known the background of this female knight. Finally, he had met a benefactor. Ahem! No need to be polite. Protecting Miss Lu is my duty. Huang Ma shook Uncle Li's hand and said firmly, although I only used two fingers to drive those guys away, it was just a small effort. I am used to righting wrongs wherever I go. Since that's the case, then I won't give you the 10,000 yuan. Huang Mao, 10,000 yuan? Chen Chen was surprised to hear this. So that's what Lu Ruyan had whispered to Huang Mao just now? But isn't 10,000 yuan too much for a reward? She really is the daughter of a wealthy family. Lu Ruyan snorted and then said, Uncle Li, write him a check for 10,000 yuan. After all, she owed Huang Mao and Ergo a favor, and naturally, their reward should not be less. Yes, miss. Uncle Li nodded. Huang Mao grinned and rubbed his hands in thanks, thank you, Miss Lu. I mean, thank you, Miss Lu. After receiving the 10,000 yuan check, Huang Mao's eyes almost popped out. He had never seen so much money in his life. It was all in this piece of paper. From now on, when he ate instant noodles, he would have to add two slices of ham. At this moment, Huang Mao quickly took out an old business card and handed it to Lu Ruyan. Miss Lu, if there are any more jobs like this in the future, please be sure to let me know. Even if it means going through fire and water for Miss Lu, ergo will not hesitate. Ergo, huh? Alright, it's none of your business. Let's go. Although Lu Ruyan said this, she still accepted the business card. Chen Chen couldn't help but smile helplessly. Nowadays, even hooligans are starting to print business cards. Is this a gang fight? Alright, Miss Lu. After saying that, Wang Mao took the check and left with Ergo. Chen Chen looked at the bodyguard on the ground and asked, What should we do with this guy? Just let him stay here. He can't die anyway, Lu Ruyan said, still feeling angry about what had just happened. Then she looked at Chen Chen and asked, Chen Chen, were you scared by what just happened? Chen Chen scratched his head and smiled, I'm fine, as long as you're okay. Silly, with you protecting me, how could anything happen to me? Lu Ruyan held Chen Chen's hand, her beautiful eyes sparkling. If they hadn't run into Huang Mao and his gang just now, her husband would have been in trouble. It was truly fortunate. Uncle Li looked at his young mistress, who seemed nervous, and couldn't help but be surprised. In all the years he had known her, this was the first time he had seen her so nervous about a man. It was truly a miracle. Could it be that she was in love? At this moment, the butler, Uncle Li, looked at the young man named Chen Chen. From his appearance, there was nothing particularly special about him, and his attire was quite ordinary. Obviously, he was not from a wealthy or high-ranking family, yet the young mistress was so worried about him. From their intimate actions, it was clear that they were more than just ordinary friends. It seemed necessary to get to know this young man better in the future, to prevent the young mistress from being blinded by unscrupulous people. Chen Shen saw the butler, Uncle Li, staring at him and sizing him up, and although he smiled awkwardly, he felt a bit uneasy. Could it be that this old man still saw him as a suspicious character? That look was truly terrifying. Oh, by the way, Yiling, what's the relationship between you and that guy named Xin Lai? Suddenly remembering this question, Chen Chen was very curious. After all, Xin Lai had said that he was the legitimate fiancé of Lu Ruyan. When he heard this, Chen Chen was not only surprised, 
but also inexplicably disheartened. Although he couldn't explain why, he felt a bit off. The intimate time they had spent together during this period had already stirred up Chen Chen's originally calm heart, especially after winning that difficult basketball game together. I. Upon hearing Chen Chen's question, Lu Ruyan furrowed her brows, it's actually not like what he said, but this matter is a long story, and it needs to be explained from two years ago. Two years ago, the Lu group encountered the biggest crisis in its history. Due to the expansion of the Lu Group over the past decade, the depletion of assets through risky acquisitions of major well-known brands in the clothing industry had led to rapid short-term development, but also attracted opposition from rival companies and even joint resistance. The Lu Group, which was not yet stable, was suppressed by various forces and could hardly catch its breath. Various problems such as design plagiarism, quality rumors, resistance to listing, and headhunting occurred frequently. This also led to the withdrawal of many partners, and even shareholders withdrew their investments for various reasons, leaving the Lu Group as an empty shell, despite holding numerous brands, which were of no use. The funds used for the acquisitions could not be recovered, and a large amount of external debt was incurred. At the most critical moment of this crisis, the Qin family intervened. Qin Lai's father forcefully invested 5 billion yuan to acquire a stake in the Lu Group. With this capital, the Lu Group was able to reoperate and, relying on its many brands, turn the tables. In this way, the scale of the Lu Group not only surpassed its previous level, but also surpassed all domestic clothing companies, becoming a leading clothing enterprise. However, the Qin family's investment also brought hidden dangers. This time, the Qin family not only made countless profits from the investment, but also took advantage of the situation, taking away most of the shares of the Lu Group, and step by step, swallowing and coaxing other shareholders. Now, they had the capital to challenge the Lu Group and had become the second largest shareholder of the Lu Group. If it hadn't been for Lu Ruyan's father, the chairman of the Lu Group, who hastily rallied several old school figures, the vast Lu Group would probably have been swallowed up by the Qin family. Furthermore, the old master of the Qin family also threatened to betroth Lu Ruyan to his only son. That is, Qin Lai. His attitude was so firm that there was almost no room for maneuver. But who was Qin Lai? He was the notorious second-generation rich kid of Nanhai City. Father Lu would never agree to marry his daughter to such a person. This is just the second step in the Qin family's plan to swallow up the Lu family. On the surface, it's a marriage alliance, but in reality, it's to further participate in the company's management and transform the Lu group into a family-style enterprise. Father Lu understands this, but he is reluctant to refuse due to the shares in the hands of the Qin family's old master, so he can only delay the marriage. If he doesn't do this and firmly reject the alliance, the consequences would be unimaginable. If you don't agree, what will the Qin family do? Chen Shen couldn't help but frown and ask when he heard this. It seems that the fiancé Qin Lai mentioned is just his wishful thinking. But hearing this from Lu Ruyan's mouth is really hard to accept. I didn't expect the Qin family's ambition to be so great, engaging in such opportunistic activities. If Miss doesn't agree, the Qin family will transfer the shares to someone else, Uncle Li explained for Lu Ruyan at this time, and Lu Ruyan could only nod with a dim look in her eyes. Yes, that's true, Chen Shen showed an expression of incomprehension after hearing this, I don't quite understand. If the shares are transferred to someone else, doesn't that mean the Qin family will leave the Lu group? That should be a good thing, right? He knows a little about shares. Transferring shares does not immediately cause a financial crisis for the company. So even if the Qin family transfers the shares, it shouldn't matter, right? Chen Shen, you don't understand this. In the entire Nanhai city, except for the Qin family, no one dared to cooperate with our Lu group. They all wanted our family to fall, let alone invest in it. Even this only Qin family came for the purpose of swallowing our Lu group. If the Qin family dares to threaten us like this, they must have found a transferee. The second person who was qualified to take control of the shares, will they let us go? Not to mention that besides the Qin family, there are other shareholders within the company who also want to take over the shares. This is destined to be a difficult problem to solve. Lu Ruyan said this, and her originally beautiful face was filled with worry. Having been influenced by business since childhood, she knows that the current Lu group, while appearing prosperous, is actually facing internal and external troubles. For Nanhai City, the Lu group is like a piece of fat on a chopping board, everyone wants a piece of it. Those without the ability can only rely on private suppression and exclusion, and those with the ability will not be kinder than the Qin family. These problems are just the tip of the iceberg, and the Qin family is already a leech on the Lu group. In short, it's difficult to make the Qin family leave the Lu group, but once the Qin family transfers the shares, it will also cause a major reshuffle in the Lu group. If there is another upheaval, who knows what will happen? If it weren't for the safety of her own group, 
Lu Ruyan would have torn her face with Qin Lai long ago, and there would be no need to avoid him like this. It was the same in the previous life, and now she has to face it again. Lu Ruyan is already very annoyed. In this life, she must find a way to solve this crisis in advance. Otherwise, Qin Lai will be the biggest obstacle to her being with her husband. Why is it so complicated? Chen Chen clenched his fists, and at this moment, he already understood what the Lu family was facing. I didn't expect that Lu Ruyan would also bear the fate of the family. It's really despicable for Qin Lai to use this method to threaten Lu Ruyan to marry him. Is there really no way to solve it? Chen Chen asked again. Lu Ruyan frowned and thought for a moment, then nodded. There is, but it will be very difficult. What method? Chen Chen asked eagerly. Lu Ruyan frowned and said slowly, it's to make the Qin family voluntarily transfer the shares to my father, that is, to take back the shares. But now it seems that this method may not work. The Lu group has developed to the point where its capital is strong enough to easily repurchase the shares of the Qin family. However, the problem is, how will the Qin family willingly transfer the shares to them? After all, the Qin family is aiming to merge their company. If they cannot merge with the Lu group, it's obvious that the Qin family will not let them off easily. Chen Chen gritted his teeth, will they voluntarily transfer the shares to the Lu group? This, although Chen Chen didn't understand the specific operations, he could roughly understand that the Qin family wouldn't do so. Let's not think about it for now, Chen Chen. Solving this matter is still too distant and unrealistic for us at the moment. This kind of multi-billion dollar business game is not something we can handle, and I don't want you to worry about it. Anyway, there will be a solution in the future. Although Lu Ruyan comforted him in this way, in reality, she wasn't sure if there was a good solution. They could only take it step by step. Yiling. Chen Chen looked at Lu Ruyan's desolate pretty face, feeling somewhat reluctant. Lu Ruyan had stood up for him many times, but she couldn't help him when she encountered difficulties. In this kind of situation, as a poor student, he had no way to help, and this feeling of powerlessness was too unbearable. If possible, he would definitely find a way to help Lu Ruyan solve this problem. It seems that Qin Lai won't give up easily. What if he comes after you again, what should we do? I'm not afraid of him, after all, he wouldn't dare do anything to me, at least not until he merges with the Lu group. Lu Ruyan sighed. On the contrary, she was more worried about her husband, Chen Chen. In terms of financial strength, the Qin family was undoubtedly not inferior to their Lu group, and dealing with Chen Chen would be easy. Moreover, they had already done something to Qin Lai tonight which was much earlier than in the previous life when she and Qin Lai had fallen out. Lu Ruyan was worried that Qin Lai would directly cause trouble for Chen Chen. Chen Chen, for your safety, let's go home together in the future. Lu Ruyan suddenly said. Chen Chen and Uncle Li were both shocked. W-H. What? Isn't that inappropriate? Chen Chen scratched his head, glancing at Uncle Li. Saying such things in front of so many people from the Lu family would inevitably lead to misunderstandings. Uncle Lee also spoke at this time, Miss, if you are worried about this young man's safety, just instruct me, there's no need for you to accompany him personally. In case something really happens. Are you saying that Chen Chen can have an accident, but I can't? Lu Ruyan said impatiently, he is very important to me, and I can't let anything happen to him, so it's settled. Very, very important person. Chen Chen and Uncle Lee were shocked once again. Uncle Lee looked at Chen Chen even more seriously. What kind of magic had this kid used to make Miss say such things? After all, she had always been proud, and in the past, she hadn't even looked down on her father, how could she? Yiling, I think Uncle Lee is right. After all, our statuses are different. If you accompany me, it will only make it easier for you to attract trouble. I, I'll go back by myself. Chen Chen's expression was indescribable. Lu Ruyan's words moved him deeply, but as a small character like himself, how could he be worthy of being called an important person by Lu Ruyan? The more Lu Ruyan acted like this, the more pressure Chen Chen felt. After all, Lu Ruyan was the heiress of the Lu group, and if something really happened, he couldn't afford to delay. He was used to going home alone, there was no need for Lu Ruyan to accompany him every time. Lu Ruyan's face was already unable to hold back at this moment, and on her stubborn pretty face, her eyes were already misty. But, what if Chi Lai comes after you again? Originally, Lu Ruyan had thought of a reason to stick to her husband all the time. Unexpectedly, she was rejected by her husband. Then I will find a way to escape. It's no big deal to be a coward. I don't need to be a hero every time. Chen Shen showed a hesitant smile. Besides, it's better for one person to escape than two. With you by my side, I have to worry about your safety, don't I? Although he didn't want to say it, he couldn't rely on Lu Ruyan anymore. During the days spent with Lu Ruyan, he was happier than ever before but it also made him see more clearly the gap between them. 
If they continued to be in such close contact, he was afraid he would gradually lose sight of his own identity. This sudden sweetness, although extremely nostalgic, was like cotton candy, sweet but fleeting. He, Chen Chen, just a child from an ordinary family. How could he hope to win the favor of a heavenly beauty? All right, I understand. Lu Ruyan forced a smile and then said, but, even if we don't need it later, can we tonight? Let Uncle Li take you back. Chen Chen looked at the luxurious Mercedes-Benz cars. Hmm, okay. The next morning, as soon as Chen Chen entered the classroom, he was once again surrounded by gazes. However, this time the gazes were different from before. Chen Chen felt a little strange, but still found a seat and then heard people nearby discussing. Look, it's Chen Chen, he's famous now. Yeah, he's holding the school flower and stepping on the sports department. Now everyone knows him. I used to think this kid was just ordinary, didn't expect him to be so amazing. Ah, I envy him. Hearing these discussions, Chen Chen shook his head helplessly. It seemed that the whole school knew about the basketball game from before. For a while, he became a celebrity at the school, and Chen Chen really wasn't used to it. He felt like he was being talked about everywhere, becoming the center of attention. Especially, the ambiguous relationship with Lu Ruyan. Hey, bro, what do you think of this job? At this moment, He Wei Hang suddenly walked over, holding a piece of paper and reading, highly paid surrogate. Chen Wan, 30 years old, charming and plump, husband is. Before He Wei Hang could finish, Chen Chen snatched the paper from him. What are you messing around with here? Didn't I tell you not to find weird things for me? Chen Chen blushed, damn it, even surrogacy. He Wei Hang sighed and said, I didn't even dare to consider it for myself, just wanted to leave it to you. Chen Chen, ha ha. How did the job search go last night? Yang Chi asked from behind Chen Chen, with Xiao Pang next to him, Yeah, didn't you go job hunting yesterday? Was it successful? Chen Chen laughed, it went smoothly, I've already started part-time sales at Zero Fox. Zero Fox. He Wei Hang and the others exclaimed in unison, surprised. Yeah. Chen Chen smiled awkwardly. He Wei Hang looked at Chen Chen in surprise and said, Wow, big bro, they actually let you in? I thought Zero Fox wouldn't hire part-time employees, it's a miracle. Chen Chen didn't know how to explain for a moment. After all, it was all because of Lu Ruyan, the diamond VIP of the Zero Fox store, that he was able to smoothly get this part-time job. But Chen Chen decided to just brush them off. Xiao Pang then asked, what about the salary and benefits? It must be good, right? How is the salary calculated? It's calculated by the hour, 300 per hour. 300. He Wei Hang and the others gasped. This wasn't just finding a job. This was finding a gold mine. Hearing Chen Chen's words, He Wei Hang reached out and touched Chen Chen's forehead. What are you doing? Chen Chen raised his eyebrows. He Wei Hang shook his head solemnly and said, Big bro, your illness seems quite serious. You've started talking nonsense. Could it be that the people from Zero Fox store have given you a big blow? Did you really join Zero Fox? Get lost. Chen Chen said irritably, I didn't lie to you. Although I didn't believe it at first, the original words were indeed like that. I can't deceive the three of you, can I? 300 yuan. Oh my, where can I find such a high-paying part-time job? He Wei Hang widened his eyes. He wanted to believe Chen Chen, but the hourly wage was too high. Is Zero Fox setting prices so arbitrarily? Even the person who recommended the job, Xiao Pang, didn't expect it to be so high. Yang Qi also exclaimed, this is almost as much as I charge for protection fees. Bro, if you strike it rich, you have to bring me in. He Wei Hang hurriedly flattered, is the store still hiring part-timers? Look at me, a strong young man, I should be able to get in, right? Chen Chen rubbed his forehead. What does being strong have to do with this? Let's talk about this later. I haven't started working officially yet. Chen Chen said helplessly. Hopefully, this job will last long, after all, it's not easy to find a job that pays 300 yuan per hour. While the four were discussing, Chen Chen heard a few exclamations from others. Ha, huh, it's actually Jiang Wanin? Why is Jiang Wanin here? Could it be the wrong classroom? Chen Chen's heart skipped a beat, then he looked towards the classroom door. He saw Jiang Wanin poking her head out, her pretty face looking inside the classroom, as if searching for someone. At that moment, she raised a beautiful smile and said, Um, is Chen Chen here? This, as expected, Chen Chen was at a loss. How did this woman find her way here? Upon hearing Jiang Wanin's words, everyone was shocked. He Wei Hang even looked at Chen Chen in amazement and exclaimed, B, bro, Jiang Wanin is looking for you. Shu, Chen Chen hurriedly made a hushing gesture. So you're here. Jiang Wanin followed the sound and, upon seeing Chen Chen, her smile widened. The next moment, she strode over to Chen Chen with her hands behind her back. 
The other boys looked at Chen Shen in surprise. What's going on with this kid? Not only is he ambiguous with the school beauty Lu Ruyan, but now Jiang Wanin is here too? This is the former school flower of Nan Yi, a well-known beauty in the school. Amidst the envious and jealous gazes of the single men, Zhang Wanin arrived at Chen Chen's desk. Chen Chen raised his head and forced a stiff smile. Good morning, Zhang Wanin. Are you looking for me? Yes, I hope I'm not disturbing you. Zhang Wanin said softly. He Wei Hang, Yang Qi, and Xiao Peng were dumbfounded. Something's not right. These two are not right. Chen Chen was a little nervous. No, but Zhang Wanin, do you have something to discuss with me? Yes, Zhang Wanin smiled slightly and then said. I've come to improve the relationship with Chen Chen. Ah, Chen Chen and the others exclaimed in unison. This, Jiang Wanin is being so direct? The others looked at Chen Chen with surprised eyes. What's the relationship between this guy and Jiang Wanin? Could it be that this kid is too timing, ditching the goddess Lu Ruyan? Seeing the strange looks from everyone, Chen Chen blushed and hurriedly said, Jiang, Jiang Wanin, don't tease me. What kind of relationship do we need to improve? Jiang Wanin's words were too misleading. If this wasn't clarified, who knows what others might think of him. Zhang Wanin chuckled, of course, it's a friendship. Do you think it's something else? Of course not. Chen Chen was a bit embarrassed by her words. Although he didn't really want to, with so many people around, others might not necessarily not want it. He Wei Hang couldn't help but feel that the relationship between Chen Chen and Zhang Wanin was too complicated. And when did Chen Chen actually manage to hook up with the former school flower Zhang Wanin? His flirting skills are really... Amazing. If he had learned a thing or two from Chen Chen, he wouldn't still be single. But if Chen Chen has provoked Zhang Wanin, then what about the school flower Lu Ruyan? Okay, just kidding. I actually came for yesterday's matter, Zhang Wanin said with a smile. Chen Chen was puzzled. What matter? At this moment, Zhang Wanin suddenly extended the hands hidden behind her back, holding a small lunchbox. Then she said, I accidentally hurt you in the honor hall yesterday, so this is compensation for you, Junior. He Wei Hang raised his eyebrows. The honor hall, isn't that a place where no one usually goes? And what does hurt mean? Could it be that something happened between them? Compensation? Chen Chen was first stunned, then pleasantly surprised. No, Senior Wanin, you're exaggerating. It was just an accidental bump. There's no need for such compensation. You should take it back. Upon hearing this, Zhang Wanin furrowed her brows. It seems that Junior Chen Chen has no intention of treating me as a friend. Well, Junior Chen Chen, you have such a beautiful girlfriend, she must often cook delicious food for you, so there's no need for me, an outsider, to care. Since that's the case, I'll just take back the lovingly prepared lunchbox. Senior, I. After Zhang Wanin finished speaking, she made as if to leave. Everyone silently cursed Chen Chen for being so heartless. This was Senior Wanin's lovingly prepared lunchbox. For other men, it would be something they couldn't even beg for, yet this guy doesn't seem to appreciate it? The boys all felt sorry for Zhang Wanin's kind gesture being treated like this. If they could have this lovingly prepared lunchbox, they would definitely lick the plate clean. At this moment, Chen Chen also felt a bit guilty. Could it be that Senior Wanin had spent the whole night preparing it for him? Maybe he had been a bit too much just now. Wait, Senior Wanin. Chen Chen's voice suddenly came from behind. At this moment, Zhang Wanin lifted the corners of her mouth. When she turned around, she furrowed her brows and said, What's wrong, Junior Chen Chen? I. Chen Chen hesitated, since it's a gesture from Senior Wanin, then I'll accept it. I didn't mean anything else just now, I was just thinking. It's not a big deal. Senior Wanin, please don't misunderstand. Upon hearing this, Zhang Wanin quickly smiled. Really? Zhang Wanin came to Chen Chen again and put down the lunchbox, then please accept my lovingly prepared lunchbox, Junior Chen Chen, and eat it now. Chen Chen was stunned and surprised. Now. Yes, now. Zhang Wanin pouted her red lips, slightly displeased, otherwise, what if I leave and give it to someone else later? This lovingly prepared lunchbox is only for you, and I want to hear your feedback. He Wei Hang and the others gasped. This blatant favoritism, why does it seem so familiar? This guy Chen Chen is really too lucky. He Wei Hang glanced at Zhang Wanin's figure again. TSK TSK. Countless little people instantly appeared in his mind, vigorously doing push-ups. This is simply the female lead of a certain movie. It's really enviable and hateful. I. Chen Chen was feeling awkward. Senior Wanin's kindness to him was too sudden. They had only just met yesterday. For someone like Chen Chen, who is slow to warm up, this kind of friendliness feels very uncomfortable. What's wrong, Junior Chen Chen, are you shy? Zhang Wanin looked at Chen Chen with a smile. How about this, Wanin, I'll take it with me and eat it when I have time, Chen Chen said awkwardly. 
It was too embarrassing for him to eat the lunchbox made by Wan Yin in front of so many people. This public execution feeling was not good at all. But I still need to take the lunchbox with me, Jiang Wan Yin frowned, feeling a little embarrassed. Well, how about this, I'll feed Chin Chen myself, so you don't have to feel embarrassed, Jiang Wan Yin said, opening the lunchbox herself. Hiss. Chen Chen instantly felt the burning gazes around him, this was just. Feeding someone, isn't that something only done between boyfriend and girlfriend? As the lunchbox opened, a fragrant aroma spread out. It turned out to be a hot and steaming seafood spaghetti. What kind of noodles is this, it smells so good. I envy you so much, I really want to eat Wan Yin's lunch. Wan Yin is really capable both in the hall and the kitchen. Listening to the praise of the crowd, Jiang Wan Yin's lips slightly curled upwards. A sly look flashed in her eyes. Then, Jiang Wan Yin asked with joy, How is it, Chen Chen, does it suit your taste? It's. It's okay, Chen Chen scratched his head and smiled. Since that's the case, then eat while it's hot. Jiang Wan Yin picked up the chopsticks, picked up the noodles, lightly blew on them with her red lips, and then brought them to Chen Chen's mouth. Ah, I. Wan Yin, let me do it myself. Don't be shy, be a good student. Watching the noodles so close, Chen Chen's face turned red, especially under the watchful eyes of everyone, he even started sweating on his forehead. The gazes of the surrounding students were simply murderous. This guy, not only was he treated well by the school flower Lu Ruyan, even Wan Yin doted on him. Is the heavens nearsighted? Why does Chen Chen get all the good things, not caring about the feelings of us single dogs at all? Phew. Senior, I'll do it myself. Chen Chen quickly snatched the chopsticks and then quickly took a bite of the noodles. Jiang Wan Yin looked at him with a smile, showing a triumphant expression. Is it delicious? Chen Chen, Jr. Jiang Wan Yin blushed, biting her lip, her eyes full of anticipation. Chen Chen forced a smile and said, It's delicious. If it's delicious, then please eat a little more, Jr. Jiang Wan Yin said with a smile, then picked up the noodles and brought them to Chen Chen's mouth. Chen Chen took a deep breath, unconsciously tilting his neck back, but I already feel full, Wan Yin. No, I finally made this for you to eat. Who knows when I'll make it for you to eat next time Chen Chen's heart was in turmoil. Oh my god, can someone come and save him? I didn't expect you to shamelessly pester our Chen Chen again. Jiang Wan Yin. Just then, a cold female voice rang out. Everyone turned to see that Lu Ruyan had appeared at the door, looking at everything with cold eyes, filled with killing intent. Just now, everyone was watching Jiang Wan Yin and Chen Chen, and no one noticed her at the door. Yiling. When Chen Chen saw Lu Ruyan, it was like seeing a savior. At this moment, Jiang Wan Yin snorted, not too surprised. What are you talking about, Junior? I just wanted to apologize to Chen Chen. Is there anything wrong with that? What apology? I don't know, but I saw you forcing Chen Chen to eat noodles. Lu Ruyan looked angry, walking up to Jiang Wan Yin. Please have some self respect, Senior Wan Yin. Everyone was shocked to hear this. This is. The two top beauties are jealous over Chen Chen. He Wei Hang couldn't help but shrink his neck. The aura of the main wife was truly overwhelming. It looks like the big brother is going to be in trouble. The junior sister's words are a bit exaggerated, aren't they? Jiang Wan Yin smiled wryly and said slowly, Look at Chen Chen, he seems to be enjoying his meal. There's no sign of being forced, as you said. Is that so? At this moment, Lu Ruyan looked at Chen Chen and asked with a pout, Chen Chen, are you really not being forced? I. Chen Chen smiled awkwardly, I'm not being forced, really. See? Junior sister, I wasn't wrong, Zhang Wanin said smugly. But suddenly, Chen Chen spoke again, but, I actually don't like seafood. So, Wanin, you don't have to bother to order for me next time. Chen Chen smiled apologetically. Ha! Junior, you. Zhang Wanin didn't expect Chen Chen to add this. Now, it was Lu Ruyan who felt triumphant. Did you hear that, sister? Chen Chen. Doesn't. Like. Seafood. Noodles. If you want to win someone's favor, I suggest you put in some effort, do your homework, and really understand what Chen Chen likes to eat, Lu Ruyan emphasized. Otherwise, you'll only embarrass yourself. With this last sentence, she enunciated each word heavily. Zhang Wanin gritted her teeth inwardly. This woman. Can't get Chen Chen either, can she? She's acting like she knows Chen Chen so well. Besides, if it weren't for her rivalry with Lu Ruyan, why bother to please Chen Chen, this foolish boy? Junior sister, rest assured, next time I will definitely make an effort to understand Chen Chen's preferences before ordering, Zhang Wanin said through gritted teeth, her face full of anger. Then she snorted and left without looking back. Lu Ruyan waved her hand, goodbye, sister, no need to see you off everyone felt the tension between the women. The battle between women is terrifying. Chen Chen felt a bit embarrassed. He felt he had been too heartless just now, after all, Wanin didn't mean any harm to him. 
But what he said was true, he never really liked seafood, and he didn't deliberately say that to embarrass Jiang Wanning just to please Lu Ruyan. Chen Chen sighed helplessly. It turns out being popular is also such a headache. Humph, trying to compete with me for Chen Chen. Dream on. Lu Ruyan snorted coldly, feeling much better. But it's strange, why is Jiang Wanning suddenly interested in her husband? Hasn't she always been involved with the handsome guys at school? Her husband shouldn't fit her aesthetic. The more Lu Ruyan thought about it, the more it fell off. It seems she needs to investigate. Yiling, what are you holding? At this moment, Chen Chen suddenly spoke. Lu Ruyan was also holding a lunchbox? Seeing that Chen Chen noticed, Lu Ruyan could only stick out her tongue playfully and said, You found out. This is the breakfast I made for Chen Chen. I thought you would like it. After last night's incident, Lu Ruyan noticed that Chen Chen was not feeling well. She thought that Qin Lai's matter had affected him, so to express her apology, she specially made a lunchbox at home for her husband to taste and make up for her guilt. But she didn't expect that Jiang Wanin, this woman, would take the lead. But it's okay, obviously she didn't gain any advantage. For, for me? Chen Chen was a bit surprised. What's going on today? Two beautiful women are competing to give him lunch. This is something he wouldn't have dared to imagine in the past. It's really strange. Of course, why not? Lu Ruyan looked at Chen Chen with a happy face and said slowly, Chen Chen must not have had breakfast yet. Skipping breakfast is not good for your health. Then thank you, Yiling, Chen Chen's cheeks turned slightly red. Open the lunchbox of Lu Ruyan, and what came into view were several delicate and lovely cartoon rice balls, each with different fillings, such as shredded meat and eel. It looked very tempting. Although they look a bit ugly, I think they should be delicious. Lu Ruyan blushed and felt a bit shy at this moment. It seemed that she felt a bit embarrassed when Chen Chen looked at the lunchbox she made. How could it be? It looks very nice, Chen Chen was somewhat surprised and asked, I actually quite like rice balls. Lu Ruyan propped up her delicate chin and smiled, of course I know. In the previous life, her husband Chen Chen often traveled around for various exhibitions. Because she was worried that Chen Chen wouldn't eat well outside, the lunchboxes were all made by Miss Lu Ruyan herself. So she naturally knew what he liked or disliked. How do you know? Chen Chen was curious. Lu Ruyan turned her beautiful eyes and said, Hmm, it's a secret, I'll tell you later. Another secret. Chen Chen smiled bitterly. Lu Ruyan had too many secrets. Not only did she know a lot of things about him, but she also knew things that he hadn't noticed. It was as if she was a mind reader. If he didn't know better, he would have thought they were a married couple in their previous life. Big brother, you're really lucky, aren't you? He Wei Hang leaned over and saw the lunchbox Lu Ruyan made for Chen Chen, and his mouth watered, sister-in-law, how did you know that I also like rice balls? Go away, this is for Chen Chen, Lu Ruyan said with a look of disdain. She didn't care what others liked, as long as her own husband liked it. He Wei Hang sighed and said in a strange tone, hey, it's really unfair. Some people have no one to care for them, while others already have two lunchboxes to eat. Chen Chen smiled helplessly. Since you need warmth so much, then this lunchbox is for you, let Sister Wanin warm you up. Lu Ruyan snorted and handed Jiang Wanin's lunchbox to He Wei Hang. It just so happened to get it out of the way. He Wei Hang, seeing this, took it without hesitation. If there's something to eat, I'll eat it. It's better than having nothing to eat. This was a lunchbox made by a beautiful woman, so how could He Wei Hang refuse it? Unlike his big brother, he didn't know how to enjoy. Ah, it's so delicious. All right, Chen Chen, eat while it's hot, Lu Ruyan urged Chen Chen, her eyes full of anticipation. Okay, Chen Chen nodded and picked up his chopsticks. He picked up a piece of eel rice ball and put it in his mouth, and a burst of fragrance erupted in his mouth. At that moment, Chen Chen's eyes widened. So, so delicious. Seeing this, Lu Ruyan burst into laughter. Her husband's current appearance was exactly the same as when he first ate the meal she made in their previous life, which was extremely cute. I didn't expect. Yiling, your lunchbox is actually so delicious, Chen Chen was genuinely surprised. Wasn't it said that a rich young lady wouldn't know how to cook? How could Lu Ruyan's cooking be so delicious? It felt like it was as good as the professional Japanese cuisine outside, although he hadn't eaten any professional Japanese food, but these rice balls were the most delicious in the world for him. Hee <laughs> hee, as long as Chen Chen likes it, Lu Ruyan said happily. Seeing her husband like this, she was happy too. Her cooking skills were completely developed from making lunchboxes for Chen Chen in the previous life. Of course, it was in line with Chen Chen's taste. Chen Chen ate several more pieces in succession and felt like they were so delicious that they could reach the heavens. Chen Chen noticed Lu Ruyan propping up her chin and looking at him with a happy expression, and couldn't help feeling a bit embarrassed. Yiling, why don't you try the lunchbox you made yourself, it's really delicious. Okay, but, 
Liuoyan suddenly thought of something and smiled meaningfully. As long as classmate Chen Chen feeds me, it's fine. Ah, feed you? Chen Chen was stunned. There are so many people watching. Wouldn't it be too provocative to feed you personally?